Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. <laughs> okay, buddy. You've been loud so early. <laughs> As you can hear, Dog is in a good mood. Dog is very excited for the following day. Uh, but good morning, everybody. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I hope you're all having a lovely morning. I am here. Dog is here. I have just had half of my breakfast and he has not been happy with me for that. I had a bacon sandwich. We had to go to a different place. We couldn't go to somewhere healthy. I got dog, a whole bunch of different meats. He has a platter of <laughs> sausage, bacon, uh, turkey, chicken, and ham. So he's going to be a happy boy. And he knows this platter is for him because he's too damn intelligent. He knows what, what it means when I bring him up here at this time. So, <laughs> with me today, <laughs> I have an animated doggo. I know, buddy. I know. Give it a minute. <laughs> I have an animated doggo made by P. Taurus on Twitter. Uh, the link to their artwork is in the description. But yeah, we have a little GIF version of Doug with his mouth open, so happy. Oh, I need to put you guys in front of him. Otherwise, you just fall into his floof. You need to fall on top of him. There we go. Now it kind of looks like he just ate that one. Or at least gave it a lick. <laughs> Whoever Jay is just got a lick from dog. Okay, buddy. You want to start with some chickens? Want some chickens? Maybe? Want chickens? Can I have four? Ah, oh, it's a good boy. Okay, here you go. <laughs> that will calm him for a while. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Basically, this is just going to be a Zatsudan where I chill and talk. But every now and then, Doggo will demand attention. And meets. And possibly both. So be ready for that. But yeah, how's everybody doing? Good morning, Futan. Good morning, everybody. I hope you enjoy the stream today. Like I said, this is more just a way to catch up than anything. One thing I need to go through all the super chats from yesterday. 
there weren't too many of them but just because yeah we dipped yesterday pretty damn quickly i felt bad about it i was feeling real bad yesterday i'm glad we got through what we did but other than that i'm gonna grab my common crab <laughs> and yeah dog will just be joining us for breakfast man i wanted to have oatmeal <laughs> dog always sounds like a puppy yeah he is they're always puppies no matter how big they get 160 pounds but he's still a little baby puppy hope you're feeling better oh i'm feeling way better yesterday was pretty horrific we've got our first touch of snow today where i am but nonetheless oh my god look at all those sheep jeez thank you guys so much um but yeah i'm feeling way better um i basically just stayed in bed all day yesterday wrapped up like a burrito i've actually finally watched <laughs> that's what i did yesterday i finally watched um our flag means death season two which got shockingly romantic. I was really happy with it. I didn't think it would go that far. Um, yeah, really good season. Okay, buddy. You want some more? Want some sausage? How about it? You gotta come closer. I wanna hear you grab it this time. You come, you come, come. No, you come. No, you come. You come. You know, stomping your feet isn't gonna help. Come, come. Come. There you go. How hard was that? Two steps forward, you dumb dumb. Oh. Good boy. Oh my God. He's being such a brat this morning. Let him stomp. He's allowed to stomp, but he has to move forward. <laughs> I'm sitting there two feet away from him with the microphone right in front of his face, to be fair. Tell him, hey, 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 come on, come on. Uh, not this. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that's my bad. You, you did the command. You came to me. Yeah, you have. Yeah, bud. <laughs> he missed that one. Anyway, <laughs> he was just standing at the entrance to my closet, refusing to take the two steps forward that it would take to get right up to the chicken and the microphone and yet <laughs> it still didn't capture on the microphone which is really sad uh, i was hoping it would but yeah he's having a good morning too as i said first snow he's a caucasian shepherd caucasian shepherds freaking love snow but he's been out running in it rolling around in it the first thing he did when he got outside was do a bunch of little prancing things of like his upper legs dancing around while his back legs were staying in the floor then he ran over to one corner of the garden and just started rolling around to cover himself in snow. He's had a good morning. <laughs> snow already. Yeah, it wasn't like we got like a proper blanket or anything. It was just like a single tiny lair throughout the night. We got some flurries and they managed to stay up until like 8 a.m. So yeah, they were still out there when we went for a walk. When it gets deeper, he likes to actually dig down into the snow and create himself a little crater. When there's like enough snow that it's like a foot high, yeah, he'll go out there and he'll dig like a big circle around himself and then just collapse in it, kind of bury himself in the snow. You good buddy. Okay. I'll take that as a yes. Uh, you have come closer again, I'll give you that. Well, that was really good. No, come back here. Back the way. Why are you doing that? Oh, I got those paws on me. Come, come. Ready? It's gonna go up in the air. You need to come forward. You ready? Ready? Ah. You missed it. <laughs> did you hear his mouth open and closed? I threw it straight up and he he did a big bite, but he was nowhere near it because he didn't take the damn step forward. <laughs> you guys heard it? Okay, good. I think that's the first time we've ever caught him like opening his mouth and closing it on stream good <laughs> i had my microphone as far from my table as it could like basically at the entrance to the damn closet oh my god and yeah he just like ripped his mouth open ripped it closed was nowhere near actually grabbing it oh yeah halloween's over i, I can fix these sheep now we have no more zombie sheep <laughs> but thank you burio for making this incredible zombie sheep image which we only got to use for half the air half the month but it was so beautiful these zombie sheep can now be cured in fact let's feed them to dog let's fix this we'll fix this problem our own way 
bum. He wants some lamb, buddy. Hey, dog, do you want some lamb? Is it time for some lamb? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay, first give me paw. That's a good paw. You ready? Three, two. <laughs> oh, I, j j just wait, just wait. Need to line things up. Okay. Ready? Wah! I broke things. Shit. I meant to do this. Okay, he ate the zombie sheep. And I kind of broke my OPS setup trying to time it right. That's fine. Anyway, he ate the zombie sheep. The zombie sheep are gone. Now the normal sheep can come back. There we go. Goodbye forever, zombie sheep. Well, probably till next Halloween. They're too cool to just get rid of forever. Hope we don't give him indigestion. I don't think so. He's a big boy. Big enough dog that he could probably eat a ch chocolate bar and survive it. Although he did one time steal, like... I had a box of Ferrero Rocher on a table. And this is when I learned that he is now tall enough to get to any table without even thinking about it. There were like four left in the box and he ripped it open and ate them. Thankfully he was okay. But I was ready to rush him to the freaking vet if I had to. For his own stupidity. But yeah, he's a big boy. He can take a lot of punishment. I wonder if this lines up. Because this is a different dog image. But I wonder if we can steal its paw. Mm, kind of the colors off. But yeah, as well as the animated dog, we also have big dog. My good boy. Doggo is built different. Yeah, he is. He's just built too strong. Poor boy had to have a tick removed from him a week ago. He did not enjoy it. Aw, oh, you remember that? That's why you don't stick your faces in bushes. Yeah, I know it smelled like skunk. That's no good reason. That's just silly, buddy. That's just silly. You're being more vocal than ever, though. I think he's learned this by now. Okay. Want some ham? Yeah? Can I get a sip? Can I get paw? That's a lovely paw. Can I get sip pretty? Sip pretty. Sip pretty. There we go. Oh, he remembers it. Good. Okay. You ready for some ham? It's going to come straight up again. You ready? Ready? Wah! <laughs> You're so bad at this. This biting doesn't do anything. You have to actually get the ham. There you go. Tell you what, come right next to the microphone. I'll feed you right here. Yeah. Microphone will catch him like I'm trying to catch him hiding, but it doesn't. <laughs> I'm not trying to take it back, you idiot. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I gave him the piece of ham, and then I started petting like the side of his head under his ear. And he just dodged backwards as if I was trying to take the ham back from him. <laughs> How does sit pretty look like? Cross legs. Um, my sit pretty is basically both of his paws like up in the air. Like I normally start it by getting him to give me his paw so he has one paw off the ground and then I tap his chest twice and say sit pretty. And then he jumps up like a little bear with both of his front paws raised. Or I guess like a groundhog kind of thing. But that's our sit pretty. And here's him giving the paw. Yeah, he's a good job, oh my good boy. So smart. He actually just punched my butt from behind trying to give me the paw. Okay, you know what? You did that. Um, Ready? Okay. And go. What do you actually call that one? Okay, so he catches it when I throw it near him. He just refuses to step forward to actually grab it in his mouth. Anyway. <laughs> Let me reload my comment grabber. We could actually do some Zatsudan. About to give away this entire meat platter before we even start talking properly. My cats are confused by the dog sounds. Good. Tell them. Tell them they could be replaced at any moment by a better animal. <laughs> uh, honestly, I saw so many people saying, I wonder if he's going to bring cats with him. And no, I told you what they did the last time they were in my bedroom. We do not bring cats into the bedroom because they poop under my bed. 
Where are the cats, sir? I don't know. They're not very active during the day anyway. They, they, they tend to wake up at night. During the day, they just hide in their little corners. Normally, nearby um, radiators to stay warm in the winter. Are you okay? I didn't even offer you anything yet. I better put him over here since I keep turning to the right. I'll, I'll put him with you guys. Oh, then... Oh, I need to move the thing, though. So that the fish... Uh, the sheep are still rolling down on top of him. There we go. Buddy, you sound tortured. You're acting like you didn't have breakfast this morning. You good? Yeah, you always good. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no cats here. It would be pretty impossible to do that. Add him for us, please. Sure. See if I can get that on. Microphone. Okay. No, no, no. Stay there. Stay. Why do you run away? I'm not telling you you're being bad. You're being good. Come. Okay, come. There you go. And you step back again. You're so silly. That's a lovely paw. I didn't ask for it, but... <laughs> I want you to come here! Um, 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 um. We're about to rip my sweater, buddy. Aww. Um. Um, come. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Ow! Stop stabbing me! Feeling better now? Yeah. Come here and I'll give you a piece of food. You have to come over here. There you go. Oh, he just stole it and ran. At least I definitely heard him take the bite there. <laughs> <sighs> so hard to work with animals. Anyway. <laughs> Strong doggo. Yeah, he, he keeps trying to give me his paw. Which essentially means he's just punching me in the arm and then dragging his claws down my arm. <sighs> Um, let me grab some of these comments. Boop. Boop. Wait, did that not? There we go. Oh, it looks ugly. I'll fix that for the next one. <laughs> the cat or cat meow normally. One of them does. Um, the high energy one, cat with a K. She meows often. The other cat just kind of walks over and stares at you. Even though she's the more cuddly one. The more quiet one is the more cuddly one. But the more active one will come over and meow at you. And then get like three seconds of pettings and then run away. Um, but yeah, the cuddly one will come over and just not meow. When she tries to meow, she opens her mouth and it's like a tiny little squirrel sound. It's more of like a little <clears throat> kind of sound. It's more like a squeak. Whereas yeah, the other one properly meows. Not for food though. That's the problem. Like, even if I got them up here, even if I offered them food, they would just run around in circles. They don't really do the whole meowing for food thing. That's why dog is way better at this. I could have the... In fact, there have been times I've found out the cats have been in my room. They've managed to sneak in before I close the door during streams, and you guys just don't hear them. There was one time people heard them, and I didn't even know they were in the room. People were like, is that a cat? And I was like, no, why would that be a cat? And then I finished stream and started going downstairs and she came running down with me. <laughs> he's afraid of the mic. So cute. I think he just knows what I want him to do. So he's fucking with me. This is what he does. Bum, bum, bum. Scared of the closet, maybe? Nah. He, he, if I leave my door open, he comes running up here and he eventually just like sticks his leg on my lap. When I'm not paying attention or just nuzzles at my hand. Whichever one he wants to do. <laughs> Why do all dogs act like they've not been fed for a week? Because they're pretty sure they haven't. They're like, who, man? I'm starving. I smell chicken and sausage and beef and I want some. Closet is haunted. It has been haunted a few times. I will admit that. Like streamer, like pet. Hey. Wait. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I hunger, father. Indeed. He hungers for the flesh of others. Uh, when did you get the cats? I have no clue, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been more than a year. Yeah, it's definitely been more than a year because they've grown to full size. They were both kittens when I got them. Um, But yeah, I have no idea how long. Okay, buddy. Want some more foods? 
You're gonna have to work for it. Ready? Ready? Ah! Didn't even try to go for that one. Go ahead, go get it. Go on, throw it under the desk. Throw it down. Thinking about it. I'll have to pick that one up later. <laughs> Yay, we can hear that. Good job, buddy. Okay, come closer, I can take the microphone in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's definitely not afraid of the microphone. Or he's getting better around it anyway. I don't know. He's just in a weird mood. He's still thinking about going off for that one under the table. You gonna go for it? Have a live vocal reaction. What do you think of this, buddy? It didn't go behind you, I promise you. I told you where it is. Dumb. <laughs> he's now walking all around the place looking for the piece of chicken which it went under the table i told him this i pointed to it it'll become a vtuber someday i mean he kind of is he's got a, a well it's not live td but he's got an animated avatar right now hey yeah 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 you give me a minute you get one every five minutes otherwise you'll be gone in like two seconds does Doggo scratch you with his claws by accident? Oh, the freaking time. Especially during this stream. <laughs> Hi. That's you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> He doesn't care. Ah, oh, but yeah, no. Whenever he tries to give me his paw or whenever he tries to give me a hug. Because he's tall enough that he can, yeah, jump up on two back legs and give me a hug right the way up to my shoulders. And he does not get... He's actually punched me in the face trying to do that sometimes. He gets back up on his back legs, jumps up, and because it's such a forceful movement. There's been multiple times he's punched me in the face or the neck rather than getting me on both shoulders. Big hug, big hug, which almost crushes me. Doggo uppies? No, thankfully. He does not like to be picked up. Um, anytime I used to try and bathe him at, like, places that have dog bathing stations, we did that for a while. Like, the first two years of his life, he was okay with it. it the only part he really didn't like was when it came to the blow dryer. Um, like, he'd be fine the whole way through being bathed, the whole way through being, like, attached. But then when it came to actually, like, blow drying him at the end, he would freak the heck out. <laughs> No, not death by snoo snoo, nerd. <laughs> I mean, maybe if he found a dog that, uh, yeah. He's tried to go for some dogs that are like a quarter of his size. That might have been death by snoo snoo. But not when it comes to me. Ew. Um, but yeah, no, he hates the blow dryer. And I used to pick him up and put him into bathtubs, but he doesn't like being picked up anymore. <laughs> you try to pick him up and he freaks out and jumps about. And that's just a good recipe for injuring yourself. Okay, buddy. I will give you a tiny piece of sausage. Deal? You can always tell when I'm holding a piece of food because he goes nuts. Okay, you ready? Ready? I don't even know if he got that one. He snapped at it. <laughs> How much does he weigh? Only 160 pounds. He looks a lot bigger than he is because he's got a lot, of, lot, a lot, a lot of fluff on him. People see him seem to expect that he's like 200 pounds. Actually, there's two reactions when I give his weight. Sometimes a lot of people just be like, oh my God, he weighs more than me. How the hell do you take care of him? And then sometimes it's just like, oh, I thought he was like 200 pounds. Damn, he's a big boy. How old is he? He's five, only 160. His breed, the Caucasian Shepherd, can very easily get up to more than 200. There are some Caucasian Shepherds that are like 210, 230 pounds. Um, he was actually the runt of his family. <laughs> the reason, he was the last one available. He was the last one available from the litter. 
and he was the smallest one. Nobody wanted the baby boy. They all wanted the 200 pound ones. Plus I fed him properly. A lot of people feed these kinds of dogs normal dog food and they grow too quickly to the point where their hips and like joints get damaged. You have to feed them giant food because it has less protein. It slows down their growth pattern. Otherwise they get too big too quick and then they can hurt themselves. <laughs> Although I don't understand English, I can understand dogs. Yeah. Dogs are universal language. Like that probably means food or attention. Big meaty claws. Yeah. When he walks around in the snow, it looks like a damn bear has been through. Ooh. Wait, is that my drawing, Sunako? You put it over top. So oh, it's like a mask on top of your drawing. <laughs> I was going to say. I was like, that looks way more detailed than I remember. <laughs> That's impressive. Nice editing. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It kind of looks like what I draw, but not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he came over as close as he could into the closet. He took a seat, started whining his head off, and then when I actually looked at him, he looked back at me and immediately laid down. He was like, oh, my bad. Maybe this is bad. Maybe this won't get me. F and he's doing it again. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Oh, I did not agree to any transaction. That's what I thought. Every dog or cat owner, well, no, every dog owner has to learn to be a brat tamer. Because they are always brats, even when they're six years old. And yeah, he's six years old already. He's been here a while. A light dog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> Please give him more nade nade. He's constantly getting head scratches. He's fine. He's right now underneath. <laughs> like he's just barely within reach of my hand right now. He's fine. That's 42 in dog years. Ah, yeah, he's old. I mean, this breed doesn't live super long. Um, but yeah, he's got a few good more years in him and he's super freaking healthy. Too healthy during winter. During winter, he plays too much. Every day the sun goes down and he immediately grabs his jack or his duck and comes running over. Normally, when I'm trying to relax, he shall be immortal. Damn straight. Damn straight, he will. Do baby talk, doggo? Um, from time to time. <laughs> it depends on how he's acting. If he's acting cute, I might baby talk him. If he's acting silly, I'm just like, oi, dum dum. You good? Would you like some? Hmm, what haven't we had yet? And ham, we've had sausage. And chicken. Ah, turkey. Want some turkeys? Okay, this is going to be it for five minutes. You sure? Wait, wait, wait. Can I have four? Three, four. Not bad. Okay. Ready? I missed that one too. That's a big lump of turkey. Okay, that's it for a while. Big baby. Yeah, he whines so much. He's so cute for time. Yeah, he is. Um, I think I've showed you guys all the pictures I can. Maybe I'll upload his baby pictures soon. Actually, yeah, I think I'll upload his baby pictures later today. Just so you guys can see how he started looking like a basic teddy bear or a little baby bear cub. What's his favorite thing to play with? Recently, it's been a little duck that I got that I didn't expect to last any more than like a day because I got it from a dollar store. Um, but it's like a little duck that squeaks when you grab it in the throat. And he loves that. It somehow lasted him about four weeks now already. Um, and yeah, he'll just bring that over to me. And he'll like, if I grab it, he'll start to like wrestle it with his mouth. A little bit of tug of war. I make sure not to let it pull so hard and let him win. Um, but yeah, other than that, he has this jack thing so it's like a red plastic thing that has like uh, how to explain it <laughs> it's basically like the eight cardinal 3d directions sticking out of a center and so yeah you throw it like a ball but then it bounces around in crazy directions because it catches it at different angles is he on a raw diet Fuchan? no thankfully um he gets the he still gets kibble like, I thought about switching him to one of those ones where it's like a meal delivery service, where it's like all raw ingredients that you give to a dog. I just don't think it's worth it. <laughs> like, he's always had... I think it's Royal Canin. 
um, since he was a child, because they're the only one that do like a good giant breed food around here. So it's all good stuff. It's grain free, but yeah, no, it's it's not incredibly expensive. It's like I think 80 bucks for a 40 kilogram. The 40 kilograms? 40 pound. 40 pound. It's like a 38 pound bag. And I, it's like 80 bucks for each one of those, and that will normally last him about a week and a half. Grain free is good? Yeah. But does Doggo sleep right at the foot of my bed? Normally. <laughs> normally getting in the way when I try to get up. <laughs> Raw food's not always good for them. Yeah, it depends on the dog. I've heard it's healthier, but at the same time, it is just like... Ugh. Such a pain. I can't imagine like every morning going out and like having to blend it and microwave it and then be like, you. That's too much for me, man. I don't even do that much for my own breakfast. <laughs> the most I do for my own breakfast is like boil some water or I guess microwave some milk with oats in it. That's about it. <laughs> when is dog's birthday? I don't actually know the day to the day, but it's just like it's July. So always in the sometime around mid July, I'll just get him stuff. I got him when he was like. 10 weeks old and that was at the end of summer so yeah it's just roughly july and i normally just get him like a big toy and then like something fancy his first year i got him like a really fancy one of those dog cakes it was like shaped like a bone he didn't like it <laughs> like he he tried to take it and then he ran away and then he dropped it on the floor he eventually ate it but like it was far less excitement for him than when i just get him like a greenie he freaking loves greenies stick a greenie in front of his face and he's happy for the next 10 minutes He's moving. Yeah, he is. And he's calmed down a little bit more now. Maybe he's had enough meats for now. We still have a good few pieces left. No cakes for doggos? It, it was a dog cake. <laughs> it, was, it was made for doggos. <laughs> it was safe. Don't worry. Does he like the cats? He likes the cats. He's kind of gotten used to them. He used to chase them around the house all the time uh, when we first got them. But then... He started to calm down a bit. The cats like run over and will actually bully him nowadays. I think I no, I haven't been able to upload that video because it shows too much. I've got a cute video of like one of the cats like rolling around and scratching at his big fluffy tail. Or he just sits there whining, telling it essentially to go away. And it just keeps scratching at the tail and rolling around as he keeps whining and crying. And finally, he like whips the tail into the cat's face and it runs away. Yeah, I can't share that one, unfortunately. <laughs> They became the new house owners. They think they have. Well, they haven't, but they certainly think they have. Zora, thank you for donating food funds. Hello, Fuchan. My English is not good. I was busy preparing for a big exam and then fit in the new college life in the first half of the year. I will see the rest of that when it comes in. <laughs> but I hope it's going well fitting into college life. That takes a while, but yeah, once you get used to it, it should be fun. He'll go so soft. He is very soft. He knows how big he is. Like, he learned that very quickly. Um, Yeah, I'll try to share the baby photos. But no, I'm not going to share photos of the... Unfortunately, that video was just taken in the wrong location. It could be bad. So no, that's not going to happen. Um, But yeah, I will be sharing the baby photos if I can. I'll make sure I find some ones that won't get me murdered. <laughs> we adopted Doggo Fuchan? No. No, unfortunately. If you could, that'd be awesome. He's a bit tiring during the winter. During the winter, he needs three long walks. It already snowed for the first time last night. I am not looking forward to trudging through the snow for like a good three quarter mile every day. <laughs> three times a day. <laughs> I left the sheep pile and didn't watch your stream, but I'm so happy to be back to the sheep pile now. Doggo's so cute. Ah, uh, thank you for joining us, Sora, and I hope you have a wonderful time in the sheep pile. Good luck with everything at college. I'm sure it's been a lot of fun so far. And yeah, thank you just so much for being here. Cuddle him, he baby. He does not like cuddles, actually. If you try to hug him, he'll he'll give you like a good 20 seconds. If you hug him for any longer than 20 seconds, he freaks out. He thinks you're like trying to wrestle him or something. He pulls away and starts to like twist and stuff. You can volunteer to take him for a walk. See, maybe that's why I've been sending you guys to the forest. You guys need to get like a bit more hefty. A bit stronger, a bit heavier. <laughs> Remember, he's 160 pounds. I don't know many sheep that are at the same kind of size. So maybe you could take it in like shifts, like five sheep holding the holding the leash at the same time. What do you mean? I mean, you guys need to get stronger. He's a big boy. If he goes running because he wants to go to the park, 
Yeah, you guys need to be able to literally outweigh him and pull him back. <laughs> How is Doggo with guests? Um, as soon as anyone starts to come anywhere near the door, he barks his freaking head off. He goes nuts. He sounds like he's going to rip you to pieces. We may catch a little bit of that today, um, depending on what happens. If anybody goes by the house, if he smells any dogs walking by, if the mailman comes by, you're just going to hear really freaking loud barking, followed by him like disappearing. He's probably going to go to the other window. Um, but yeah, he acts like a proper guard dog. And then as long as I calm him down, once a person gets in the house, he just acts like a puppy and wants pettings from them. Uh, it does depend on the people, though. There's a couple people he's reacted badly to. And not like aggressively, but just more like he doesn't like them. And he'll just like stand behind me, stand near me and not trust the other people when they try to pet him. And then there's other people where if they smell like a dog, he basically just wants to play with them, which leads to him trying to jump on them, which leads to problems. <laughs> now all you need is a bird. I'm good without a bird. A bird seems like a lot of hassle. Cats are bad enough as it is. Like, the more a, an animal can do by itself, the better a pet I think it is. Dog is very good. I walk him, I feed him, I water him. That's all I really need to do. We play with each other. All of that's good. Cats, I just feed them and they do their own thing. But birds, you have to, like, clean their cages and wipe down everything and feed and water them. Birds are too loud. That's true as well. I know a lot of streamers that have birds where they just have to, like, be like, Sorry, guys, the bird's going to be screaming for the next three hours. It woke up. <laughs> you think a dog is allowed? A bird would be a nightmare. Exactly. <laughs> reptiles? I just don't find reptiles cute. I don't like snakes or lizards. I don't dislike them. I just mean I, I wouldn't pay to own one kind of thing. Same thing for like tarantulas and stuff like that. It's like, they're fine creatures. Do I want to pay to have them in my house and to have to pay more money to take care of them? N no. Dogs are cute. Crocodile? I could go for a crocodile. <laughs> Shut up, phone. Um, Neko Papa, Fufu Chan. Thank you for doing my cameo stream. <laughs> I love him. Oh, no problem. Pretty sure he loves you guys too. You going to sleep? <whistles> oh, dog. <laughs> you ready for more? Yeah. not even gonna beg he just calmly took it off of my hand one more and you sing speak you could do better than that speak there we go okay ready good job buddy oh he's a good boy he's like where's the next one i'm on i'm ready <laughs> He's just staring at me like, bitch, I stood up for this. Surely I deserve more. That's enough for now. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what is 160 pounds? Let's find out actually. 160 pounds in kg. It's 72 kilograms. So yeah. Not mahusive. He's liftable. He's definitely liftable. I don't think I could overhead press. Well, 80 kilograms is 20, 20, 20. I could overhead press him, but not since he's dog shaped. I could overhead press the weight. But yeah, no. He's fine to lift up, but he, 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 he damn heavy. He damn heavy. <laughs> Poo -poo. I'm now holding my doggo and looking at Futan's doggo. I'm the happiest in the world right now. I wonder if there are any people, other people that are like, have a dog with them and if they're reacting to his noises. It's definitely he. If I put on like certain sounds, he just comes running, especially if it's like a puppy squealing or just another dog barking. He'll just come running from wherever the frick he is in the house and just be like, is there dog? Is there dog? Please give me dog. Um, oh, and Lala, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Do, do, do. My dog is 18 kilograms and I'm already bruising him. <laughs> I mean, dogs can do a lot of damage if they like jump up and hit you with their front paws. <laughs> More than me, I'd be broken down. See, that's why I've been sending you guys to the forest. Exactly. He's heavier than you guys. If you tried to walk him, yeah, he'd just rip you off your feet, unfortunately. You can lift him. 
I I definitely couldn't overhead press him because I wouldn't find the way to hold him. <laughs> but yeah, no, I could lift him. I normally like wrap my arm around like just underneath his um front paws and then another one around his back paws so the weed is the weight is distributed and then lift him that way if I need to get him into something. Um or <laughs> the other way, which he really doesn't like. If he jumps up and gives me a hug, like I said, he puts his paws on either side of my head. Then yeah, I'll try to like scoop him up by grabbing his hind legs. That always freaks him the fuck out. Like I could lift him and then he starts kicking at me to get away. So I've stopped doing that. It, it was fine when he was like younger. Nowadays, he's hefty. He is hefty in the fact that if he just kicks me with his paws, yeah, I do occasionally get bruises. Good thing I've got the Cynets, but he can still get me on the face and on the chest and on the thighs. <laughs> Shaco from League of Legends. My Roddy heard dog singing and is singing in response. This double doggo symphony is so noisy. Help. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think you're stuck with that. This is what happens when you join a doggo stream. It's normal he kicks you. Yeah, he's just basically saying, hey, screw off. I don't want to be picked up. I did not consent to this. It's fair. He's allowed to do that. He's a cake boxer. <laughs> Pretty much. Minzo Sakura. Happy Zatsu. Thank you for the time for the stream. I told you you always make my day better. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Let's put the moving dog away for a little bit. Let's have non-moving dog because now he's starting to lose energy. He's kind of getting over this whole process. He's like, I, I get given meat when I get given meat. He doesn't care anymore. <laughs> Lavi, thank you so much for donating the few funds. New message, but I hope you enjoy the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And Jeffrey Murphy. Hi, Fogel. How are you this morning? I'm good. Like I said, I woke up at a decent time. Um, yesterday, I was really wrecked. So I was in bed most of yesterday. And now I feel way better than I did yesterday. So I'm basically trying to make sure I don't overwork myself for the next two days. Because I know Dramatical Murder is going to be a long, long, long stream. Uh, I think the, the 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 demo that we're allowed to play it's somewhere between three to five hours, so just the gameplay itself is going to be quite a while. EP mode, yee. but it was good. I got to watch all of our Flag Means Death season two, loved it. Um, more action than I expected, but also way more romance. The demo's so long. From what I saw, somebody said like, or well, somebody uploaded their own playthrough of the demo, and for them it took like a full five hours. Now obviously. They, they were doing voices and stuff as well. So that should actually be correct rather than the normal thing when it comes to a visual novel where it says like it's five hours and it takes me like 12 hours because <laughs> I'm doing all the voices and talking about it. But yeah, this was somebody else who uploaded the full demo with their commentary with like voice acting. So should be around the same time. With Chan playing all my favorite games. Yeah, I just want to make sure that that one goes well because I know a lot of people are going to show up for it. And yeah, there is always the possibility if there's anything too adult in the demo. <laughs> That the, the video disappears. So I'm hoping like people will show up for that one and I'm making sure it'll be good. Still about six hours for Folga speculating? Maybe. We'll find out. Chaco. Oh, wait, I already read that one. Whoops. <laughs> the comment grabber grabbed that one twice. Oh, that's my own stupidity. Oh, Lala said so cute. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Lala. And yay, I'm glad to see a message. It's always nice because there are certain people who just donate or gift membership that like don't drop messages because they're just there to support and they don't want to draw attention so sorry that i'm drawing attention but either way thank you so much for donating the food funds and i'm glad you're enjoying the stream today yeah he's kind of given up on begging for now which is fine <laughs> i'll call him back every couple of minutes <laughs> just to annoy him <laughs> ming ming thank you for donating the food funds no message but i hope you're having a lovely day which character do you like in tyrannical murder i have no idea i'm going in completely blind this is going to be the first time I ever play it. Um, a lot of people, including a lot of the other Niji Sanji livers, have said, uh, do Clear's route. So we shall see about that. Um, yeah, I've heard Clear is pretty good. Um, that's about it. But yeah, I'm not going to let that sway me. It, it depends on like who I feel. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people say Clear. Oh, Noise. Noise is the other one I've heard a few times. I think Clear and Noise are the only ones that I've probably heard about. And I don't know which ones they are. I don't even know what they look like. Clear is a cutie. I prefer noise myself. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go in and see which ones I like. I'm going to go in completely blind and it's just going to be like, oh, this is noise. Well, we'll see. If he's a sweetie, might be kind of boring to me. We'll see. 
We'll see. <laughs> Rain Jingle Ba. My dog heard Doggo and I thought it was and thought I was cheating. Yeah. Or he thought it was Christmas. He was like, oh, did you get me a puppy for Christmas? Let's go. Let's play. <laughs> and Lala again, thank you for donating the few funds. I hope you're enjoying the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Brat Tamer? Wait. Which one's the brat then? Noise? Ah, oh, okay. Ugh. We can brat tame. We'll see what they're like. I don't normally like the brats when it comes to a dating game. Virus and trip. What's wrong with... Are these other characters? That's fine. Dramatical murder anime watch along later? Um, probably not. <laughs> I mainly just wanted to play the game. I don't want to spoil myself if we ever, like, do get the ability to play the full game. So we'll see. Marineth. My doggo won't stop whining now, so I had to wear headphones. <laughs> headphones are a good idea anyway, just for safety. Uh, oh god, not the anime. Bro, the anime is something. I didn't even know Dramatical Murder had an anime. I knew Tagai no Chi had an anime. Um, yeah, I think I tried to watch that back in the day. Uh, but yeah, I did not know Dramatical Murder did. Jeffrey Murphy. Yesterday was my brother's birthday. Cool. Hope they had a good birthday. Happy birthday to them. Tri Princess, thank you for donating a few funds. Oh, no message. Oh, but there was a Corgo super chat. Awesome. Thank you for donating the food funds, Tribe Princess. I hope you enjoy the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Dudia. Doggo. Kuchifuri. I, 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 I give up immediately. <laughs> I'm going to translate that one. Do, do, do. Anime isn't normally good for those kinds of visual novels. Yeah. For the most part, they just don't have the time to put the full appreciation into it. Today is National Dog Day. It was... <sighs> So somebody told me, hey, November 1st is National Dog Day. You should bring Doggo back. And I was like, cool. And I put it on my schedule like a full month ago. I was like, cool. I even listed it in the schedule as Doggo VTuber debut. Um, and then I Googled it and it turned out it was something that Japan created in like 1987 or something. Um, they basically don't use it anymore because there's like an international dog, dog, dog day that pretty much everyone uses. <laughs> but yeah, it was originally... November the 1st was dog day because it was like one, like the number one. So it was like the, the, the way that people, like the onomatopoeia for a dog barking in Japan is one, W-A-N. So it was like one, one, one day. Woof, woof, woof day. <laughs> anyway, thank you for donating the few funds, Udia. It's been a while since Doggo. He's still such a good boy and cute. Please continue to eat well, sleep well, take walks and stay healthy. Please be kind to of Fuchan and play well with him. I hope he does during the winter. We're about to start getting ice as well as snow, so please. <laughs> Thank you for today. I love you, dog. <laughs> I do like the constant jokes of everyone being like, oh, Doggo, my Kamiyoshi, finally. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. He's just laying down basically asleep behind me right now. I'm sure he'll wake up if I pick up more meat. Doggo! I love my cameo. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Nam. Oh, look at the little Shiba Inu. Fact. Wait. Oh, oh. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now they can touch noses. Ah. <laughs> oh. Doggos. There we go. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Um, trying to find more comments. The little boop, yeah, the little nose boop. Dog's poor beauty rest. Oh, don't worry. He sleeps the whole day. This is the problem. If he's not barking his head off or playing a game, he's sleeping. Which means at night, when I'm trying to sleep, if there happens to be a goddamn bag blowing down the road, he jumps up and barks his head off for a solid three to five minutes. I get to wake up and get a glass of water and just be like, huh, this is my life now. <laughs> this is the life I chose. Alicia the Heart. Hi, Futsan. Having dog on your stream is a nice serotonin boost. He's adorable. I always wanted to have a big dog, but I have cats with attitudes. So that was me when I was a child. <laughs> I always wanted a dog when I was a child. It was always like... No, you're not responsible enough. You can't take them for walks. It was like, oh, totally could have. <laughs> um, but yeah, then we eventually got a Labrador. Loved that day. If possible, can you give him a pat for me? 
Sure, why not? Fact. Hey, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. There he is. Okay. He's saying where to meet. Oh, come on. You can't just show up and just ignore me. Wonder meets. Speak. Speak. That's a bit better. You sound tired. You done with this already? Do you not want the sausage? Do you want the sausage? Do you want the sausage? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, he dropped that one on the floor as well. Okay, you got in on the first bounce. It's a good boy. Yeah, I give you head pats and ear scratches. Oh god, he really likes that. <laughs> His eyes are rolling back. Oh, are you ear sensitive today, buddy? I know, it's cold, huh? Oh, he's leaning into it now. It's okay, buddy. I know. First day of winter, he's not prepared for it. Winter coat still needs to come in. Still shedding like a beast. Okay, oh boy. Please stop drooling. There's so much drool, I'm gonna die when I try to leave here. Woof. Oh, no! Oh, okay, that's enough. Okay, he spread his drool to me. He did the little flappy head thing and the drool went everywhere. Thankfully, there's none on my PC. Fine, you get one more bite, but that's it. Speak. Speak. Ooh, that was a good... Okay, you know what? That was a good one. You ready? One. Wait, that was dumb. You headbutted it. You could... I threw it to your mouth. You just had to open your... Okay. He's happy. We heard the draw splash? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's some ASMR for you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you heard it. Anyway. He got lots of head pats and ear scratches, and he enjoyed them perhaps too much. He was drooling even more than when it came to the food, and then he soaked me. Also, yeah, we are going to do, um, I don't think I pointed this out yet. We are going to do the watch along for about time next week. I keep forgetting this is a Zatsudan. I just keep getting distracted and playing with my dog, because I love my dog. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I've got my schedule uh, set out for next week. There's only going to be, I think, three streams. We finish on the 7th. Let me check real quick. Yeah, 7th is Tuesday. So we're only going to have 5, 6, and 7. On the 5th, we're going to do about time. It's going to be a weird time. Uh, because there are some other things scheduled by Niji Sanji and Mem. Calm down. You will have your turn. Only like three pieces left. You really want them gone already? He doesn't really care um but yeah essentially on sunday there are like some bigger things going on with other niji sanji and members that i don't want to get in the way of um so yeah we're gonna have it at a bit of a weird time on sunday i think it's at like 12 edt so just like two hours later than usual kind of thing um then monday and this week we're going to be starting at 9 a.m edt or oh, est because the time <laughs> zones are changing calm down buddy also, hello, random person who jumped in the chat to just be like, you ugly, Lamal. You have an ugly personality and you're now blocked on my channel. Goodbye. Thanks for breaking the chat rules in a really blatant way that means I can just say bye bye forever. We don't need you here. Anyway, um, yeah, on Monday, we're probably going to do a Totsumachi Karaoke as long as things go the way I want them to. And then on Tuesday, we'll do one final Zatsudan before I go on break for a while. Imagine calling a VTuber ugly. Bitch, me and dog are both looking fine right now. So are the confidants in the back. But yeah, imagine having to have that kind of... Like, I'm in such a bad mood, I'm going to go call a 2D PNG ugly. It's like, okay, cool. Catch you next time. <laughs> I don't know what about you made you that desperate for attention, but you got it. <laughs> anyway... Annie, thank you for donating the food fund. I just got back from work. It was very patient testing. Very, oh, wait. It was very patience testing. That's completely different. Oh, no. Um, so I'm glad I can come back to a stream with dog, dog, and cyborg healing powers. Yeah. Are you? Okay. I will give you one more. Then you need to relax. I'm putting it away. Ready? Speak. 
Like, it's pretty good. Yeah, we'll try to catch this one on microphone. Ready? Actually, yeah, just take, take a little bite. Take a little bite, see if you get that. So quiet when you. Oh! Hey! You got the crunchiness. Let's go. Are you ready for the catch? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! How did you manage to kick it into my face? What the hell? <laughs> Where did that go? Oh, hey. Yeah, I'll give you one more. Because <laughs> you were silly. You ready? This one I'm not throwing. Just, just here. Here, have it. <laughs> I don't know where. We're on to like the final few pieces of fried stuff. And he managed to smack it with the top of his head when he was trying to catch it and it just shot somewhere past me i don't know i'm gonna have to clean my freaking closet after this he's managed to lose two of them he's trying his best <laughs> he is but at what cost i feel better getting some nice neck scratches now okay <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds honey and i hope you have a wonderful evening um nam Happy National Dog Day, outdated version. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I took away like the National Dog Day advertisement on this and was just like, ah, it's just a dog zatsu and it's fine. But yeah, happy, happy, happy one, one, one day. Cost is nothing. The cost is ants. <laughs> That's why I've got to find these meats when I finish streaming today. Okay, go chill out for a little bit, buddy. Yeah, I'll run you over. I'll do it. God, I hope that chicken didn't end up... He's looking for it. <laughs> He's looking around my Switch and PS5. No, you go ahead. I won't disturb you. You're fine. You do you. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I might be one of the people who tricked you by telling you 111 is National Dog Day on Marshmallow. <gasps> I knew it. We finally captured one. I, I told you I didn't just make it up. People told me. <laughs> we'll find part two out of two, hopefully, somewhere. Um, hello, Fuchan and Doggo. You are for the fun stream. Does your fluffy doggo have a strange habit? My 11-year-old dog always sits like a human. I would hate that. I think that would be bad for his spine, for one thing. But I, I've seen some dogs that, like, sit like that on couches, and it always creeps me out. So let's go back to animated doggo. We're just going to keep trading between the two. Oh, hello again. You going for a second sniff? You can't whine at me over there. I don't know where it is. <laughs> he just stared at me like, well, find it. I don't know where it is either. I just know it's somewhere that way. <laughs> anyway. Um, strange habits. Um... I don't think it's too strange of a habit, but he, he will just walk over to me and just put his chin on my leg or on my hand or whatever he can reach and just rest it there. Looking like an adorable little puppy. Um, I think that's pretty normal for dogs. Strange habits. He likes to dig holes. Not in the house, thankfully, but whenever he's outside, like he'll do the normal thing of like after peeing, he'll give it like a little scratch. But then there are sometimes if he finds like a particular loose bit of dirt, he loves digging a hole big enough to like essentially bury himself in. Same thing he does with the snow, but if he finds really loose dirt, yeah, he'll spend like a good 15 minutes digging a little hole so that he can just like lay down in it and have just his eyes popping out the top of it. I think that's just like a natural shepherd kind of thing where he wants to bury himself a little bit in the ground so the predators don't see him before he pops out and surprises them. Just like, hey! Those are my sheep. <laughs> Keep in mind, this breed was bred to fight bears in the Caucasus Mountains, which is why they're Caucasian Shepherds. Oh, are you okay? Hey, buddy. Don't dodge my pettings. What the fuck? Oh, you were just moving over there. Okay. Oh, you get so smiley when I pat his ears. Mouth opens up. Oh god, you are covered in his entire neck and chest is just nothing but drool. Oh hey, you came back. Mm. No, that's the final piece. You wait. Mm. We both know if I give that to you, you won't come back. Mm. 
Uh, de debatable. But you, you could come back in like five minutes. That's you. That's how silly you sound. You're a big baby? That's a bit better. That's a bit more of a big boy voice. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, I don't think he has many weird habits other than um no no real weird habits he likes ice like i'm trying to think of weird habits and everyone i get to it's like no all, all dogs do that like if i ever try to grab ice cubes to make a drink he makes sure he comes over and he's just like oh man i too like ice cubes you can let me chomp on them um but yeah other dogs like ice cubes um he'll get really prissy about his water sometimes he will straight up knock it over if it like if he drinks some water and leaves his own drool in it and then he'll come walking over and just be like, that's not clean enough. And he will knock it around the ground so he spills it everywhere. And then he'll just sit there whining like, who could have done this? My water's all over the floor. Human, please, I need more. Um, shit like that. He's just really a bit of a brat sometimes. <laughs> Stop, food chat, I'm going to die from cute overload. Uh, once I find those poppy pictures, like I'll definitely upload those after the stream. As long as I can find ones that are safe. But I think I can. Um, but yeah, that should be cute because you'll be able to see him go from like a little tiny teddy bear Essentially to the beast that he is today Dogs be like that. That's the thing. I don't think I can think of any like weird habits. He has If he ever gets into my bed, it's just to piss me off <laughs> Like he used to sleep in my bed when he was younger, but he got to a point where he He seems to just be kind of like I, he doesn't like it warm but Like even in the winter, he'll be sleeping on the coldest area he can whether it's like the tiles in the bathroom or like the, my bedroom doesn't have any carpets on it. Um, so he'll sleep in the bedroom or he'll sometimes sleep in the bathroom <laughs> because he prefers like the coolest area he can find. Um, but he'll never go to like the areas of the house that have carpet on them. He'll just like pass through them. <laughs> Rhea, thank you for donating the few funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. And Zigzagetti, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us. But yeah, I think I've told pretty much every interesting story about him. I, I only ever took him to a dog park. Oh, God. I paid a huge fee <laughs> to get to like join an official dog park back when my back was less messed up and I could still drive for long periods of time. It was like 30 minute drive away from my house. I took him there once and there were no dogs there. The whole reason I got it was because I wanted him to socialize. And I thought on the weekends in a dog park, obviously people are going to show up. <laughs> Nobody showed up. It was just him alone. But he had a lot of fun. There were, there were like all these kinds of toys, like balancing things and little seesaws where he could like walk over one side of them. And then as he puts his weight down on them, they start to move. They freaked him the fuck out, but he had a lot of fun with them. <laughs> so, yeah, that was like the one day he got to go join an actual dog park. I think I went back two or three times actually but every time there was no one there and so I gave up I was just like I get better socialization just walking him around my local area or taking him to the local Petco the local Petco always has like little puppy classes and things so he gets to at least socialize with dogs there I take him out and he just collapses in front of them just lets them approach him and then starts to sniff them <laughs> but yeah it's it's also hard to find people that want to socialize with a dog as big as him like a lot of the time when he, even when he was a puppy, when I was just walking around, like I'd always try to approach other dog owners and the dog owners would start to freak out and like pick up their tiny dogs and run away. Because even as a puppy, he was like twice the size of like a, he, he was probably like by three months old, he was about the size of a Shiba Inu. So yeah, a lot of the people around here have tiny, tiny little dogs where they just like, yeah, they just grab him and run away and they're like, Oh God, that beast can't play with my tiny baby boy. Even though he's so gentle and so nice. Don't judge a book by its cover, man. <laughs> Hope he finds friends. His closest friend is a Malamute that lives just down the street from me that freaking hates him and wants to eat his face. Um, I've, I've definitely told this story before, but there's a Malamute down the road from me that every time we walk by barks like he's going to murder him and like jumps at the fence and growls and dog will just walk past him and like play bow to him and like dance around 
bounce around and just be like, hey, you want to play? Friend, friend. Like he thinks he's having fun. The dog on the other side of the fence is like telling him, hey, if you come on the other side of this fence, I'm going to murder you. And dog just like, yeah, prances around, has fun, walks up to the fence, pees on it for insult to injury and then walks away. It's fantastic. He has zero self-awareness. <laughs> He's like, ah, they're looking at me. They must love me. <laughs> Nam. Oh, that's part two out of two. Although it's not a thing now, but I think having one, one, one is dog day is really cute. It is very cute. I kind of wish that stayed as national dog day for Japan. But I mean, I think it was created by the dog food industry anyway. So it was, it was like just to sell things anyway from what I looked up about it. But it's a cute name. I mean, Dog Day being 111 is perfect. And I kind of missed my doggo Oshi. Anyway, have a good day, Fu, and my Kami Oshi doggo. Here's Fu funds for you. Thank you so much, Nam. And I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad we got to do this, even though it wasn't actually a celebrated holiday anymore. <laughs> it gave an excuse. Limbo <laughs> doggo, yes. What if doggo knows, though? I don't know. Maybe he's into it. Maybe he's down for it. Maybe he likes being insulted. Maybe that's it. Maybe he's just like on the other side of the fence. Like, yes, shout at me more. You'll never catch me. Maybe I'll pee on this fence right here. Yeah, shout at me more. They just can't handle dog's charm. So true. M dog. I mean, aren't all dogs kind of? I mean, they wear collars. They wear harnesses. They they get trained. Um, um. She, your doggo makes my husky sing so I scream. Whoa! That is the <laughs> That is the most done I have ever seen a dog. That looks like a reaction meme. That should have words underneath it that's just like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> He's so done. Oh my god. Chi, thank you for donating the food funds. I'm glad it made your husky sing slash scream. I hope they're okay. Huskies are normally like very vocal. Like they like to sing. They don't just bark. They don't just howl. They go nuts. Looks like Ben Affleck. <laughs> the dog did not want the photo. Or just something happened right before the photo where the dog was like, bro, you good? But either way, thank you for telling the food funds. I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully all the all the confidants pets will be like freaking out by the end of this stream. Cuckoo! Good morning, Fuchan and Doggo. Thanks for this cutest stream. Because of the adorable energy, I feel like I can live more than a hundred years. Aw. I'm glad to hear that. And you better. We need your beautiful art around here. Thank you for always doing amazing artwork. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Doggo go ham. Doggo go ham. And hopefully earn some ham. Hopefully everybody gives their doggos some treats today. Just to be fair, he's really silly. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> they start and never stop. How are <laughs> Oh my god. Doggo is sleepy sleepy. Doggo is always sleepy. He's either in play mode, he's in food mode, or he's in sleep mode. Those are his three options. There is nothing in between. <laughs> Fubo. I did Claire's route last, but my god, it was worth it. He's such a good boy. People seem to really like Claire. I'm going to be interested when I meet him. I mean, even Wozemi Summer said do the clear route. So we'll see. We'll see. It depends on what I like. Obviously, we only get the demo. So we're only going to get like an introduction to the characters anyway. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get to choose like a route. We'll see. But we shall see. Happy four. I'm glad that National Dog Day has made this day. I have allergies and the sound of Doggo and Fuchan happily chattering away will help me live longer. <laughs> Yo, a lot of people saying that. I'm glad it's given you guys energy. Thank you so much for donating the food funds, Peppy4. And again, yeah, thank you for all your beautiful artwork as well. I love Mink. A, pop a couple people said Mink as well. Mizuki. I definitely didn't hear any Minks before today. Before today, it was all clear and noise. I'm glad to see there's some love for like all of the boys. We'll see what kind of interesting characteristics they have. A dog is so silent, I forget she's there sometimes. I wish she barked a little. Mine, probably like 12 times a day, goes nuts just from, yeah. It can be anything. It could be somebody actually coming to the door. It, it can be like a dog walking by that he happens to see. It, it can genuinely be like a piece of trash blowing down the road that makes enough noise that he's like, oh, there's something there. The hell about Ren? I, I, I don't know of Ren. <laughs> like, like I said, I the only name for any of the characters I knew before today was just Alba. So Alba was the only name I knew, so we'll see when we meet them. <laughs> Cataclysm. I'm so happy YouTube is cooperating today. Yoga stream is the highlight of my week. 
Double Oshi Overload Live is feeding me well. Yeah, let's give him his final piece of food. Yeah, I hear you coming. You want this final piece of food? Huh? You gotta speak. Not bad. Louder? Speak! Speak! Speak, speak, speak! Speak! Pretty good. Not bad. Can I have paw? Good boy. Now one more speak. That's good. Okay, you ready? You ready? Yeah, that one definitely got caught on my phone. <laughs> he lunged for that one. That's a good boy. Okay, you're going to go lay by the window again? You're going to go be a good guard doggy? Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Okay. You freeze. It's all gone. I promise you, it's all gone. <laughs> he does not believe me. <laughs> He's looking and sniffing around everywhere. Maybe he'll find that piece he knocked away. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for turning the Food Funds Cataclysm and have a lovely day. By the window like an MC. Yeah, he'll just camp out by the windows. They're at about his head level, so he just sticks down, sticks his butt down, and like sticks his nose up to them. And I mean, I normally have them a little open even when it's cold, so he can just get his whole snout out the window and just sniff. Just sniff and watch, and then as soon as he hears something, he'll be on alert. Katsia, thank you for donating to the Foo Funds. Doggo Kawaii. Happy Doggo Day Fufu. Thank you so much. Is that another Shiba? Oh, it's a pair of. I don't know if they're both Shibas. The one on the left is so fluffy. Oh my god, that's beautiful. The one on the right is gorgeous as well. It looks like Gumi's dog. But thank you so much for the huge Aka Super. I'm glad I was actually able to read. I actually know those kanji from Chinese. Could I? But then when I saw the hiragana, I was like, oh, kawaii. I hope that's correct. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. That's an Akita on the right? Really? That must be a baby Akita, because Akitas get huge. Compared to Shiba, anyway. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, that must be a baby Akita. They're both cute anyway. I love Shibas. They have such quizzical faces. They kind of look like foxes. Yes, that's right. Okay. Looks more like a woolly Shiba. I was, I'm sure the owner knows. <laughs> Looks like a Shiba Aranya. I mean, yeah, Shiba and Akita look quite similar until you see their sizes. They have like different hefts to them. Different like body shapes, but their faces are very similar. Is it not a Rottweiler? Oh, it's definitely not a Rottweiler. Got way too much color and it's way too small. Rottweilers are way, way chunkier. Is the left a Chow Chow? I don't think so. Chow Chows tend to be way fluffier. It may be something mixed with a Shiba though. It's definitely part Shiba. Oh, uh, they're adorable. Makita's are more bear-like, yeah. But their faces don't look too different, thankfully. Loren, thank you for donating the food funds. Food funds for a Kami Yoshi. Okay. <laughs> He's already had his food for the morning. Oh. Uh, there are actually some little tiny pieces of stuff here. Maybe we'll give him that to him later. But for now, he's moved on. He's back into guard dog mode. Thank you for donating the food funds. They said it's a Shiba. Okay, so they're both Shibas. There we go. They're so cute. I like Shibas and Akitas. They have cute faces. Anything that looks like a fox makes me happy. Neko T got a promotion at work, so here's some food funds for my Kamiyoshi Taco. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations on the promotion, Neko T. That's freaking awesome. Hope whatever you're working at, it's nice. Um, I will turn off the Ooh, animated doggo too. We'll go back to still doggo while he's essentially sleeping. In fact, can I put him at the window? I wonder. Oh, this has my hand on it, so no, not really. <laughs> the best I could do is... Zoop. Nope, that's upside down. Um, zoop. There we go. He's not paying attention to us anymore. I don't have food. He doesn't want to deal with me. So he's looking that way. I could put him over here. And, uh, sure, I'll put him with you guys. You guys can accompany Doggo. There we go. 
Anyway. Now the hand kind of looks like it works. <laughs> he played football with a sausage. He did. Oh, that's not going to be fun to find later. I can see the little piece of chicken he launched first. It's way under my desk. I have no idea where the sausage went. Sausage, God, could be anywhere in my room. I'm literally going to have to clean to find it. Foo fun for Doggo because he's so cute. Thank you. And yeah, I will release his puppy pictures after this. As long as I can find safe ones, I'm pretty sure I can. Sad I have allergies to fur. Basically cats, dog, hamsters, and more. Same with my mom, so I can't get a dog. Oh, that does suck. I know some people that have allergies that just like take pills every day, but that sounds so stressful as well. Ugh, having to keep up with that. Thank you. Paradox Mint. The way food talks to Comfy about dog is how I talk about food to friends. <laughs> what am I to you, a pet? <laughs> I saw a really cute thing on Twitter the other day about somebody talking about talking with their mother about where they should put the poster of me and Luca and their mother was <laughs> said something really funny about oh don't you want to sleep with it and it was like <laughs> that awkward moment with the phrase <laughs> for allergies for animals but I essentially said I didn't care yeah I know a lot of people like that it's the same I know a lot of people that can't eat dairy and yet they eat dairy. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Sometimes they forget to take the pill for the stomach as well and get incredible stomach aches, but they're like, screw it. I'll eat dairy. Sure. Wasn't that? Oh, was it Shizun? Did I just expose Shizun? <laughs> That's me. Fair enough. Kid is not functioning. I want to fall asleep using Doggo and your cats as sleeping aids. They sound very good to hug and rest with. Mm, they can be, actually. Dog has... That's one thing he does. When Dog gets sick, I know it immediately because he becomes incredibly cuddly. Like, he'll just come walking over and just find any way to, like, rub himself against me. That that made it sound weird. I mean, like, he rubs, like, his shoulders and his head against me. Um, rather than just, like, leaning on me and, like, expecting pettings, he will, like, straight up get his own pettings by moving himself against my hand or thigh. Um, yeah, that's when I know he's sick because he's not normally that attentive and that interested in getting pettings and cuddles normally he could take it or leave it <laughs> he more likes to play with things than that but yeah when he gets sick he gets like very very attached to me and will like rub against me or just like when i'm sleeping he'll be as close to the bed as possible to the point that i've gotten out of bed a few times and like felt my feet not connect and instead connect with a bunch of hairy fur and been like oh god damn it Dog move. <laughs> like he has to move away from the bed before I can get out. Because <laughs> yeah, he manages like he's long enough that he takes the whole fucking side of a bed. And sometimes he curls around the corner of a bed. I never know exactly where he is. So it's just like if my feet connect with dog, it's just like. <sighs> dog move. I gotta pee, man. I gotta pee. You can't trap me like this. So yeah, one not so good thing about bonding with dog. <laughs> Thank you for telling the food fucks. Bo 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 ba. Bo 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 ba. Another doggo treat because he sings beautifully. I'm glad you like the singing. I thought some people would get sick of it real quickly. It's very high pitched. It hurts my brain. Bum bum. La la. Doggo so cute. Happy to see you again. Thank you, Fuchan. No problem. I know a lot of people were looking forward to another doggo stream. I'm glad we got to do it. My doggo had to have surgery and we took turns sleeping next to her in the little spoon. Oh, that's cute. That's always nice. Yeah, when dogs don't feel so well, they definitely become super cute. High pitched? Yeah, I mean, it's super high pitched, man. Doggo says feed him or no bladder. <laughs> no, thankfully. I tell him to move. He moves. <laughs> he doesn't say like, what have you got for me, human? He gets the shit out of my way. He knows I mean it. And I would step on him if I had to. <laughs> And Lala, thank you for donating the food, food funds again. I hope you're enjoying the stream still and have a lovely evening. Yo, Camille, how did you do a double super chat that fast? That's crazy. Um, dragons are not extinct, dog. Chin scratches for dog only guy. No, I'm sorry. I ain't going near that chin, that throat, or that chest. I will give him head pats. I will give him ear scratches. I'll give him shoulder rubs, and I will give him back and butt scratches. Right now, he is entirely soaked from the chin down to the paws at the front. Um, I am not touching that. I will be covered in hair. I will not be able to touch my mouth. Just no. Just no. 
And that's after he whipped his head back and forth and sprayed me with draw. That was... That was fantastic. That's how to clean. Um, it's not actually too bad. I mean... Uh, yeah, the dog draw just kind of like soaks into the wood floors eventually. Um, It's fine. We just mop it eventually. Like, you know, get rid of the smell. Um, But yeah, it's not like his chest gets matted or anything. Um, even though he has a lot of hair around his head, like we, I brush him often enough that he doesn't get matted or anything, so he's fine. Lovey, thank you for donating the food funds again. Hope you're enjoying the stream, even though now it's just turned into a Zatsudan. I apparently should have prepared more food, or shouldn't have given him so much food so quickly. That's probably what it was. I babied him too much. <laughs> Disono. Yeah, who's your good boy? Who's your whiny baby? Oh, Fuchan, I didn't see you there. Thanks for accompanying our Oshi here. My throat's dead at the moment, which truly made my night. <laughs> I'm glad to hear this stream made your night. And honestly, I'm fine with Dog being your Oshi. He's more entertaining than me. He definitely sings better than me. In fact, I should have gotten him on the Shadow and Truth cover. <laughs> honestly <laughs> he could do the bits between the choruses like millie's doing like the proper singing bits so he could just be like in between every the truth is about seeing your eyes <laughs> doggo cover why not <laughs> ah i've been thirsty too man I didn't drink water that whole time because it was separated by the stupid platter of meats. Anyway. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Disono. <laughs> hope you have a lovely rest of your evening. I do hope you feel better. Take care of your throat. Drink some nice hot tea. I just bought a new kettle because my kettle has been broken for a while. Hasn't been so bad during summer. Now it's getting cold again. And the other day I was like, I could really go with some actual like black tea. And then I remember the kettle was broken. And I was like, I don't want microwave tea. I... I'm going to order a kettle. <laughs> I ordered a kettle and I ordered like tea bags from the UK online because I fucking hate Lipton. All I can find around me is Lipton and it's always like Lipton, the most, the, the best tea according to Britain. And I'm like, no, it's not. You have to use like three tea bags to get any kind of flavor out of a fucking Lipton tea bag. It's shit. Lipton sucks. Thank you. For some reason, America seems to think that's proper British tea. It's ugh. I love Lipton. Lipton is good for iced tea. If you like iced tea, Lipton's fine. Other than that, get Tetley or PG Tips. Tetley or PG Tips are good. Lipton is so bad, it tastes like nothing. That's the thing, even if you, twi Twinings is okay. Do Twinings even do like an Earl Grey? You could do better than Lipton for hot tea. Yeah, Lipton is just way, way weak for some reason, for whatever reason. <laughs> what is property uh it just has to be stronger if you've had lipton that ain't property um get twinings or get pg tips one tea bag will be the equivalent of three lipton tea bags and even then it has a richer flavor you get lipton and you add like milk and sugar to it it just it doesn't even have any tea flavor anymore you've just given up you've just made kind of water <laughs> how about chinese green tea chinese green tea is great but i mean has a reason that it's called breakfast tea i like black tea in the morning it really warms you up it really wakes you up it has more caffeine it doesn't have as many antioxidants though green tea is great for just like a daily thing i especially like green tea cold like i like making a big old batch of green tea with like four different green tea bags normally with some lemon and honey as well and then just throwing it in the fridge just using that for like a week um Fortnum or Mason or Widdard? I haven't actually heard of those. Interesting. Green tea with honey and ginseng. I've never had it with ginseng either. Hmm. But yeah, green tea with honey is always good. Small Fox, been busy with touching grass, jet lag, and immediately preparing for an incoming training. So nice to finally catch a stream and be healed by cute doggo noises. Yeah, in fact, let's give him this final. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Can't whistle this morning. What the hell? Hey, dog. Hey, did you know I was holding out on you? you want that? You gotta speak. 
Are you warming up? Speak. Oh, not bad, not bad. Speak. No, 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 you don't get to eat it till you speak. Speak. Better. Speak. There we go, good boy. Speak. Good boy. Okay, go nuts. <laughs> yeah, that caught on the microphone a lot. That's him licking the platter clean from the fried bits. Got it, buddy. It's so gone. Okay, good boy. <laughs> oh, gun. Oh, and you fill the entire platter with draw. Oh, gun, my good boy. You want some heads? Oh, okay. Oh, gun, you freeze. Wah. Oh, you can hear him? <laughs> yeah, that was super loud. I didn't think about that. Like, actually licking the bowl itself made it pretty decent. My heart is melting. He's... Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no. I'm glad I didn't capture that. The, the entire platter is now just... Drool fest. Dishwasher? Yeah, I mean, at least this... Yeah, this was a plastic platter, so... Ugh. Anyway, thank you for donating the food fund, small folks. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, you may hire... No message, but thank you so much for donating me through funds. Thank you for being here and have a lovely time. Boom, boom, boom. I'm exploding. He has a beautiful voice. He does have a good whining voice. <laughs> let me throw, let me move this platter so I can actually get to my water. <sighs> there we go. I love Pu'ar, especially after heavy meals. The, with the mooncakes was, oh wait, no, I didn't get Pu'ar, did I? I got Oolong. I couldn't find Pu'ar. I want to try Pua. It sounds good. Sir Fuchan, your dog will kill me out of adorableness. I will accept my fate. Both you and dog brighten my day. <laughs> Have a nice day. I don't think being killed is having a brightened day, but... Uh, I hope you have a lovely day after this, Lily Demon Nerd. Enjoy the brightened day, but yeah, don't don't let it kill you. That's that's a bad idea. You finish your mooncakes? Yeah, I'll sh yeah, I didn't say that. I, I gave them away um, a few days ago. I think it was the 28th. How long ago was the 28th? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I gave um, the ones that I wanted to give away to people on Saturday. I gave them to like three of my different neighbors. Um, and now I'm just... I've got one... I forget what they're called. The mixed nut ones. I've got one mixed nut one left. Um, none of them have told me what they thought of them yet. <laughs> so... I don't know if they actually ate them. I don't know if they threw them away. I don't know if they just haven't tried them yet. <laughs> but none of them have told me what they thought of the mooncakes just yet. We shall find out. <laughs> Comfy Octopus, thank you for donating the food funds. I can't believe my two Oshis are having an off collab right now. T5 for letting us meet Doggo. Here's the food funds for the big baby. Yeah, true, actually. Today is an off collab day. I off collab with Dog today. And I could also have two hats with me if I need to. I do my own off collabs. Um, did you give the rose one to anyone? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Good luck to them with that. <laughs> like I said, I gave them to three different sets of people. Um, to one set of people, I gave uh, one of the nut ones. To another one, I gave them another nut one. And to the final group of people, because they've got like kids, I gave them the four lava cakes because there were doubles of those lava cakes. Uh, so they got a rose one. <laughs> So most of them they should like. Like I gave them the ingredient list for all of them as well. I gave them the little insert that comes out with it so they know what's what, just in case. But yeah, good luck to them. Bro, you're evil. Hey, some people like those, apparently. They were included in the box set. So some people like the taste of Chanel number no. five. Maybe they're the type of people who, when they were kids, like sprayed perfume into their mouths. Can I call your doggo Fur Fur Chan? Sure. You can, you can have pet names for my animals. That's fine by me. I I don't mind that. <laughs> Who did that? I mean, I definitely knew some kids that did that. I also knew some kids like, you know, you remember when, like, 
I think they stopped making them after the 2000s because this happened too often. They like used to be their scent, those scented pens, but they also kind of had a taste to them. I definitely knew some kids that used to like scribble a bunch on a piece of paper and then just like lick it. Not actually eat it, thankfully. I don't think they got much of the ink in their mouth, but yeah, I definitely know a lot of people that would like scribble for like a solid two minutes and then just like lick the paper. I mean, I also knew kids that ate paper. I don't know if they were like trying to be like interesting in that way and they were just like, yeah, you have to eat paper. They'd like rip up little bits of paper and eat it and chew it and like, ugh. I remember those, yeah. I mean, there were also kids that like ate glue and stuff. That Kids just do weird things. Kids do weird things. <laughs> I mean, I ate soap as a child, voluntarily. Oh, God. <laughs> Kids can be weird. I also knew some that, like, ate bugs just to be exciting as well. Um, and I knew some that, like, lied about eating bugs as well that were like, yeah, I totally eat bugs. <laughs> I'm so cool. And then you brought them over an earthworm and you were like, do it. Do it, bitch. And they wouldn't. And it was like, yeah, you don't eat bugs. You don't get to lie to me. I know your lies. Miss Mercurial. Oh, little pupper. So many people have changed their avatars to puppers today. The entire purpose of this super is to introduce Bailey, my golden and profile pick to Doggo. I love this stream so much. Oh my God. What are they wearing? That's adorable. Is that like a bandana around their neck or is that a really fancy harness? Either way, that's such a good shot with the snout way up into the camera. Looks like he's already getting a little sniffle with. <laughs> the wangy wangy from the dugu. Thank you for donating the food funds, Mr. Curio, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Aww, Bailey looks so cute. The sniffer? Exactly, the sniffer. They're being introduced to the right side of the sniffer. Bum, 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 bum. Fubo! My late godmother had a dog I spent most of my childhood with. I'd play and nap with him in his doghouse. My dearest memories. I miss my god dog. Aww, that's sad. Hope you get a dog of your own someday. Yeah, I think dogs are like one of the best animals in the world. They're just so supportive. They're so good. They make you exercise. They make it so that you have to go outside and walk. <laughs> and then they give you so much love just completely unconditionally. One of the things I love the most about dogs is that there are no bad dogs. There are only shitty owners. Like there are some shitty owners who don't deserve dogs, but their dogs still love them. Those poor ones that never get any attention and just spend all their day barking in their yards because they never get walked properly. They never get played with. <sighs> but they still love their owners so much. It sucks. Dogs deserve better. Dogs deserve better than humans a lot of the time. Kokihi, good morning, Fuchan and Dogo. You both are so cute and make me comfy. Well, so I'm excited for Noctix's official program this evening. Oh shit, me too. I forgot that was this evening. As I said, don't take this one too seriously. Um, this evening's one is essentially going to be an introduction to the show. So not too much is going to happen. It's just going to be a bit of us talking and reacting to interviews. Um, so just know that while this evening's one is very much of just like a nothing kind of episode, th there's going to be episodes that are really freaking cool in the future that show like a lot of secrets. I hope... Like, this is my greatest hope. I haven't seen what they've done with it. <laughs> but I hope that they've done, like, a next time on Noctix level up kind of thing. It would be great. How long is it? I don't know that either. I mean, <laughs> we recorded about 30 episodes for each one. And I'm imagining they could be cut down all the way to, like, 10 minutes. Because there's a lot of stuff that goes into that where it's just like, they're going to need to take that out. They're going to need to take out the silences. They're going to need to take out, like, the moving from scenes to scenes and stuffs. Um, but yeah, they could be anywhere from like 10 minutes to 25 minutes each. Some of them are going to be long. Some of them are going to be short. A lot of them are going to be very interesting. Um, but some of them, there are going to be a couple where it's just like, hmm, nothing much happened. What I will tell you is that definitely, I don't know which episodes they'll be because <laughs> we recorded them out of order. Um, but some of the episodes are going to have like, spoilers for things that are going to happen as late as our actual anniversary so you're going to be seeing some things in them that happen like we start to plan certain things for our anniversary so you'll get little sneak peeks of some of the projects that are coming up but that's the thing though none of that will be in the first episode <laughs> the first episode is essentially just going to be us talking about our strengths our weaknesses what we'd like to work on what we'd like to level up on and so, yeah, the first episode will be probably kind of 
Oh, I'm kind of worried about it. I wish they'd like <laughs> done something more exciting for the first episode to draw people in. But yeah, no, there'll be some really incredible episodes going on. And yeah, we'll like show a lot of the back end stuff that we do, which doesn't get seen too often. And yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Basically an intro episode. Yeah, basically. I mean, that's the only problem. If you have an intro episode, normally it'd be better if the second episode comes out immediately as well <laughs> to give you like a proper look at like, hey, this is what we're actually going to do. So we'll see. We'll see how they edit it. I trust Niji Sanji. I trust the editing department. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll like hint at how many other things we're going to do and stuff. Is it a weekly or a monthly thing? I believe it's going to be every other week because uh, it's leading all the way up to our anniversary. And I think we recorded eight episodes. We either recorded eight. It was somewhere between eight to ten. Um, but either way, I think it's going to be every other week. Way the hell until like, yeah, the end of February. Um, so a lot of a lot of stuff to come. Trust the editors. Uh, yeah, I always trust the editors. They do good jobs. But yeah, we shall see. Don't quote me on that. It's just I think it's bi-weekly. So it wasn't 30 episodes. Dear God, no. 30 episodes? Who said that? Oh, dear God. Maybe 30 minutes each. Did they say 30 something? You said that? No, I said 30 minute recordings. Oh, no, I said 30. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I said 30 minutes and that they'd probably cut it down to 10 to 20. Okay, maybe I did say it wrong. <laughs> you said 30 episodes. Oh, I meant to say 30 minutes. I meant to say we recorded for 30 minutes at a time, but I'm pretty sure they're going to cut it down to 10 to 20 per episode. Okay, my bad. <laughs> There's going to be like 8 to 10 episodes, and I think they're going to be bi-weekly. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, uh, many good things will happen today. Thank you. Thank you, Kokihi. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Oof, 30 episodes, jeez. I don't think any of us would have been able to stream during that. I mean, I was streaming every day and recording for other things that won't be out for a while, and recording these, and recording Shadow and Truth. So yeah, 30 episodes would be murder. <laughs> I don't think we'd be interesting enough for that either. Where will it post on? It's being posted on the official Niji Sanji channel. Because in 2024, they're going to be doing a lot of stuff on the official Niji Sanji channel. And essentially, like, bringing it back to life. It won't be all... Like, it won't be Noctix programs continuously. Or they're going to change things. But yeah, they're bringing, like, the Niji Sanji EN YouTube channel back to life with a whole bunch of different projects. So look forward to it. Kukihi, thank you so much for donating the food funds. And I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well. Cappuccino, smiling face with hearts. Funds for Doggo. Hearing him re-energize me, I'll do well at work today for sure. I'm glad to hear that. He has that effect of waking people up and not letting them sleep. Anyway, <laughs> wannabe Bobby. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a lovely evening. Noctember is looking up. I mean, that's the thing. We said it was like Noctix November, but realistically. But yeah, it's several, several. I mean, it's a, it's a couple months of Noctix <laughs> leading up to our second anniversary. So, I mean, that's fun. I'm glad that we got to be the first people to like try this kind of project out. Get to share a bit of our behind the scenes and everything with you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to downplay episode one. Because I don't think episode one is going to be great. <laughs> but like I said, there are going to be some that are going to be absolutely incredible. I just hope they give like a little like preview. Because there are so many things that I want to talk about. There are so many things where I'm like, yeah, we're going to be doing this thing on there. And we're going to be doing that thing on there. Like, there's so many things I want to talk about. And it's like, if it's not in a preview that I'm going to have to just be like waiting week by week like are they gonna do the thing here is it the, the thing here i really want to talk about the thing <laughs> queenie you and doggo just made my day thank you Futan. oh thank you queenie and i love your little cabbage dog <laughs> i forget its actual name but that's so cute have a wonderful evening and thank you for being here we won't tell anyone Futan. we both know that's not how it works i will say i was very impressed nobody let slip about dramatical murder I specifically asked, like, I accidentally leaked my this week's schedule early last week. I was like, please nobody leak that. Please nobody tell anybody what I'm playing. <laughs> and to be fair, like, nobody did. So thank you guys so much. But to my credit, I was so right. Because as soon as my schedule went up, <laughs> so many people messaged me immediately and were like, oh, 
we, we can do dramatical we're allowed dramatic dramatical murder and it was like uh yeah we, we can now uh sure <laughs> so yeah i'm glad that didn't leak early i uh, thankfully nobody's playing it before me this week i i would have actually been hurt by that <laughs> so yeah glad that worked out yeah and it probably means a lot more people will play it over the next couple of weeks thank you for trusting us yeah i didn't even like take it out of the video i just trusted you guys it totally wasn't just laziness I mean that's surprising they allowed you yeah it took me ages <laughs> um oh thank you for donating the food funds sending a virtual hug to doggo thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful evening thank you so much for joining us and being here trying to get back to that part to see if i've missed any because i know for sure i missed an arca super um oh god i've missed so many youtube is eating so many of these um Oh no, I haven't gone up to that yet. Where am I? MM. Or did I? Oh dear God, I don't even know. <laughs> this one I definitely missed. Eileen, thank you so much for donating the food funds with the huge Niji Sanji Akasupa. Oh, doggo VTubering. My Oshi is so cute. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for donating the food funds. Our little secret food chan? No. No, I will never spoil some of the projects we have upcoming because maybe then they'd cancel them. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of projects that we're working on that essentially get shown as behind the scenes things on Noctix level up. So yeah, I'm just excited for you to see all of those certain episodes. Really blew the shit out of my mind, like seeing the behind the scenes on certain things. I was like, this is so cool. And you're going to see my live reaction of finding. And this is why I'm annoyed because I really want to explain why I freaked out about certain things. But it's like, hold it for chan. A few weeks, a few weeks, I'll be able to talk about it. But yeah, there's one particular episode where... I learned the back end of something and was just like, that's so freaking cool. It always sounded so boring to me, but man, now I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, MM, thank you for donating the food funds. Does Doggo have this certain addicting smell like cat sushi does? I'm obsessed with mine and sometimes I just went up to them in hell and it annoys them so much. My cats do not smell good. I will tell you that much. <laughs> I, I don't bathe them too often, to be fair. Because, I mean, they don't need it. They're house cats, and they're pretty clean by themselves. But, yeah, no, I would never sniff my cats. They, they're dirty little creatures. They always go hiding under the radiators and stuff. Yuck. Um, dog, on the other hand, smells good because I bathe them every couple of months. And it's always in um, shampoo with coconut and mango. But, yeah, he always smells good. That shit, that smell actually stays on him for, like, a good six weeks after a bath. And even then, he doesn't need a bath for a while longer. But yeah, he always smells good. Has can be bathed twice a month? Who has the strength? <laughs> Cats hate being bathed. Every time I bathe my cat, it's a fucking fight. And I get the one of them pretty okay. Because it's just like, hey, cats is... Get them over, start to pet them a little bit. Whip them up and then take them. I, I just bathe them straight in the sink. So that's nice and easy. But as soon as I bathe the one, the other one knows what's going on. So then the other one is just impossible to get. I have to bathe them on like separate days so that the other one's forgotten about the fact that the other one got bathed. <laughs> like my cat, second cat will not come anywhere near me after first cat's been bathed for like at least six hours. <laughs> I just burrito wrap them. Oh, that's pretty smart. I wish I could do that. <laughs> it sounds intelligent. But thank you for donating the food funds, MM. And yeah, I imagine that's a live cat reaction of every time you grab your cat to sniff it. <laughs> Cat's just like, please. No, I did not consent. But thank you for donating the food funds, MM. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> I use waterless shampoo on mine. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Is Doggo easy to bathe or do you also get a bath while bathing him? I also get a bath while bathing him, but it's not because he's hard to bathe. It's just because he shakes a lot. Um, and I'm fine with him shaking while I'm bathing him. If I bathe him, I know I pretty much have to have a shower immediately after anyway. So that is what it is, <laughs> essentially. Like if I bathe him, I know I'm going to get absolutely soaked from head to toe and covered in air. So yeah, but no, he's fine. I don't take him to like one of the places that has like a dog bath anymore. I just literally take him outside and tie him to a tree take him outside with his um harness and his lead on and just wrap it around a tree in my garden 
and then I take out the hose and spray him down. Warm hose, obviously. Um, but yeah, spray him down, bathe him. He actually is fine with it for the most part. When we, it's when I start toweling him off that then he starts to like freak out a little bit because he's ready to go inside already. He's like, it's done. I'm bathed. Let me go. But if I let him go there, the entire house will be soaked because he'll just run in and start shaking all over again and laying down and rolling around and covering everything in dog water. <laughs> So yeah, I have to like properly towel him off as much as I can before I let him go in. <laughs> How many times in a week do you take Doggo to bath? Zero. My, not point zero five. I don't know. I, you, you, I don't know anyone who bathes their dog multiple times a week. That sounds scary. I, I bathe dog like every three months. And that's more than enough. The only time I bathe him more than that is if I like... The time I went camping, like we have a lot of ticks where I am. So yeah, anytime I go into like the woods or up the mountains, yeah, I have to like bathe him off immediately to make sure any ticks haven't like attached themselves to him. Not good to do more than once a week. Yeah, no, animals are way different from humans. <laughs> they do not need that shit that often. Um, That sounds bad for them. I don't know if it's bad for them. I think it would probably be okay for them. It's just, it's, it's, it's just unneeded. Like with dogs and cats, it's not like you're trying to keep them deodorized or anything. It's just like you want to get the dirt and grime off of them and let their hair loose. Is it bad I, like, I bathe my doggo twice a week? You know, I don't think it's bad for them. I think it's just unnecessary. You can totally do that. They also make like all kinds of things. Like I know they have all kinds of things like doggy deodorant or it's like a spray kind of thing where you spray it into their coat and massage it in. And it makes them smell freshly clean the whole time. But again, it's just like, why? <laughs> Dogs smell fine. I don't need my dog to smell like shampoo all the time. It would just be over the top. You got to do research because you can dry out their skin and give them issues. See, I didn't know that either. But yeah, I know there are like, there are some dogs you don't even like want to bathe like often at all. And I know there are some where you actually want their coats to get like really like long and silly looking. Even though for most breeds, it would look like they were kind of matted. I know there are some dogs that have hair that like curl around on themselves like that. But yeah, I don't have to worry about that with dog. He's a Caucasian Shepherd. I just need to brush him continuously. Bathe him every couple months. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't get matted, but he also has long hair because he needs the double coat. The double coat's actually good for keeping his temperature. Surprisingly, the double coat can actually be good for like keeping them cool in summer as well. A lot of people talk about like shaving their dogs and that actually does much, much worse for them than just letting them keep a double coat, which actually lets them regulate their own temperature. Um, but yeah, Marinette, thank you for donating the food funds. My dog seeing me gushing over your doggo. His face. He's just like, really? I am right here, Marinette. Why, why don't you? How dare you, Marinette? You don't look at me that way anymore. When am I going to get a platter of mixed meat? <laughs> Thank you for telling the food funds. The betrayal in those eyes, I know, right? In front of my salad, Marinette? And why am I eating salad? Give me meat, damn it. <laughs> Step. Thank you for donating the food funds. Doggo happy, we happy. So here's Doggo fund. Thank you so much, Step. Oh, and look at this adorable picture. Dog and cats and cats all looking so happy together. Oh. Did you draw this one, Step? Because this is adorable. I don't remember this image, but it's so nice seeing them all reach out. Except for Bitch Cat. <laughs> Resting Bitch Cat. That's what I call her. <laughs> cat with a... C no, that is actually Cat with a K. Cat with a K that's super energetic and just does not like anything other than my pain and suffering. <laughs> Thank you for telling the food fun step. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> Zam. I mean, that's what she was bequeathed when she first appeared on Twitter anyway. Everybody was like, yo, why do the cats look like Archivist and Legatus? One of them's like super chill and happy and the other one looks like they want to fight. And I told everyone that's what they look like all the time, but no one believed me until the second image went up and it's the exact same thing. It's just, yeah, I think that just happens with siblings. When you have like two cat siblings... There's always got to be one that's a hunter and one that gets bullied and just likes being petted and cuddled. There's going to be one who likes to chase things around and attack things. And one that's just like done with being attacked, doesn't care and just wants to cuddle up with the humans. I love cats and dogs, but I can't keep them as pets because of my mother's allergies. Aw, that sucks. Hopefully when you get your own pace someday, you can have your own cats or dogs, whichever you want. 
Well, you can always get something that doesn't give allergies. One thing that I do like, like, if I was to get any other kind of pet in the future, it would have to be fish. I'm not sure what type of fish. <laughs> That's another one where it's like a bit of a commitment because like, same as like cleaning out a bird's cage, you have to like clean a tanks and aquariums pretty damn well every couple of months, depending on how long. But yeah, I just think fish are beautiful. Like depending on the type of fish they are, just seeing them like float around the aquarium, having a good time is nice. Gotta be careful with fish if you have cats. I'll get little... What are those shrimp called that can punch so hard it can like shatter human bones? I'll get those. So if my cat ever tries to dip their hands in the aquarium, a little shrimp will come up and just give it a little... One of those. One of those. Oh, a mantis shrimp. Thank you. They're, the one, they're also the ones that have the crazy amount of vision, right? They see like... 12 different colors where we only see three. Imagine an alligator turtle. That'd be too far. That might actually hurt one of my cats. <laughs> Little mantis shrimp. Just like, I can't imagine my cat sticking their face in the water. They're not that dumb. They would stick their paws in the water and then they'd just get a little punch. And they'd be like, oh, I shouldn't do that again. That's a spicy shrimp. <laughs> Aren't those shrimp mortally wound us? Not on your hand. <laughs> on your hand, it's just a teaching lesson. Get a jellyfish so you can have all of Noctix. I mean, technically, well, I'd also need a sheep. Um, I have a cat. I have a dog. So I do have Albert and Sunny. I guess, yeah, I don't need a sheep because I'm the sheep. Or I'm the wolf. Definitely don't need a wolf. Um, we could get a jellyfish in an aquarium. <laughs> they do look pretty, but that you need big fucking aquariums for that shit. Ah. Uh, I don't think I have the money to commit to that. When I said get some fish, I meant like <laughs> some tropical fish that costs like $12 each. Uh, small enough that I can buy an aquarium for like 80 bucks, maybe. <laughs> I wasn't thinking spending like thousands of dollars getting a huge aquarium to take care of jellyfish. <laughs> that jellyfish allow. I've definitely seen it. I've been to like, I've been to some businesses where they have like giant aquariums full of jellyfish. It's just crazy. Like common goldfish. The goldfish would be a bit boring. I'd want some tropical fish. I'd want some ones like those ones that have like the long lines hanging off of them and stuff. You can normally get those for pretty damn cheap. Um, and they can go into basic aquariums that have like the purifiers and stuff. Puffer fish. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to be trying to change the fish's water, trying to fish out a puffer fish, have it inflate and stab me and then be like, ah, well, I've been poisoned to death. Died by my own hubris. <laughs> koi fish. Koi fish are too expensive for sure. Koi fish cost like a couple hundred bucks each. I don't know if there are ones that you can get for cheap. Angel fish. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I was thinking about. Angel fish are those ones that look like they're from Finding Nemo, right? Angel fish. Yeah, I like those ones. They got the huge fins. There are some tropical fish that have like long dangly line things coming off them. I forget what they're called. But you can find them pretty easily at most pet stores. And they're not too expensive. Marijuana fish? Let me check. Marijuana fish. Oh shit, that's huge. Hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> Chat! Again, I'm not spending like a thousand dollars to get a aquarium to suit this. Plus, the fish itself costs 300 bucks. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Everyone is a big... Yeah, they are. Might as well get a freaking barracuda at that point. If I'm going to get a fish that big, I might as well get a freaking predator. Something that takes care of, like, everything else in the lake. I think you'd like fishing... Fighting fish. That's beta fish. Let me see fighting fish. Or oh, better fish. Oh, there's all kinds of different types. Oh, they are very pretty. Do they actually murder each other? Siamese fighting fish. Scientific name, Mucopodus punknax. Aggressive fish with big feet. <laughs> oh my God. Invasive species, diet, reproduction, fighting fish. They're known to have collected wide betas, blah, blah, blah. 
They have an aggressive nature and they fight other beneficial. Oh my god, they do murder each other. <laughs> Aquarium fish. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Best not to keep multiple. Yeah, yeah, they murder each other. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh my god, the name is so funny. It's just the betters who are male, but the store only sell the males. Ah. Smart. They don't want you to breed your own. They spicy fish. Yeah, they murder each other. <laughs> but yeah, maybe an aquarium someday. Even then, I'm not planning on getting one anytime soon. But maybe like if I moved into my new place and I was like, hmm, I need a decoration. I have plants everywhere. I have books everywhere. I have weird Halloween stuff that shouldn't be out. Let's get some fish. But yeah, I'd find some pretty fish. Pretty ones that are easy to take care of because I don't trust myself. <laughs> it's the same thing. Like I would never get a... um. Like a... What are those things called? Gerbil? Hamster. Those ones that can die of loneliness and stuff. <laughs> or that can die from being too excited. Anything that that's, that's that fragile, I would never go anywhere near. Like, I've heard that hamsters could actually die of loneliness if you don't spend enough time with them, like a couple of hours a day. And that shit is just terrifying. <laughs> I thought the cats were needy. <laughs> Marichu! We used to have a St. Bernard, but he's gone. Oh, I love St. Bernards. They're so huge. Sorry that they're gone, but yeah, I love St. Bernards. Any kind of big fluffy dog is great. That's definitely in my top six. When I was listing my six favorite dogs, I forget all of them, but there's like Chow Chow, Tibetan Mastiff, Caucasian Shepherd, um, Tamaskin, which aren't as big and fluffy, but are still huge. Um, St. Bernard. Maybe Rottweiler. Maybe. Yeah, there's a couple. There's like a Rottweiler. There's... Um... What are the Batman dogs called? I can't remember right now. And Irish Wolfhounds. Always good. Newfoundland doggos are big. They are. I love Beethoven. Yeah, Beethoven was one of them. Great Dane. That's what I was thinking for Batman's dog. Yeah, Great Danes look a bit too aggressive to me. I don't know. They need longer hair. You're thinking of rabbits, Fuchan? Hamsters thrive by themselves. Wait, really? Rabbits die of loneliness? That feels wrong to me. I feel like a lot of people get rabbits and just ignore them the whole time. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, okay. No, I believe you since you said it. Uh, rabbits are very sensitive. Oh. Why do so many people have rabbits? That sounds so annoying. So do guinea pigs. Okay, so apparently guinea pigs do as well. <laughs> Rabbits and hamsters are super sensitive. Okay, so it's both. Um, um, I didn't know that about rabbits. I thought rabbits were okay to just like take home and just like give a carrot every now and then. Learn new things every day about animals that I don't want. Rabbits are made for stew, honestly. Delicious. <laughs> Foodie car, Futan and Doggo, thank you for the stream. You guys are really cute and awesome. Futan's tone when talking to Doggo is so sweet and lovely. I don't know what you mean. I talk to him like a normal bro. I'm just like, sup, dog. Hope you're having a good day. Yo, slap me some skin. You should not be giving them carrots. Wait, rabbits don't, eat, don't even actually eat carrots? Man. Maybe the carrots are just for the stew. Carrots and potatoes, throw them in a stew. There you go. Pisha Pish, TY for this cute stream, Futan. Would you please tell Doggo that I woof, woof, bark, bark, woof, bark, woof, bark, woof, arf. That's <laughs> Ba, and happy belated Ba Halloween. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I'll just show him the recording. I don't think I want to re repeat that. <laughs> Thank you for toning the food funds, love. It's only a myth because of Bugs Bunny. I mean, yeah, the whole thing about eating your carrots is supposed to be have you ever seen. A bunny rabbit that needed glasses. Like, that's why it's supposed to increase your eyesight. I mean, that's the joke more than anything. That's what they tell kids, but still. He barked. Yeah, he's in the background. He's out by the window now, just borking his head off. Living his best life. Um, um, too much sugar in them? Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, no. oh, God, we're back to this? No! What? No. It's only November. Can you not wait another month? I was timing people out before stream started that was singing Paddle Do Paddle Do. 
Uh, do monkeys like bananas? Monkeys actually genuinely do like bananas. Um, for a long time, humans ate bananas wrong because they like ripped off from the top part, which didn't make sense. If you rip up from the seed, the seed immediately comes out and the bottom part ends up like a handle. That's because of monkeys. That's because they saw people like chimps eating monkeys and suddenly humans were like, oh, that makes way more sense. But no, no. I remember it was like yesterday that it was like, all I want for Christmas is Yuki Tempest. This is, this is too much. You can't... <laughs> November and December. That's two whole months out of the year. Nah, 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 nah. Ah, get out of here. Butchan and Doggo, what a good start to my day. I'm glad you had a good start to your day. It's not Christmas yet. It hasn't, it hasn't been Thanksgiving yet. Let, let Americans have Thanksgiving. Then you can have Christmas. One month is fair. One month for each holiday. October is for spoopy month. November is for thanking month. Then Christmas is for December. You guys get December. We can't contain the Padodu Padodu. I can. I timed out a lot of people. <laughs> Actually, it was only three people, but still. But Foo, Mariah Carey. No. <laughs> Screw Mariah Carey. <laughs> we'll sing that song when Christmas actually rolls around. We don't care about your pilgrim shedazzle. <gasps> oh, how could you? That's rude. That's an important holiday for a lot of people. Roku 69. Maybe instead of an aquarium, get a terrarium. I think a Mighty Maw might be a cute pet. What the heck is a Mighty Maw? Mighty Maw. Algae? I'd rather have fish. <laughs> I've seen some terrariums that look okay, but I, I, I'd rather have fish. I get the idea. I do like plants, but I mean, I've got enough plants. He's a moss ball. Yeah, I saw that. Pet algae. That's almost like having a pet rock, in my opinion. It's... It's less interesting. <laughs> I'd want something that moved around. But Foo, have you heard of... Vermont Celebration? Philippines? I know that in the Philippines, they do start Christmas basically in October, rather than even letting Spoopy Month happen. <sighs> but I don't... Yeah, it's not for me. Christmas is too much as it is. Christmas doesn't even deserve a full month. It's like a bad time of the year. It's too snowy. It's too cold. Christmas lights are silly. Christmas trees are dumb. September? We start Christmas in September. September, October, November. You guys have a, a an entire third of the month just devoted to Christmas. And it ends in February. January, Fe okay, half a year. No, I, I couldn't live in the Philippines. <laughs> There's a lot of horrible things I've heard about certain locations. Never heard anything bad about the Philippines before now, but now I know I could not survive in the Philippines. <laughs> Mickey Tachan, thank you for toning the food funds. A doggo have sweet, joyful dreams every time he falls asleep. So when he wakes up, he's filled with all the energy and happiness to spread to everybody. Be it through drill spray, head nudges, or big hugs. Aw, that was cute. Thank you for donating the food funds. Christmas is overrated. You're damn well right it is. Like I said, it's just a holiday for children. If you have children, or you are a child, fair enough. Otherwise, why do you need Christmas? <laughs> Mickey Tarchard. Oh, again. Yes, I'm spending all my birthday wishes on Doggo and you can't stop me. Wait, did I miss one that said it's your birthday? Oh, no. Thank you so much. for. Oh, my God. You did an entire back. Wait, it didn't catch any of those. Oh. Okay, I see them now. Uh, Mickey Tarshan did an entire reverse rainbow and it didn't get grabbed by the comment grabber. I'm thankful that I'm able to redirect my cake funds again to the channel and I'm beyond ecstatic that this year's recipient is none other than my Kami Yoshi Doggo. Please give him lots of lug, hugs, and nade nades. <laughs> nade nades. <laughs> May he have the happiest, cuddliest doggo life ever. May doggo have the shiniest, floofiest, sexiest, healthiest fur. And the softest, squishiest paw pads. He does not have squishy paw pads. I'll tell you that right now. Like just to dispel any thoughts. My cats have nice and soft paw pads. They don't go outside. My dog, as I said, loves digging. His paw pads are like sandpaper. They hurt. <laughs> they are not squishy, squishy. <laughs> Except for on the inside, like underneath, yeah. But on like the bits that connect with the ground, no, no squishy. Only stabby. May Doggo have all the walks, runs, and squirrel chases that he wishes for his good Doggo life. 
No, no squirrel chases, please. That That's just tiring. <laughs> May Doggo have sweet, joyful dreams every time he falls asleep. So when he wakes up, he's filled with all the energy and happiness to spread through everybody. May Doggo have all the sausages, bacons, turkey meats, ham, Doggo treats, and chimpkins he desires in healthy amounts. A filled Tum Tum is a happy Doggo and a Doggo we love. Yes, I'm spending all my birthday wishes on Doggo and you can't stop me. And oh, may all sheep be happy and safe too. Bah, man. <laughs> okay, Mickey Tarchan. Thank you for the entire reverse rainbow super of wishes for Doggo. That's very sweet. I hope you have a lovely day and a happy birthday. An incredible happy year. Thank you so much for joining us. Please rest well and take it easy. Doggo deserves the world. He does. Like I said, humans don't really deserve dogs. Dogs are amazing. We just kind of exist. Ah, if only we all lived like dogs. Just loved everybody we met. Just wanted pettings and to stay happy. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Hashikumi. Hashikumi. Hi, Futan. Do you go out with your dog in winter? Yes, unfortunately. He has the very annoying problem. Uh, he refuses to poop in my garden. Um, so... Even if I wanted to be like, okay, I, I don't feel particularly good today. I'm not going anywhere. You, you, just, you just poop in the garden. He won't do it. Go pee in the garden. But yeah, no, he, he refuses to poop unless I specifically like take him out at least a block away. He seems to think that within a block of his residence, he can't poop because that's his area. He likes to poop in other dogs' areas. Maybe he's just shy. No, because <laughs> if he gets sick... He'd much rather poop inside. Like, I've had times when I'm, like, incredibly sick to the point where I can only take him just barely outside. I'm like, come on, dog. Just just poop out there. And he just won't do it. And then he'll instead poop in a corner of my house. And I have to clean that up. So that's a weird thing that your dog does. Okay, yeah, no, that's the one annoying. That's the one weird thing. And it's super fucking annoying. Is that he refuses to poop within my garden or within a block of my house. So even when it's super snowy and super icy, I just have to... <laughs> Put on my snowshoes and hold on to a fucking fence while I walk out there. My dog refuses to go in the garden. Aw. Apparently it's not just my dog then. Train him to use a litter box. Uh, a litter box big enough for him would be like a freaking kid's paddling. <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of being a parent. Yeah, dogs are painful. <laughs> They're cute though. They're worth it. Bailey Boa, I'm manifesting Mr. Doggo and you Fuchan so that I'll pass my biobed exams. I'm a good luck charm. Love from Oz XID. Sorry for the Oz XID. OZ XID. I don't know what that is. I would have thought the ID would be Indonesia. Hope for the best bar. Thank you, Bailey Boa. Good luck with everything. I hope it goes well. Thank you for donating the food funds. I think that's just a sandbox. Yeah, honestly. I could just buy a full on like children's paddling pool and fill it with sand and then I guess he could train him to poop there <laughs> Australia and Indonesia oh Ozzy is an Aussie Aussie interesting hope you have a wonderful time good luck on the, 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 the exams um Yuki Tempest is waiting <laughs> okay <laughs> fine I'll wait gives me more time to prep oh no that sounds evil as a peace offering take this pic of my doggo Nero, a Japanese spitz. Oh, it's so cute. That's another one that has like a very intelligent face. I bet they're very vocal. They tell you when they want something. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds, Yuki Tempest. This is adorable to go. Villa Cleland. Oh, oh God. A cat has shown up. <laughs> I love how you posted that adorable cow emoji that looks like a smiling cat. Meanwhile, we zoom into your actual cat and your cat's just like glaring at us. Your cat's like, why have you pointed that tiny box at me? Do I look like I want to perform for you? How dare you, human? I shall poop in your bed later. Oh, no, I shall leave half a dead ma rout with that mouse in your bed later. <laughs> What kind of doggo would baby Ovidia have? Same thing. She'd just ride on the top of that dog's back. She would ride him into battle with a little sword in her hand. A little helmet on her head. That's what I'd imagine. Still big dogs. We don't have any tiny dogs in this house, so... Maybe we get her like a... I don't know. She can have the Malamute. She can have the Malamute. 
Malamute's another one of my favorites. They will have to be big and fluffy. No tiny, tiny puppy dogs in our house. Alva Shizuo. I heard a childhood story from my father. He sent his better fish to a battle with those owned by other people. My father's better fish won many tough battles and the other better fish died. <laughs> Shit, he was a champion? He just came back after murdering all the other... Oh my god. Thank you for donating the food funds. That's a little scary. <laughs> I will see two out of two when it shows up. Werewolf AJ, my dog is judging you. Wow, I, I wouldn't have even been able to tell that was a real dog unless you pointed it out. It looks like a statue. But it kind of looks like that meme with Spider-Man pointing down off of a root off the whole like, do you believe this shit? All right, I got a really bad hiccup there. Ah, like the whole like, do you believe this shit, Spider-Man? That's what it looks like your dog is saying. May he continue to judge us all, Werewolf AJ. Hopefully, we'll be allowed to live in his kingdom. He looks like he's about to jump on us. That works too. <laughs> Is the dog using mittens? God, I hope not. So, are uh, you going to share that? <laughs> that works too. Him just showing up and being like, I hear you have food, human. Ah, oh, there's two out of two. In a battle, my father's better fish win, but injured badly. He died after a few days. My father said he died with glory. Like a shonen manga plot with angst for me, not gonna lie. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a gladiator kind of thing. <laughs> it reminds me of the TV show Spartacus. That poor better fish fought for his entire life and checked out a hero. So let's go. Let me tell you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, God. I see, if dogs did that, they wouldn't be so cute. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Albert Shizzle, and I hope you have a lovely evening. And Annabelle, thank you for donating the food funds. No message. And as far as I can see, no super sticker. But thank you so much, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Luthier, I like the way you take care of Doggo. I know too well how much Big Boy needs special way to take care of. Here's more funds for the good boy. Hope Doggo like lambs for dinner. Oh, hell yeah. I hope they send me some of those udon noodles. I'll just be like, hey, dog, do you want to finally taste sheep? He, he's never actually had lamb, to be fair. Um, I've never given him lamb. Pretty sure he'd like it. I mean, it's just a very greasy meat. I'm sure he'd love it. But yeah, for now, he's fine. Maru Maru, thank you for donating the few funds and your message. But I hope you have a lovely evening. Oh, there was actually a crying face here, but it hasn't appeared. <laughs> Good, no crying. But thank you for donating the few funds. Have cat and cat encountered snow? Yeah, they have. Uh, one of them creeps out the house every couple of months. The other one does not. Um, cat with a K. Yeah, the really energetic one will occasionally like sneak out of the house and she has encountered snow. Um, she never gets very far. She gets out of the house and then I assume she gets scared because she always ends up underneath my deck. Um, and then it's just a matter of waiting game to when she actually decides to come back in. Because the other one just laughs at her. Just always stares at her outside the door. <laughs> she might develop fancy tastes, beware. Nah, he still loves greenies more than anything. Like I said, I've tried him on some fancy things and he's constantly like, nah, greenies are good. Hi, Futan. I asked a dog question before through Super Chat, but I don't think you saw it glitch. Yes, it glitches a lot. When there are a lot of Super Chats coming in, YouTube eats a lot of them. We've talked about this a lot before on the channel. Uh, it's safer to send them through Streamlabs. So yeah, I grab all the ones that I can, but if I miss some, it's not something we can really deal with youtube if there's too many super chats coming in at the same time it basically some of them just cancel each other out so yeah i'm sorry to say that but some of them do disappear we have talked about that many times people always say that yeah, youtube is eating their chats Eprily, futan and doggo is so cute reverse no <laughs> yeah doggo is very cute me not so much i'm cringe and chuny that's what i am <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds Eprily. Wait, is that a cat? <gasps> it's a super blurry cat. <laughs> it looks cute though. It looks like or orange and white. It looks like an Albanian cat. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. Um, I see his goatee. My little poodle has a very boop -a boon nose. <laughs> yes, he does. Poodles always do because they have, yeah, those kinds of faces where they look so soft and so messy. <laughs> Cute eyes too. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Us and he's goatee. Have a lovely evening. Bum, bum, bum. 
Didn't we eat a confidant covered in creamy onion bacon sauce a week ago? Wait, what? A confidant covered in creamy onion bacon sauce. I don't remember any such thing. <laughs> Wait, what? Butchan, didn't you adopt some cats before? What happened to them? They're still here. <laughs> they uh, A week ago, they left a dead rat, a uh, dead half of a mouse in my bed. They're doing fine. It's just, even if they were here right now, you wouldn't hear them. They're, they're cats. <laughs> cats are quiet. <laughs> Um, 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 confidant cooking show, but where are the ingredients? I don't remember that. Huh. Do you have a favorite small breed dog? Mm, not really. I I prefer big dogs. When it comes to small dogs, I always just call them giant rats, honestly. <laughs> Some of them are cute, but I, I just like big dogs. I like big fluffy dogs. If they're smaller than... Like, the smallest breed I'll take is like a Labrador or a... Um, German Shepherd. Labradors and German Shepherds are cool. Any smaller than that, and at that point, it's just like, you, you might as well just get a cat. I mean, they're different, but still. Giant rats, obese rats. We're not going back to the obese rats. Bad enough that came up yesterday. Huskies, yeah, huskies are cute too. Giant rats. Size does not matter. Size does not matter, but I prefer big dogs like a saint bernard there we go what about a huge cat i would love a huge cat if i was allowed to own like a lynx i'd die but i'd have one <laughs> a lynx is fucking gorgeous um so are ocelots um and there are those like giant wild cats that basically act like house cats but they're huge and scary they're pretty cool a main coon see those are super expensive though you can actually get cheaper much more dangerous pet. <laughs> Let me Google this. <clears throat> Main kitten sale. Let's see how much these cost on average. Oh, this page takes forever to load. Come on, man. Oh, you know that's bad. They don't even say the prices of them. <laughs> yeah, see, I can't trust this kind of shit. You have to, like, do so much to actually get to purchase a Maine Coon, and even then, I'm sure they cost, like, thousands of dollars. Oh, these are cute. Oh, they're so fluffy. <laughs> yeah, $3,200. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's as much as dog cost. I, nah. Mm -mm. Oof. If you have to ask, that's exactly it. You know, you know, you go to one of those places where they're like, oh, price shouldn't be an option. This is going to be your best friend for 10 to 15 years. Surely, surely you'd pay any amount of money. No, no, I would not. <laughs> just pick one up. Yeah. And you know, what? I'll just drive into the woods. There's got, there's, got, there's definitely mountain cats around here. There's bobcats around here. I'll just drive up into the woods with like a stake hanging on the back of my car and just whatever jumps in. There you go. That's my new cat. Adopt, don't buy. You you will never adopt a Maine Coon. Like you try to go to find a Maine Coon to adopt, like, ugh, it would just never happen. It's like, you always find like the same types of breeds when you go to an adopted shelter. Um, you rescue a best friend for $40. Thank you very much. Exactly. Just take a normal cat. Take a normal cat. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. It's only illegal if they catch me. To be fair, I have had police <laughs> pull over and <laughs> be worried about dog a few times. <laughs> I genuinely think there's been a couple of times that police have pulled over thinking that I was walking a bear at some points. Um, especially when he was in like his teenage years and his paws and his head were huge and his body was small. <laughs> I'm sure there were a couple of times they were driving along and they were like, is that idiot walking a bear? Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, Shiki Sleepy, thank you for donating the food funds. Have a lovely evening. And Bailey Bois, my dog is about to get checked in to travel. Aw. Hope they have a good journey. That can be very stressful for pets. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They had a dog image. I didn't get to see the dog image. Wait. There we go. Aw. 
See, that's what I mean. That type of dog is cute. I'd still call it a giant rat. <laughs> But it is very cute. That's a very adorable dog. I would definitely pet the hell out of that dog. I would love that dog. But I'm still going to call it a giant rat. <laughs> Not a beast rat. Stop putting it that way. Don't turn it into a boob. Angel Mac. Ba 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 bark with talk. Oh no. The sheep are learning how to bark. Thank you for donating the food funds, Angel Mac. I hope you have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us. Uh, cute giant rat? Exactly. <laughs> okay, Michael Borgeline. <laughs> God damn it. I knew we still had a melon chat. I didn't know we still had a Michelle in chat. <laughs> uh, Zenobia. Hi, Fu and Doggo. My two dogs passed away this year, and the stream reminded me how they bark in a cute way. So thank you so much. Oh, no problem. I hope you get more dogs in the future. That's sad. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. The RP never ends, apparently. <laughs> Mario, Mario. Oh, again. Ba I accidentally deleted my message. Rabbits. Are oh, that's why there was no message on that one. Rabbits are so cute. Please don't stew them or else they'll thump and make boo-boo noises if they get angry. That's super adorable. I miss my rabbits so much. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. There's a lot of wild rabbits where I live, so... I mean, I never have to worry about having them as pets. They always, like, they're dashing around my garden, like, the local greenery. Normally eating... What are they? Dandelions. They eat, like, the dandelions before they grow fully. Which is good, because too many dandelions is a pain. But yeah, we have a bunch of, like, grey rabbits that just dash around here everywhere. Oh, I never really have to actually own my own. I get to see them all the time. Rabbit stumping from anger is so cute. I've seen rabbits have, like, some serious facial expressions, which always surprises me. The way they can look incredibly angry, even with their tiny little eyes, is so damn cute, man. <laughs> Bailey Bois, thank you for donating the food funds. Bailey traveling to give Mr. Doggo treats. Aww. That should be a dog Halloween. With all the weird-ass holidays America has, dog Halloween would actually be a great one. Just, like, people walking around with their dogs from door to door, knocking on the door, like, hey... Give me some dog-friendly food, or I am going to egg the shit out of your house. That sounds fun. One thing, you'd get a bunch of people to see dogs when they don't normally get to. You just like, open your door like 12 times a day, and every time it's just this group of dogs like... Oh, oh, oh. That should be a holiday. <laughs> Bailey will be dressed up as a giant rat. Oh, no. We also have the Super Bowl. That's a holiday. See, that shouldn't... Technically, that's not the holiday, but yeah, it really is the holiday. <laughs> or someone dress up their pit bull as a bull pit. That's fucking genius. <laughs> pit bull, bull pit. Love to go see a dog. Yeah, even better if the dogs come to you. Just everybody who has dogs in the neighborhood just like knock on everybody's door. Everybody has to have like a box of greenies or just like a whole bunch of little kibble bits for them. Have you ever heard of rabbit voice? No, I have not. Sounds interesting. Up, Stan, thank you for donating the food funds. Doggo is so cute. Thank you for the wonderful stream, Fu Chan and Doggo Chan. See, this is just this is why I feel bad every time I do a doggo stream. So I do a doggo stream and I have a lot of fun with it. And I know Dog loves it because he gets a bunch of free food, but it's like it's an hour and a half of him whining every now and then, and then he's just like he gets bored. Like he's laying behind me right now. He's he's going back and forwards between like laying behind me for comfort and going over to the window um but yeah it's just like at this point it's just a normal zatsudan i always feel bad it's like okay now we're just zatsudaning <laughs> we don't mind well i'm glad to hear that i mean if i lived at a different place where i could trust my animals then yeah i probably would just leave the doors open all the time and just be like oh dog showed up oh. just keep some treats ready for him just for like random times when he shows up but yeah the way the house is now the third floor isn't super safe for cats. Silly cats. Is. Annabelle. That's really what it is. Dog gets locked out because his cats need to be safe. His cat sisters. Uh, what do you think of English bulldogs? My pepper says hi. I like English bulldogs. I feel bad for English bulldogs. Um, English bulldogs are one of the worst cases of an animal being bred to the point of it hurting itself. Um, kind of inhuman breeding um but that's no fault of their own they're adorable little babies who just can barely breathe through their own nostrils but they look cute and yeah i, I like bulldogs 
Um, that's the thing. I, I, I would still, I would call a bulldog a giant rat. But at the same time, I do think they're very cute. Same with pugs. Yeah, pugs the same kind of thing. Their snouts are so short, it's hard for them to just breathe. They suffer bad in the summer, yeah. You love them? Yeah, hate their suffering. Exactly. Thankfully, letting them, like, breed with other dogs, like, give you mutts that are cuter and hopefully better off. Mutts in general are just much healthier. It's just, you know, if you know what style of dog you want, you should go to a breeder. A safe, reputable breeder, obviously. But you go to a breeder and you're like, hey, I would like a this one. <laughs> But honestly, mutts can be way more beautiful. The dog in a dog's purpose. Is it called a dog's purpose? One second. One of them was called like a dog's purpose. One of them was called like a dog's journey. Yeah, dog's purpose was the first one. I really like that movie. Um, Like the final dog in that one, the huge one. He's like, he's part Caucasian Shepherd. And then he's like, part. I think he's part St. Bernard. And he's part something else. And he looks really cool because he's got like so many different styles on him. That always makes me cry. Oh, a dog's purpose. Yeah, that. As somebody was asking me like the saddest movies. The saddest movies for me are always the dog's movies. A dog's purpose. Bailey and me. Dog's journey. Like those would just all make you cry your eyes out. Jeez. The dog's way home is good too. Yeah, I watched the whole series. They get increasingly sillier. Like I think a dog's purpose is my favorite one. But like the three of them, like they get more silly as they go oh hachiko as well yeah but i don't think they made a particularly good movie adaptation of hachiko yet like i think they could make one that would just make you cry so freaking hard i've watched the hachiko like western movie um they could do better they could definitely do better but yeah the fact that hachiko is a real freaking story as well oof you ever heard of kabang the hero dog i have not cried five times watching hachiko really oh how did you know Caucasian Shepherd? I just searched for biggest dog breeds. <laughs> Legit. I'm not even going to lie. I had no idea what a Caucasian Shepherd was until I literally searched biggest dog breeds. And like oh, Caucasian Shepherd always shows up on like the top 10. Like there's arguments about what's the, actually the biggest dog breed because they all get to the point where like some of them can be 160 pounds. Some of them can be like 250 pounds. But yeah, I just found Caucasian Shepherds that way and I liked their faces. I liked that they look like the bears. They don't have too big a hair. Like Chow Chow's, their hairs get a bit big. Chow Chow and like Tibetan Mastiffs, there's a bit of, to the point where it's like, you you would have to braid that shit. It's just everywhere. <laughs> Cataclysm. Introducing my fuzzy sausage dash hound, Titus. He loves to bury himself in blankets and is super chill. Hope you have a lovely day. See, dash hounds are really cute as well. They have the giant floppy ears. Oh my God, yeah. I like the coloring on that one as well. It's very German Shepherd, the black and the brown. Burying himself in blankets as well. Let's go. He's just like me for real. For real. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds cataclysm. And I hope you have a lovely evening. Arena. Please let my baby join the party. Um, Fuchan, do you like big cat breeds too? Uh, my baby is a Maine Coon. You've got a Maine Coon. See, I would love a Maine Coon, but I've never been able to find one properly. Like I said, you go to adoption shelters. I only ever find like the same kind of cats. They're either pure black tabby or gray <laughs> those are like the only cats i found at adoption centers um but yeah when it comes to main coons like i said i just googled it and to actually like try to buy one it's like three thousand dollars minimum <laughs> um she's small when compared to her species but already half the size of me holy crap oh she's got beautiful coloring as well really bright orange that's funny so that is basically an Albanian cat right there. It's a long, long cat in bright orange. <laughs> Tordy and tuxedo cats. Aw. Yeah, I just see the basic types when I go to the rescue centers. There's like three rescue centers around me and they all have the same ones. Um, Hachiko and the master meet again at a statue at Tokyo University several years ago. Aw, that's cute. So they had like a reunion statue made. Adorable. The story of Hachiko is just really sound, sad. Ooh, she's the main protagonist. Ooh, it's... There are many rescues for specific breeds, like online foster breeds based ones. Oh. Online foster based ones? What do they do? Do they like ship the animal to you? All the orange cats are just Albanyan? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Sneku, here's my giant rat. I actually call him that. Let's go. Oh my god, is that a Yorkie? I can't even... Oh. 
No, I cannot tell from that picture. <laughs> that looks haunted. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the head looks so big compared to the body. This angle is amazing. <laughs> they look like they're so done with you immediately. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fun, Snecker, and for sharing that dog image. Oh my god, what breed are they? <laughs> I can just not tell from that. I'd rather just trust the cat distribution system. Yeah, if you want a cat, just get a cat. Obviously, like, there's always cats that need to be adopted from shelters. There's so many that unfortunately get thrown out into the streets and then, yeah. In the streets, they multiply and then they multiply to the point where nobody can possibly adopt that many cats. That's the only reason that I have two cats is because they were so many cats that they just didn't want to split up the siblings. It was like a, hey, you either take two or they're probably going to be put down next week. And it was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll take the sisters. Sure. It's a, oh, that's a hard sell right there. <laughs> it's like, hey, you take them or you've got a week left on this earth. And it's like, oh, um, okay. Oh, I, I guess I'll take two cats. I only wanted one, but sure. Farah Anya, thank you for donating the food funds. Mlep. Is this a cat? That is a very grumpy looking cat. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. How dare you slip a cat in here? Terrible. I think I didn't read Usaki's one. Yeah, my bad. Usaki, one-year-old boy shared. Bacon, cut of meat, meat on bone, foo funds, also sparkles. Eh. Is that... Oh. Uh, no. No. Yeah, my comment grabber, the, I, I can't even tell what that is. Oh, you could tell me that was a bird and I would agree. You could tell me that was a cat, and I would agree. I cannot tell what type of animal that is. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. It is a bird? Okay. I was very confused because I was like, is that a bird? But then why would they share pictures of me? Oh. Oh. I guess the meat was the food fund for dog. Okay, that makes more sense. That is a very cute bird. Black and green's a nice color combo. Looks like a bunny to me. Oh, dear God. It's a buddy. We're all going to be so embarrassed. So many of us were agreeing it was a bird. <laughs> but yeah, parakeets are nice. Very vocal. That is a burb folger. You don't know that for sure. Give it some time. <laughs> Chocolat Milieu. Good evening, Fuchan and Doggo. Good evening, Chocolat Milieu. And oh my, what the... Okay, the cat looks incredible. Is that one of those rubber chicken toys? Are you torturing your cat? <laughs> Squeezing the rubber chicken toy? Parrot, one-year-old... Oh, it's a parrot! Now I feel... Oh. Okay, so it was a burb. But yeah. Like that one optical illusion. Beans. Cat beans. They're poor. Oh. Oh, it's just the toe beans. That did not look right to me. Okay. <laughs> I... It looks like one of those rubber chicken toys where, like, you squeeze it and it does the... Mainly because of down, like... The, the the three fingers at the bottom half of the cat's foot, that looks like an open cat... Uh, an open chicken mouth to me. But now, now I see the image. Yeah, okay. Poor Pats. You got me. Thank <laughs> you for telling the food funds. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend squeezing. But what if? But what if, though? <laughs> oh, my God. Bum, bum, bum. Eva ever after all. Ooh. Hello, fool. Thank you for the doggo stream. It's been keeping me company on my lunch break. Have a good day. Thank you. You have a wonderful day, too. Thank you for joining us. And Midden. I have a Maine Coon, and she's from a friend's litter. Oh, that's awesome. See, that's one good way to get one. Knowing somebody else who has them. And just playing the waiting game. Maine Coons breed with normal cats. Did you get, like, a medium-sized one? Lucky human who can squeeze the toe bean. <laughs> I think most cats are fine with their toe beans being like grabbed as long as they're in the right mood. Sometimes for sure, like you grab a cat's paw and they're just like, what are you doing? Give me that back. Screw you. Start making friends with cat owners? Hell yeah. Just like start making friends with the cats, actually. Start throwing little cat treats and little cat toys over the fence. Be like, hey, I'm your best friend now. Next time you have a kitten, you bring it to me. Grab it by the scruff of the neck. Jump up to this fence and drop it to the other side. I will find it. Thank you for donating the food funds, Chicha. 
Paradox Mint. Oh, we got a puppy too. I had to go out to jumpstart my mom's car. On the drive back, it started to snow. I can't believe you've done this, Foo. I promise you, I did not curse you with the snow. If I could, I would make sure it didn't snow until like February for like three days. That's all we need is like a couple days of snow. Rather than a couple of months. That's an adorable. My God. You take care of that dog like wild. It's shining so much. I'm hoping this was like shortly after a bath because that dog is glowing. <laughs> if that dog glows that much all the time, jeez. It must blind people when you take it out in the summer. <laughs> so adorable though. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and thank you so much for sharing that image paradox, man. And good luck with the snow. Hopefully it won't lay anytime soon. Hopefully it will just melt away. I've coerced wildcats into ownership like that? Aww. I actually had one of my cats stolen like that. And not even like stolen in a vicious way. Like they didn't kidnap the cat. When I was growing up, I had like a pure black cat. And like it would explore all the different neighborhood areas. And like I fed it dry kibble. And there was this other house like three doors down that started like leaving out wet cat food for it. And it just stopped coming back to my house. It just started living with the family that gave it better food. Now you know the deep real story of why I don't like cats. A cat was just like, you don't feed me well enough, you poor bitch. I'm going to live with this family now. And they admitted to doing it. Like I talked to them later. I was like, have you seen my cat? And they were like, oh yeah, we, we, oh, we didn't know it had a home. Like it always seemed so hungry when we left out food. And it just started coming into our house. And it was like, oh, you just adopted my fucking cat. <laughs> you just casually adopted my cat. And it never came back. <laughs> like, I still saw it around the neighborhood. It would walk past my house and just kind of look. And then just walk by. And it was like, okay, fine. That cat's name was Salem. After the Sabrina character. And that cat was just like, no, I get better food at a different house now. Fuck you, human. <sighs> Your two-timing cat. Wasn't even two timing, it just ditched me. It started to two time me, and it was full on NTR cat. It was like, hey, you don't feed me well enough. This house feeds me better. I'm out. <laughs> the law was trauma all along. I told you, a refrigerator killed my family, and a cat broke my heart. <laughs> Pacey, I'm just saying, a dog would never do that. A dog would happily take another human's food, and then it would come running back to its owner. Unless its owner like really sucked, it's always going to come back to its owner. It's just going to take food where it can get it. Dogs are loyal. Cats on the other hand. <laughs> Pacey, thank you for toning the food funds. My small and big loaf, big loaf gives nose boops to Doggle. Also, my family and I lovingly refer to our poodle as a wet rat on his run around dragging himself across the lawn, even in rainy days. Oh, dear God. That must be such a plane to clean up. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that big boy. He's giving you boops. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Pacey. I hope you have a lovely evening. My cat doesn't abandon us, so I am lucky. Just wait. Just wait for some crazy people to... Cat people, man. Cat people. Fucking cat people out there like, Oh, I saw a cat in the neighborhood, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start feeding it. And then slowly welcome it into my house. How needy do you have to be? <laughs> Leave other people's cats alone. <laughs> cat people anyway jasmine kikuchi the stream really made my day happy one 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 day mr borg and my kamiyoshi doggo and yes meet my two giant rats they want to be friends with doggo oh my god that one on the left is just like a giant freaking circle of fluff that's so adorable one on the right's cute as well they're both cute <laughs> but that one on the left holy crap thank you for donating the food funds and i hope you have a lovely evening I feel called out. I'm just saying, like, dog owners are chill. Dog owners are like, yo, check out my fluffy baby. I taught it to lay down and roll over, and sometimes it sniffs my butt. Cat owners, on the other hand, are like, oh, look at my little fluffy baby. They don't do anything for me, but I feed them, and occasionally they'll curl up to me without slicing me. A furball with a face? Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> you, Kako, thank you for donating the few funds. Thank you for the cute food chan and doggo stream. I was watching the stream while working on some details, and while they were barking, my cats came into the room complaining. It was very lively. <laughs> yeah, your cats were probably like, what are you doing in here, human? You're not thinking about anything stupid like an adopting a dog, are you? They will fight the dog. <laughs> no, because I actually got my cat stolen after I fed and bathed the kitty, and her excuse is, your cat really liked my cat. 
That's so messed up, man. <sighs> yeah, I think there are just some people like that. They think, oh, those people let their cat out. They clearly don't take care of it. Some cats like to explore other gardens. Some cats like to catch and hunt things. It's part of being a cat. <laughs> you can't just decide you're stealing another person's cat because it's like, oh, I'm going to feed it and then it will love me and then it will play with my cat. I am desperate for the approval of a small animal that will never actually like me. <laughs> they still expensive pets. Hey, see that? That used to happen a lot in Southeast London. You had to guard your dogs properly. People would come along in vans and just like grab like expensive looking dogs and throw them into the back of vans and then try to sell them online. That's yeah. About three of my friends had their dogs stolen from local parks. Sucked. I could not even imagine. I that's some John Wick level shit right there. If anybody tried to steal dog from me, for one thing, thankfully, dog would be able to bite them real bad and get them the fuck off. But if anybody did steal dog from me, I'm going on a John Wick level retribution. <laughs> I am hunting those people down. It's like the Taken movie. It's like, I have a certain set of skills. Not good ones. But I do have a giant stick that I will beat you with. Legally, I have to say this is a joke. However, <laughs> let's be fucking honest here. Dog is man's best friend. You kidnap man's best friend. Things happen. <laughs> Ticket CYL. Thank you for donating the food funds. When I was a kid, my family kept many blood parrot chicklets, but some chicklets. But sometimes I would see one dead on the ground in the morning. That was my nightmare. Oh, that's sad. So they were like breeding them. Um, blood parrot chicklet. Oh, blood red parrot. Chichlet. Oh, they're a type of fish. <laughs> I did not expect that. The whole way through that, I was imagining birds, and I was like, oh. Google it. It's suddenly a bunch of fish. <laughs> kind of goldfish. My bad. We'll bail you out. Thank you, guys. Yeah, honestly, all these doggo donations are just in case I ever have to bail myself out of jail for revenge. Yeah, I thought it was a bird, too, because of the whole um, parrot bit. <laughs> Moo Moo, welcome. Welcome to the Phantomos. Um, oh god, we're gonna have to do this, aren't we? Let's get him in here. I will summon my dog with my own breakfast sandwich. See if that's enough to make him scream. Hey, dog! Hey, dog! Oh, hey, buddy. What'd you think about this? Want some? Want some turkeys? You got a turkey sandwich? You want some turkey? Ah, you gotta speak. Speak! Speak! Oh, we're waking up. Speak! Speak! Ah, speak. Close. There we go. Louder. Speak. 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 <laughs> good enough. Okay, here you go, buddy. Ah, it's a good boy. Get the animated dog up on screen. I gave away one of my few final bites of sandwich for you guys. But this is fine. He deserves it. Okay. Oop. You want some more? Oh. You just want pettings? Oh. Oh, he's a good boy. You've been keeping an eye on everything, being a good boy, God doggy. <laughs> okay, good boy, Doggo. Go on, Ed. He's so cold. He must have stuck his head right out the window. <laughs> but yeah. He got some turkey from my sandwich. Thank you for donating the food funds ticket CYL. But yeah, welcome, Phantomos. We're just in like full Zatsudan mode. Uh, for like the first hour and a half of this stream, I was feeding Dog his breakfast in the form of a meat platter. So he was like singing the entire time. 
But at this point, yeah, we're just chilling. He's mostly just stuck his head out the window. He doesn't care so much anymore. <laughs> a good boy. Yeah, he is enemy in force. Even jam fish. Though today is the first day of November. It's kind of a nice end to the busy but fulfilling October as well. Yeah, that's how I wanted it to be. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, I've been having like a lot of offline work this week as well. And yeah, just like the last right end of October was like a lot going on. So I was a bit stressed, but now I feel so calm. We've got Dogo Zatsu done today. We've got a nice chill cyborg in space collab tomorrow. And we've got Dramatical Murder and Albanyan. And then on the other day, we got Sunny. Yeah, from the next bunch of days, it's just a bunch of fun stuff. Then, as I said, next week, it's just a bunch of chill stuff as well, like a Zatsudan, a movie watch along, and a Kotsumachi karaoke. We'll see if anybody actually wants to join that. We got a lot of reactions on the Discord server. It doesn't look like any of the new wave are going to be able to join, unfortunately, <laughs> which is a shame. But uh, yeah, a lot of people reacted to it. That doesn't mean they'll actually show up, but hopefully. Hopefully we'll have a few people show up so we can sing with a bunch of people. Um, ba -bum. I feel so chill and relaxed compared to the horror. Thank you, my Kamiyoshi and Fuchan. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Oh, is that a Fupape? At first I thought it was you shaking hands with a dog. And then I saw like it was more like a gripping something. Oh, wait, I can't even. Is that a squirrel? I have many levels of confusion. <laughs> I'm very interested to see know what that is. But yeah, from here, I can't even tell. It is a squirrel. Okay. Yeah, the squirrel's face is on the right side. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you for donating the food funds, Eva Jamfish. And I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well. Okay, D. Now I want to show my dog too. He's a big old goofball. I love how this has basically turned into a new pet review stream. <laughs> with everybody just sharing their images as their avatar. That's so cute. I can't even tell. Is that... Is that mixed breed? Is that a mutt? Because it looks like a combination of a bunch of things. I love the coloring, though. I can't tell if it's, like, the bright sun on the side of his face making him shine so brown. Or if it's, like, actually black and brown fur. Very beautiful. Thank you for donating a few funds. All bad, but we like Doggo to have friends. No, I don't have a problem with it anyway. Um... Oh, it is a mutt. That's cute. Mutts are amazing. Actually, you can, you have so many mutts show up at shelters. Um, sometimes you get some of the most beautiful dogs where they're just like, yeah, we don't know any idea what kind of breed it is. It's like, it looks cool though, right? I mean, <laughs> that's always nice. Uh, pet stream's the best. Yeah. We have to do a pet stream on YouTube at some point because we've only done the one on Billy Billy so far. Oh, that's one thing we have to do when we come back from my break as well. The comfy puppy... Oh. I mean, yeah, the Comfy Pape stream. We'll be doing that when we come back as well, because that was supposed to happen sometime at the end of October, but I just... There was too much to do by November 7th. So many games came out out of nowhere. <laughs> and the fact that we actually got permission to play Dramatical Murder, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'd been working towards that for months, but when it happened just like right before my break, I was like, okay, this is a good way to end <laughs> before we take a break. <laughs> Things just worked out in that way. Rusupu. This is my kitten looking hungover. She's a weirdo. Oh, The coloration on her face is she, she does look hungover as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. The mouth drooping down, the eyes super closed. Yeah. She looks like she's had a hell of a night. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds, Rusupu. Have a lovely evening and thank you for joining us. But yeah, we definitely need to do another pet reaction stream as well. Just with people from like Twitter and on YouTube rather than on Billy Billy. She just wake up. Oh my god. <laughs> Getting drunk on scene. Maybe she had a lot of like catnip. <laughs> Luther. Anyway, I forgot to introduce my big boy. Fluffy naughty boy. He now lives at Doggo Star. What's Doggo Star? Whoa, big fluffy boy. Is that Oh, it doesn't say. Is he Labrador? Kind of looks like a Labrador, like a white lab. Very beautiful anyway. Thank you so much for donating the few funds. Love him? Yeah. All dogs are best boys. Claudines! When I was a baby, my parents would leave me outside the supermarket for grocery shopping. That sounds so bad. <laughs> Only guarded by my dad's German shepherd. I feel like I'm meant to be a sheep. I love your doggo. Uh, yeah, at least they left the German shepherd with you. That is quite a cute way to take it. I'm like, yeah... Actually, you were the sheep for the shepherd. 
That's adorable. Thank you for donating the food funds, but yeah, that's kind of scary. Oh, God. Cute, though. I'm glad they trusted the dog to take care of you, but yeah. Oh, that kind of doggo star. I get you. They went to the farm. Aw. But I'm sure they, you gave them a wonderful life while they were here. Dog protect? Yeah. Dog protect the baby human. Thank you for donating the food funds, Claudines. Sassy Leslie. My pugs in my profile are my fur babies. Took them around for Halloween dressed as pumpkins. <laughs> People thought they were cute and called them pup pugkins. Oh, that's adorable. Yo, you've got the same setup as PewDiePie. <laughs> one light one, one dark one. I was like, aw, pugs are really cute as well. They, they do breathe funny as well. But they're so cute. Thank you for donating the food funds, Sassy Leslie. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Pugkins, that's adorable. Bailey again. My other dog lifts weights more than my brother. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's the same type of dog, isn't it? I forget what these are called. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> he does look hench. That picture looks like a Jim Bros picture. He's just all hunched over. You can see the legs. You can see the paws at the back. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, I lift. What of it? <laughs> oh my god. June, thank you for donating the food funds. Here's my parents, German Shepherd. He's sad in this picture, though, because my dad was on vacation and they're best friends. Aww. German Shepherd. Ooh. You can barely see him because it's so dark. Looks beautiful, though. Thank you for donating the food funds, June. And yeah, that's. I think that's always been one of my fears as well, is having to leave Dog alone. Like, I'm not sure I could trust anybody to take care of him. I don't really have any close friends around me. I don't have any family, so it's like, who could possibly take care of a 160 pound dog? There are some like dog hotels around me, but I'm just I'm not sure I'd trust them. And like dog walker services, I'd always have that fear of like, if they like lost control and they were just like, oh, this isn't worth the paycheck and just like abandoned them. That shit would scare the shit out of me. But yeah, I don't think I could go on like a holiday <laughs> unless it's like anywhere close enough I could bring dog. Like that would be fine. Big dog, big problem. Dog hotel. See, that's the thing. I'm just worried about dog hotels. They always have like rules when it comes to certain big dogs. It's like, if it does bite at us, we have to take it to a shelter. And it's like, huh? What if you have a shitty employee? <laughs> shitty employee says, oh, the dog bot dog tried to bite me. Really, it's because they're jamming their hands in the face. And it's like, you take my dog to his shelter? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, it's definitely tough to find a trusted babysitter. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Yeah, to some of them. Because, I mean, to some of them, it's an act of, like, self-defense. And it's, like, a legal thing for them as a workplace. It's, like, you can't force somebody to work under, like, d d endangering conditions like that. There are some dogs that should not be at dog hotels that will actually just attack humans just because they're in a bad mood. Dog wouldn't do that. But I could totally see if somebody was like trying to harness him up or was like trying to hook him up and he was like scared, he might snap out and give them a little bite. And then, yeah, they'd be like, okay, we have to take him to a shelter. He's attacked a human. And it's like, nah, 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 nah. Only for big dogs. I mean, it's like a warning for a big dogs. It's like any large or giant breed dogs. If they do snap at us, we have to, because obviously if like a small breed dog or a medium breed dog tries to bite at you, it's like, oh no, they've torn my skin a little bit. If a dog like dog grabs you by the wrist and like spins his head around, you, you could have permanent nerve damage. <laughs> you, you could have part of your bone ripped out. Uh, they they have a big, 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 strong bite. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense that the people like that have rules like that. It's just because of that, I can't trust any of them. I would never trust any of them. Anything slightly goes wrong, they blame it on dog rather than blaming it on themselves. And it's just like, no, 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 no. Um, but yeah, thank you for donating the food funds, June. Very cute. I love German Shepherds. German Shepherds are like some of the smartest ones. And they're coloring when they have like the brown and black. Oh, it's so beautiful. John Wickham. See, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the thing. I can't even blame the humans for that. It's just like bad luck kind of thing. But it's like, yeah, that's just why I don't trust any kind of those services. Not for dog. If I had a smaller dog, it wouldn't be such a bad problem. Like a Labrador, a Labrador tries to bite you, you get some scratch marks on your hand, you're like, bad dog. But yeah, a big dog tries to bite you, you may be damaged pretty fucking bad. So I understand why they have those precautions. 
My 17-year-old pup passed back in June or July. I miss her a lot, but owning a dog like her was one of my greatest joys in life. Dog's a man's best friend for real. Yeah, being with them for 17 years, that outlasts any of the other relationships I've had in my life. Oh, they're so pretty too. They look so tired and chill. Oh, 17 years is a long time too. So many dogs don't make it anywhere near that. Like dogs breed, like I said, their average lifespan is about 8 to 10 years. A lot of other giant breeds, they tend to be like 10 to 12 years. And then, yeah, medium dog breeds, they tend to be like more like 15 to 16 years. But yeah, some, some pass away way too quickly. <laughs> That's nice. Did you guys hear the oldest puppy in the world just passed away? There was a 31-year-old dog that just passed away this last week. And it was like the world record holder, which is really sad. Yeah, 31 years. They lived a long, long life. Medium 15 to 16, not really. I mean, it depends on the breed. I just mean like there's no giant breeds that live that kind of length. Whereas there are like some like medium ones that don't have to worry as much about like hip dysplasia or things like that. Or like their stomachs turning and stuff that can live like on average 15 to 16. The dog had the exact same birthday as me. Oh man. But yeah, 31 is crazy. Oh, come to think of it. Holy shit. I just realized that dog was the same age as me. Almost. I'm almost 31. Jeez. Am I going to die? <laughs> oh god. A dog was born at the same time as me and it just passed away. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Catherine. I, yeah, I didn't even click to me. I was like, yeah, it was 31 years old. I went the whole way through that and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, we were born at pretty much the same time. That's crazy to think of. There was a dog that had lived as much life as me. Poor. M.M. <laughs> that kind of mind blew me. It's like... That dog should be able to speak at this point. That dog should be doing advanced mathematics. <laughs> and um, I love how this stream has turned into everyone showing their little buddies in their profile pictures. And here's my actual cat, Betty. Aww. Aww, that was so cute. Yeah, your last picture was much more <laughs> memeish. I was wondering if it was actually your cat or if it was just one you found online. Very similar cat, though. Bright white. It just doesn't have the bright blue eyes. Beautiful cat. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds, MM. And yeah, this this stream was saved by dog. Let's be fair here. Um, freaking, we started this stream with everyone doing padoru padoru and talking about how it was Christmas already. Thanks to dog, now everybody's just sharing their pets and being like, you know what, pet stream. Turn it into a pet stream. Age confirmed. My age has been confirmed for everyone. I never hit it since debut. <laughs> From debut, I was always like, yeah, I'm roughly thirty, and people didn't catch on, and then I was like, no, no, I'm straight up like thirty. So yeah, I'll be turning 31 in March. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been well known. It's been <laughs> like since like two, three months after my debut where I straight up confirmed it. I don't care about people knowing my age. I'm the oldest member of Niji Sanji. <laughs> but foot side, is Christmas already in the Philippines? No! No, pet stream. Pet stream, no Christmas stream. No Christmas stream. Like Edna sitting here with the no capes. No Christmas. And they bonk you for that? No. Why? <laughs> Everybody has ages. It's just a choice on how much information they want to share. Some people share way more about their personal lives than I do. I'm just fine with my age being one of the things that's fine. But you're turning 32? Maybe I am. I don't know. Who knows anymore? My birthday is weird and elusive. Belonk! I just woke up to go to work, but I hope you and Doggo and the cats are doing great today. Looking forward to the VOD later. Thank you for the huge donation, Bonk. Blonk. My god, the avatar looks so sad. Is he okay? Um, I hope you enjoy the VOD later. Yeah, we've just been chatting more than anything. Spoiling some things that are coming up, like on the channel for ne next week. And some of the things that are happening with, like, the Noctic show. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you enjoy the VOD when you get a chance to watch it. And thank you so much for being here. Please do take it easy. Profile pick too relatable? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. You just stop counting after a certain number? Yeah. Honestly, I'm going to have to go back to the year to make sure I'm 31. I'm either 31 or 32. I don't know anymore, man. LP, cat ears. Have cat and cat tried to ditch you? No, thankfully. Like I said, cat with a K sometimes gets out of the house. Every time she does, 
I think she's excited when she gets out of the house because she's normally trying to catch like a leaf running along or a chipmunk. We have like rabbits, chipmunks, um, squirrels, skunks. Sometimes bears come down the mountains, sometimes deer. Uh, but mostly just like, yeah, rabbits, chipmunks, squirrels that all run around the garden and both the cats will like stare out the door or stare out the window and just watch them with their eyes. And so, yeah, cat with a K, I'm pretty sure she gets out there to try to hunt things. And then she just gets scared and she dives underneath the deck and I find her underneath the deck a couple hours later. Um, so, yeah, she's not really trying to ditch me. She just she thinks she likes the idea of outside and then she gets scared and she gets scared. <laughs> so, no, we haven't had a repeat of my childhood cat story yet. She doesn't even go into the other garden, so we're fine. Both my cats are indoor cats now, and they're mostly safe there, like I said, other than cat with a K trying to sneak out occasionally and then realizing she done goofed. Bum, bum, bum. Almost all the chat is their little buddies. Yeah, at this point it is. 30 season two. I mean, hey, if Attack on Titan can have Attack on Titan, the final season two, part three, the sequel, and yeah, I can have age 31 plus one, I guess. I don't know. I'll confirm it later. I'll do the math. La la li lani. Morning. This is my first doggo stream. His asset is massive and fluffy. Yeah, both the assets are so cute. And in fact, boop. This one. I also, oh shit. No, he's in the wrong place. Um, I'm going to have to redo this real quick. Bloop. Big. Make it big. There we go. This one can also give me his paw. Oh, yo. He's such a good boy. He's not even in the room right now. He's probably very confused about who I'm calling a good boy. But that's what he gets for dishing me to stare out the window. <laughs> Second dono attempt. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. And yeah, I am sorry to anybody whose super chats are being eaten by YouTube. I will check Streamlabs after this as well. Um, Streamlabs don't tend to disappear. They normally can stay there for like no matter how many you send, but yeah, YouTube be weird. At least the connection isn't bad anymore. That's something. Having a food coma, maybe? That might be it, too. He did get a lot of meat. He did get a lot of meat. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe he's sleeping it off and a bit tired. Tish, thank you for donating the few funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bum, bum, bum. Wait a minute. Where are these, even? Um... Adam Morris, I can't, this one didn't get comment grabbed, but thank you so much for donating the food funds. A hey, foo and dog, I wasn't able to stay long, but I hope you had a good day. I was watching a lot of Halloween vibe movies yesterday with my roommate. Because of your schedule, I rewatched Interview with a Vampire. <gasps> I still love that movie. Like, I will stand by it. I tried to watch the new series, I wasn't into it. Um, but yeah, I will stand by loving that movie. Cringe as it is. <laughs> Over the top as it is. It's still a nice little domestic one of two vampires adopting a baby child. The book, though. <laughs> the book is way crazier. You ever read the book and read into the kind of relationship? Oh, God. They had with Claudia. Shit gets crazy. Give Doggo a good pat for me. I will. He's been getting lots of head scratches and ear scratches. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. No lag today. YouTube making some... Yeah. I mean, they finally, like, admitted to there being problems a couple days ago, even though it's been going on for weeks. Like I said, I think that was because of the American football game going on and people finally being like, we paid for this, YouTube. Fix it. The later books, that's where the real crazy stuff is. Oh, for real. My favorite character is still... Oh, no. Armand. Armand, who was like, oh, <laughs> Armand did all the crazy shit. <laughs> And yeah, Lestat goes in very crazy directions in the future. But yeah, just even just the first book for Interview with a Vampire is still wild. I'm on so true. Oh, God. I'm on so much fun when he's flirting with Louis. But then he's even more fun when he's just torturing random people. <laughs> the thing he did to the violinist. Ah, fucking legend. Anyway, um, <laughs> MJ, thank you for donating the food funds. Thank you for the adorable stream, Fuchan. My heart can't take it. I kind of miss my cats too. Aw. Did you try to make your cat smile? You drag it out the side of the mouth. Aw. Adorable. Hope you get to see them again soon unless they've passed away. 
in which case at least you gave them a wonderful life thank you for donating the few funds armand is a wild character see that's why i like the interview with the vampire books like the vampire chronicle series because it's like they're not wussy vampires <laughs> they do lament their immortality and sometimes compare it to like religious doctrines and stuff but when it comes down to it they're all like hey i can also rip off a all of a human's limbs just for the fun of it rip off the wings of a butterfly they're fucked up vampires i prefer that louis was just very good and poetic but also kind of depressing the stat tried to fix him it didn't work <laughs> but we only got the one book focused on louis anyway because god that would get boring after a while as good as the prose was as poetic as every statement was yeah louis kind of kind of kind of a whiny bitch <laughs> Confidant Ihara, hi Futan, how's your budding? I recently adopted a baby hamster. Profile pic. My name is Dosha. Oh, yo, is she in a little plastic bubble? That's so cute. I love hamsters. See, I could never hope, I could never own a hamster, but hamsters and birds, I think, are like some of the best pets. They're so adorable. Thank you for sharing, Confidant Ihara. I hope you have a lovely day. Louis was kind of a wuss, yeah. At least he wasn't as wussy as the Twilight vampires, but he did the whole, like, vegan vampire thing before it was corn. Is, uh, yeah. Cro Krolisa? Krolisa Jan. A beloved Shima mama and her naughty baby daughter. Aw, you got to keep one of the puppies? They're so cute. Man. I love the one just, like, properly laying down. The other one just, like, sticking the face in. It's like, hey, I want to be part of this, too. Thank you for donating the food funds, Clarissa Jan. I hope you have a lovely evening. Twilight vampires were the least vampire vampires. Yeah. Same for the werewolves that could just transform whenever the shit they wanted into giant dogs, essentially. Shit's boring. <sighs> anyway, Toby C. Thank you for such a lovely stream, Foo and Doggo. I really enjoyed it. Happy to see you guys have a good mood and Doggo eat a lot of good food. Heck yeah. I might give him some more turkey when I finish this as well. He's been good. I'm surprised we haven't gotten like a really, really loud bark yet. I guess nobody's out walking their dogs because of the first touch of snow. Everybody's just like, nah, we'll stay home for the day. We'll let them poop in the yard because their dogs actually do that. <laughs> um, ba -ba -bum. Hope you all have a wonderful day and have fun with this snow doggo. Oh, I'm sure he will. Reverse Uno. Hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and rest well. Miss Doggo so much. Yeah, we'll do this every couple of months. I just don't want to get, get overdone because also people are like way too nice when it comes to these streams to the point where it's like, yeah, YouTube eats all the supers and I feel bad and I try to get through them all, but yeah. it basically turns into a super chat reading one where I'm just like, you didn't have to do that. We're just hanging out. It's just a Zatsu done. <laughs> Wish we had snow here. Hopefully you'll get it later in the year or you'll get to visit somebody that has more snow. Love how all the supers are just showing off their lovely pets. Yeah, like I said, this turned into a pet sharing stream and I'm all for it. Now we're all getting to share in the doggo love. Momiji, oh, doggos are the best in the world. My doggo was with me throughout my childhood. Even though she's been away from me for two years, I still love her. Oh, that's so cute. Is that another Dash Hound? I can't tell. It's just the face and the ears look similar. You'd definitely be able to tell if you could see the whole body. Very cute dog, no matter what. Thank you for donating the few funds. I hope you still get to see them occasionally. Um, doo -doo -doo. what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I had a different dog when I was in my childhood as well. Um, they passed away when I was about, I think, nineteen or twenty. Um, yeah, kind of sucks. One sad thing about if you grow up with a dog like you've known it pretty much your entire life, and then yeah, having to. Be the one that takes it around to put it down because it's in too much pain is really painful. But it does teach you a life lesson, I guess. Melo Mika. Hello, this is my puppy Faye. She is chaotic and I love her so much. I heard there's a myth that corgis were saddles for fairies. <laughs> so I named her Faye. She loves paying fetch. I can just imagine Pomu wearing, uh, wear, riding a corgi into battle. Oh my god, I've never seen a corgi that brown before either. Like, I normally either see them red or, like, really dark. But this is, like, a nice and light brown paired with the white. That's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. Pomu no. 
Pomo's a fairy. Pomo could ride a corgi into battle. She just has to go back to, you know, fairy size. She bounces between fairy size and human size. <laughs> if she went to fairy size, yeah, she could ride a corgi into battle and it would be like the most adorable thing ever. <laughs> Pomo's very cor corgi coded. Okay, I don't know if I could agree with that because I don't want my senpai to beat my ass. Pomo's scary at the best of times. I, I could definitely see her riding a corgi into battle, though. With a little tiny, like, plastic sword taken from, like, I don't know, um, a He-Man figurine. That would be perfect. <laughs> okay, Ske, thank you so much for donating the few funds. I used to have a dog when I was younger. Golden fur and big body. The name was Kid. Kid got too much for the parents to handle. They were given to someone who could care better. I think about Kid often. Aww. Sorry, you had to give them away. At least they probably had a wonderful life, though. It would be nice if you could give them away to someone you were close to. At least that way you'd still be able to play with them occasionally. But yeah, for some households, it's just too hard to own a dog, so I get that completely. Anyway, here's Duck. <laughs> that is indeed a duck. <laughs> I love how you didn't even say, like, anyway, here's my duck. It was just like, anyway, here's Duck. I'm just like, did you take a picture of a duck? Is it your duck? Was it like at a pond? It's not in a house, so yeah, there's no signs whether it's just a random duck or your duck. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Oh, it's so funny. I dubbed them Kenny Jr. Yo. Kenny's a good name for a duck, actually. Duck is its name. I mean, I can't even complain about that with me and my dog and cat cat. Cat cat must screw, must like really mess with people. Like the fact that we just write kc cat it's like oh yeah i hope you and the cats are having a good time and people are like why do they spell it like are they okay <laughs> like in walking dead that's what i was thinking of the kid kennedy i was like you know what that's a good name for a duck he reminds me of a duck <laughs> lays here's my doggo sharing some love to everybody oh my god we got so many soft doggos in chat he looks like he's giving a big cuddle i don't know what he's cuddling but that's so cute Thank you for donating the food funds, Lays. Yeah, so many cute small dogs in chat. Chewing. T.Y. for the... Uh oh Um. I don't think the avatar went through. <laughs> T.Y. for the stream. Behold my poodle back at eight weeks. Um. That's a very cute poodle. Chewing. No, nobody tell Chewing. Nobody tell you. Just, just roll with it. That's a very cute poodle. I love puppies. So small. So yellow, the fur. So adorable. That's a Pichu. Shh. It's a poodle. A poodle. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, just some accident happened there. I'm guessing the system didn't change over the avatar in time. <laughs> Mayo Keen, my dog who is now warming up beside my laptop. Okay, now I'm confused. That's definitely a bird. Oh, <laughs> Are you guys fucking with me? Oh, I don't know if there's an accident happening right now and it's not catching the changed avatars or if you guys are just messing with me. That is most certain, assuredly a burb. It may be named dog, <laughs> but it's a burb. <laughs> That's a dog food chat. What? Nope. Burb. Definitely a burb. 100% <laughs> a burb. Maybe I need to refresh my comment grab. <laughs> Mafu, here's my childhood dog. Suddenly she passed last year. She also was the smallest of a litter. My mom later told me she involves Bodo while drunk. Aww. You know what? Sometimes that works out. Sometimes, yeah, you just, just, just do something dumb and the responsibility sets up. It's like, hey, I'll take care of this dog anyway. Um, Let me zoom in on this boy. Aww, they're so cute. Sorry they passed away, but that's adorable. I'm glad you and your mom took care of it and gave it a good life even after the impulse buy. Who's that dog, Oman? It's Pichu. <laughs> so cute. Luna Hamamini, thank you for the comfy stream today, Futan. It's giving me so much serotonin during work break again. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Reverse Uno, I hope you have a wonderful day. With your adorable... Wait, is that the confidant? Wait. It is. I saw this image later. Yeah, I saw this image yesterday. I decided not to retweet it. 
<laughs> Somebody actually made a human centipede confidant. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be a human centipede confidant. I guess it would be a confidant centipede. The comfy centipede. Yeah, yeah. That's the comfy centipede image. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. I decided not to retweet that because you can't see any of the faces of any of the sheep behind it. And I'm like... Did they do the sewing thing or are they just like in a conga line? Is it just like a costume? Um, either way, thank you for telling the foo funds. So proud of this community. Yeah. The uncomfy peed. <laughs> the uncomfy centipede. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> M Jane. No, I'm squishing his cheeks. He has chubby cheeks. Oh, that's what's going on. I thought you were trying to give him a smile. You're just giving him oh my god, you're doing the auntie thing. Oh, come here. It's been so long since I've seen you. Oh, let me squeeze your cheeks. <laughs> Cute. Thank you for telling the foo funds. It made a smile anyway. It was a double, double hit. Just an innocent sheep doing a conga line. I mean, we could roll with that. We could pretend that. We all know it's a lie. <laughs> Oh no, it's a lie. <laughs> Kodama Kido, thank you for donating the food funds. No message. Oh my god, and this wasn't even captured by my main capturer. What the heck? I don't even know if that was a super sticker, but thank you for donating the food funds. And I hope you have a lovely evening. And foo! Oh, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do take it easy and have a lovely day. Is the cockatiel called dog? That would be a twist. But Chan, no, that's giving me flashbacks. My cheeks still remember the squeezing. Yeah, I think some of us got permanent damage to our cheeks at that point. Permanent imprints of our auntie's thumb right dug into just underneath your cheekbone. Tish, who avid fan? Have you ever bought expensive toys for your pets, but they didn't even use it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I bought a huge cat tree for my cat, but he never uses it. But the moment he saw a box, he ran straight towards it. Yeah, sometimes it's the simple things. Like, dog really likes playing with just old bottles. If I just leave a water bottle, like, laying around, he'll just, like, grab that and tear it to pieces. Um, the most expensive thing I've ever bought dog, um, dog beds. I have bought two different dog beds, and each time, one of them he just would not go near at all, would not lay on, would not play with. The other one, it turned into a humping toy for him. Uh, eventually he tore too many holes in that and started ripping out the stuffing and we had to get rid of it. Yeah, he just, he, he, he seemed to think that was an 18 plus rated toy for him. And he liked that one very much. Um, but yeah, the other, the other, the other bed, he wouldn't even like lay on it. And same thing with me and a cat tree. My cats really liked one old cat tree. They loved it. Uh, it got torn to pieces. I think I talked about this a few weeks ago. That it had gotten torn to pieces and it was like shaking all over the place. So even when they jumped on it, they had to immediately jump back off. So I got rid of it and bought a new one. They have not touched the new one. The new one has been in my house for at least three weeks. They have not climbed it. They have not scratched their little claws on it. Instead, they keep scratching my damn sofas, which are being torn to pieces. <laughs> you need to find Doggo a date, man. Nah, he's a Sigma male. He's on that grind. <laughs> Yo, you gave your cat buddy ears? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that is exactly the type of cat who just has everything handed to them. <laughs> Does not care. Doggo not say so. Do 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 Doggo is a dog. Animals do what animals do. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds dish. I hope you have a lovely evening. The chance Doggo is living a life of luxury. Now, nah, like I said, I, I didn't buy him a third bed. He had his two beds. He had his chances. He prefers just laying on tile or wood anyway. He likes the coldest spots in the house. And I guess like fabrics are just too warm for him. It's weird though. Like the older he got, I thought he'd start to like want a dog bed, want something softer. But six years old and he's still just laying on the hardest parts of the house. So <laughs> whatever he likes, man. <laughs> Cappuccino. Spending my lunch break appreciating the comfy pets. Here's my partner's dog, Virgil. He's a German Shepherd and Husky. Oh, that's a nice combo. Whenever we have video calls, long distance relationship, Virgil is perk up looking for me. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, and they do look beautiful. Is that pure black and pure white? Holy shit. It's a shame that this is a low quality image because that may be one of the coolest animals I've ever seen. 
German Shepherd and Husky. And it's just like pure black and white, like shadow and light. God damn. Thank you for donating the foo funds. It's cute they still recognize you by voice. Nice combo, but a nightmare for groomers. Oh, there is that. <laughs> like I had a black cat growing up and it was like anything that I wore that wasn't black always was covered in cat hair and you could see it. Now I have a gray dog who most of his hairs that he shared are gray. And yeah, I wear a lot of gray, so it's not so bad. But yeah, having black and white hair dropped all, the, all over the place all the time. Yeah, you just always be able to see one half of it. <laughs> the pixelization is so funny to me somehow. Meh. Most people can't even grab comments. I'm happy with what we've got. <laughs> Stupid dog that you've been donating through funds. Doggo is really cute. And the photo is my dog. She's 10 years old. Hope our dogs will be healthy and stay with us all the time. Hell yeah. Aww. That's a cute one too. Is that a Boxer Terrier? Cute anyways. Eyes are so huge. And again, a very shiny one. Let's take real good care of your pets first. Thank you for donating the food funds. And I hope you have a lovely evening. I have a half Husky, half Chow Chow. Oh my God. That must be so much freaking flu. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Peace soup. Peace it. Hi, this is my sweet doggy. Oh, wait. Pure soup. Pure soup. Pure soup. Let me translate this, actually. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm pronouncing this name right. I'm pretty sure that's a P, which turns into a P with the circle, and then there's a yaw. So, pure? Pure soup. Pure soup. Pure soup. Okay, I did get it right. Pure soup. Hi, this is my sweet doggy. Thanks for the fun stream and have a great day. Oh, another Corgo appreciator. Corgis are funny. They just... There's nothing quite like them. They have almost like a fox face. But then they have like bat ears. And they have the little scruff on the sides of their faces. They're just so unique. They look silly. Yeah, they do. <laughs> They're great. Now I can imagine... Yeah, actually, I do know why people thought that they would be ridden by fairies. Like they could just stand right on the top of their head, left arm and right arm to the sides, just holding onto each ear. So good. Orgos are like their own little personality. Yeah. And a little fluffy wiggly butt. Yeah, the way they like whole butt moves left and right while their tiny little tail shakes. It's so cute. Thank you for donating the food funds, Pure Sue, and sharing that cute image. The stream is such a serotonin boost. Yeah, especially after freaking spoopy month. We've had a month of being terrified and now the whole day today has just been... Check out my dog. Check out my cat. Check out my burb. Check out my burb named dog. <laughs> Sunako, thank you for donating the food funds. Dog test. Dog test achieved. Oh my god. What did you do to him? He looks like he's seen the secrets to the universe and he can't come back. He looks like some sort of eldritch horror has told him the date of the heat death of the universe. Poor buddy. Thank you for donating the food funds. Pyramid dog. <laughs> Dragons are not extinct. Stream was so comfy. I fell asleep and woke up to my dog jumping on my face. Let's go. I'm at peace to you, I to my kami dogshi. Oh, that's so cute. Now that's a terrier. Oh, you little Yorkie. I love Yorkies. Giant rats that they are. They're still adorable. <laughs> it's a chihuahua. Something about destruction. They'd help the destruction. Oh, yeah, they would. Chihuahuas want to see the world burn. Akagi Kumiko. Here's my greedy dog. What? <laughs> what is it with Husky's faces? Husky's is so good at just looking done with life. Wait, is that like a... Oh. At first, I thought that was his body at first. I didn't realize he had his head on a table. I thought that was his fluffy white body and you'd done like a sushi on the body thing. And just like put piled a bunch of food onto his tummy. But no, it's just his face on a table. He's just like, give it to me, human. I see so much food. <laughs> that's so cute. That's not his belly. No, that's just a table. He's got his head on. But yeah, that's what that's 100 percent Because it looks like his paw is sticking out sticking out on the left as well, right? Like you could almost imagine that left side is actually his paw over there, and it's just like his belly entire covered in food. <laughs> Why would you decorate me, human? I want to eat it. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Akagi Kumiko. He's got so much personality, yeah, and just the perfect faces to look angry. <laughs> thought he was buried in food and still looking done. That's what I thought it was at first as well. It was like, hey, don't eat that yet. Stay. I've got to get the picture. 
Please, like, take the picture, I swear to God. I need to eat this. <laughs> Paradox Mint. Oh, again. The kitten sleeping on my... WFH day? Wah. Was. Ooh, huh? A gray equals archivist, mix equals legatus. They live up to their names. Archan is mellow and comfy. Lurchan fun hunts and fights. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, work from home day. Okay. Oh, they are cute. The gray and white one and the pure black one. I can't believe you named them after Archivist and Lele. That's wild. You must have gotten them kind of recently. Thank you for donating the Food Funds Paradox Mint and I hope you have a lovely evening. I never heard work from home turned into WFH. <laughs> that makes sense though. Um, Miyokina, 100% dog. He plays fetch when he's not asleep. Okay, good. Now I get it. This may indeed be a burb, but he is dog. <laughs> nice to meet you, dog. I'm glad you pay fetch and hide behind the thing to stay warm. <laughs> so cute, Miyokin. Have a lovely day and thank you for joining us. Dog face cam. Ah, oh, if only. I can imagine 12,000 different ways that would go wrong. It's a dog with wings, exactly. I mean, my cat spelt with a C totally acts like a dog. She even lays like a dog. Like she lays, instead of curling herself up like a cat normally does, she does the same thing my dog does where she just lays on her side with her one front and one back paw stuck out. Just the same way a cat lays sideways, she's learned to lay like that. Um, She's a bit confused. And then cat with a K is just like I said, crazy hunter full energy all the time <laughs> miss jerry lawliot thank you so much for donating the few funds my cat aria glaring at funya thank you for such an amazing stream doggo you worked very hard he did he got his payment though oh my god your cat's beautiful <laughs> i didn't know what you meant when you said funya at first now i get it your cat's like how could you do this to me human what is that embarrassing thing you've brought into my house <laughs> But damn, your cat's coloring is so cute. The half light brown, the half darker brown. That's adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. Um, I wonder if my super cat managed to grab some of these. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. The Funya. Yeah. I've seen so many people playing with those. Damn it. No, I couldn't grab any of the new ones. I'll read this one though, because it got grabbed on my other thing. Galaxy Turtle. Thank you for donating the food funds. So glad I could catch a stream live. Here's my contribution to cute doggos with my fur babies. Have a great day. Oh, they look cute. Big old husky or possibly Malamute. That's a big boy. Thank you for donating the food fun. Sorry my comfy grabber couldn't grab it. Ati, greetings Mr. Borgman. This is Rizza, a five pound menace. They're only five pounds? She's technically intersex and even though she won't let me read in peace sometimes, she's still my baby. She's named after Riza Hawkeye. Damn, badass. <laughs> this is so tiny. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> no, human, don't read the book. Only pay attention to me, human. <laughs> that doesn't look so much like a Hawkeye. That's that's more not Hughes. Oh yeah, Hughes. That's more Hughes. It's just constantly like, no, I need attention. I'm adorable, aren't I? At least it isn't the FMA dog. Yeah, that could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse. Basil, hi, Fulger. It's the cat. Oh, that one got caught off. Oh, she's very adorable and prickly. Sorry. My comfy grabber sometimes breaks when it grabs people's avatars. Oh, no, I did it for Joe as well. Oh, but it captured that one. Weird. Because I can see them on YouTube, so I can see them. I can see the little black cat, Basil. That's cute. And for Joe O as well, the little white dog. My silly late dog who broke through a screen door. Oof. Sorry, I can't zoom in on the image. Conqueror of Worlds, I present to you Poopy, the 17-year-old Maltese that I adore. She's the best. 17? Holy crap, we've got a lot of old dogs in chat too. Oh, she is adorable. She looks like she needs a nap. <laughs> Thank you for donating the few funds. YouTube really hates our pet supers, huh? I mean, I only started doing that recently. It's capturing most of them. Some people are just getting unlucky. Hello, Foo. This is my goose pet. He likes to lay eggs in the sink. Do you know why? I don't know why. I think maybe he should be put out of his misery. He should not be laying eggs anywhere, let alone in the sink. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I will lend you... 
I'll lend you this. And I need to, you know, you need to like put his head down in the sink and just keep smashing until the sound stops. There you go. You may have the bonk stick. Good luck with that. Plus, you get to eat some good food tonight. I hear the goose is delicious. Oh, you could stick the goose in a tick chicken and then into a turkey. Then you could have to ducken. Wait. That's a duck, not a goose. Either way, it works. <laughs> Cataclysm! My parents' dog scooter is next to Titus begging. Oh, that one didn't get grabbed either. I'm sorry. I think we're getting broken because there's just been too many super chats today. Thank you for donating the food funds, though. Turgoosin? Turgoosin! We can make that a thing. Satsuki122, YouTube, please let Lucy into the dog comfy pile. She gave you a sniff and looked away. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. She probably was just like, why are you looking into this box, human? Are you okay? Stream is awesome. Aw. This is such a cute... Oh, wait, have they got a food pape with them? Aw. Goodbye, food pape. Food pape is not going to survive that playtime. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fun, Satsuki122, and have a lovely evening. The grabber got overloaded. Yeah. Noween, after traveling cemetery to cemetery, the doggo stream is a great way to end the day. Why were you traveling cemetery to cemetery? Oh, wait, is that a joke about spooky month? Or were you actually going cemetery to cemetery? Otsu Doggo, and thanks for the stream, foo. Have a great day. I will. It sounds like you had a fun day. <laughs> Long as that was something you wanted to do. Have a lovely time. Foo Pape is now a dog toy. Honestly, Pape's would work really well as a dog toy. Especially since, like... Like, they have the little hole in the bottom. You could fill it with kibble and then cover it with peanut butter. Like one of those Kong Chew toys that lets this kibble out slowly. It's All Saints Day. Oh, shit. I forgot there was... <laughs> I forgot All Saints Day is a thing. I'm just like, Halloween. I, f I forget people still celebrate the religious version. That makes sense. Ah, oh, I hope you had a good All Saints Day. Pape was dripping with spit from her sniffles. Oh, God, you... <laughs> covered in dog snot. Fun times. Have you introduced Fu Pape to Doggo before? Nah, like I said, I haven't opened mine out of the plastic. Maybe I should. I think I need something bigger. If we ever get Niji Nui's, if we ever get Niji Nui's, I'll introduce a Niji Nui to Doggo. A Niji Nui could probably sit perfectly on Doggo's head and actually, like, not be completely thrown off. Dia de los Muertos, too? Ah, oh, okay. So other people could be visiting... Um, uh, cemeteries for that as well. That makes sense. Wish they sold the Tazumi Pape. I do have a Tazumi Pape. I feel like I'd get in trouble if I gave that to my dog as a dog chew toy. I feel like I'd probably get a message on Slack pretty quickly. <laughs> Zada Lucas, this is Cthulhu. <laughs> they like to show their tummy, but they will murder you if you touch. Cat through. Oh my god. That's such a freaking adorable name. Thank you for donating the foo funds. Thank you for sharing your cat. You really do be showing his Tommy. <laughs> such a good name. Yeah, Cat Thulu is freaking amazing. Joyu. Here's my Shih Tzu mix, Tenzin. He likes to loaf. Tenzin. Is that named after the, 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 the Valorant streamer or the Avatar character or something else? Probably something else. He's so cute, though. Adorable. Thank you for donating the food funds. The loaf. Yeah. I like when you get a loaf of animal. <laughs> All animals should come in loafs. Demon Slayer. Oh, there's a Ten Tenzin in Demon Slayer too. Oh, it's from Avatar. Let's go. They looked like an airbender. I was like, that's got to be an Avatar one. <laughs> Lima Locks. Devin. YouTube ate my first super. This is Minnie, a girl boss outdoor farm cat that was the same age as me and died when I was 22. Aw. She Whoa, so she lived to 22? She was the same age as me and died when I was 22. Damn. She once left a dead rat in my home. They do that. <laughs> they, they like to share their hunting. But god damn, a cat living to 22 is impressive. Aw, they look beautiful as well. But like they have very sweet eyes. Compared to the resting bitch face my cat has. <laughs> Thank you for turning the food funds and have a lovely evening. But you meant Avatar is in the movies? Nah, like The Last Airbender. Which we don't talk about the movie of. <laughs> Rain. She's my guinea pig, Holly. She's not a wig, I swear. Are you sure? 
I don't see any guinea pig in there. I just see floof. It looks like a perfect Cruella de Vil wig. You can put that on the Fupa pay and that would 100% work as a Cruella de Vil wig. <laughs> Thank you for donating the Foof one's rain. <laughs> Suki, thanks for the comfy stream. Really happy to see so many adorable pets. Doggo is so cute and here's some foo funds for Doggo. Have a wonderful day. Ah, thank you, Suki. I hope you have a lovely evening too. I love that Avatar The Last Airbender series. It's good. It really holds up too. Like I rewatched it like a year ago and I was like, damn, this is still good. I still haven't gotten around to watching Korra. I want to watch Korra again. Shonday. Boo! Sleep with my dog. Oh, it's actually a dog. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw that, I thought it was some other creature. Maybe a rabbit. Maybe a gremlin. The face, I'm not going to lie, kind of looks like a possum. I <laughs> was ready to zoom in and be like, ah, your dog. Of course. <laughs> that is a cute dog. Thank you for donating the few fans for you. I hope you have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Me too. I thought cat. See, there were a bunch of us going into that like, that's not a dog. Wait a second. <laughs> it's a baby chihuahua. Oh. Ah. Klein win win. My parents adopted this cute boy after I moved out. Not me saying I wanted a dog for over 50 years and 15 years and didn't get one. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Yo, that dog's ears are huge. It's so pixelated. <laughs> It looks like a PlayStation 1 era dog because of the way I've done this. Like, look at the legs. It's like Minecraft style. It's like... <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. I can't believe you begged for a dog for 15 years and they got one immediately after you moved out. They really did not trust you with a dog. <laughs> That's sad. Alicia the Heart, my sweetheart of the group. The most vocal and the most hungry. Her tummy is like a black hole. I love the look of her. God, the long hair is perfect. And yeah, her face is just like giving me more. More, mother. I require more. Oh, Kunai Manual Raid. Oh, can you not raid yet? I definitely gave all of the New Wave um, permission to raid me. And please do give me permission back to raid you. I, I tried to raid you the other day and it said I couldn't yet. I'm not sure if they you have to have been there for a while. I might be too old to figure this out. <laughs> Kunai. I actually, I need, I need to have a chat with you. I don't know how old you are. <laughs> so far, I've been the oldest in Niji Sanji. But what up? We're just... Uh, this was originally a doggo stream. Let, let me see if I can get him back in here. I have more turkey to offer him. <laughs> Dog! Come on, boy! Any, any time now. I heard you get up. Hey! I'm still, he's moving around. He's not coming to the... Ah, there you are. Good boy. Okay, let me put you up here. Ah. Okay. I got some turkey for you. you want some turkey? Okay, but you gotta... Sneak. Nah, uh, uh, you can't steal it. Speak. Oh, oh my god, so much... Why do you have so much drool again? Speak. Speak. Uh, you're so quiet though. You need louder. Speak. Speak. There we go. Speak. Speak. Better. Speak. There we go. That's a good boy. Can I have four? That's a good four. Okay, one final one. Speak. Get louder. Speak. Oh, that. Okay, good boy. You ready? Ready? Action. <laughs> okay, good. You could even hear him snap that up out of the air, too. Oh, was that an elephant? No, that is my 160 pound dog named Dog. <laughs> but yeah, this is what this stream has been. It started off with me um, just talking to. Oh, I accidentally just turned my switch on. Oops. It started off with me. Just, yeah, feeding dog and him screaming his head off. And it's since then turned into a, a, a pet sharing stream because everybody's donating and sharing their pets. <laughs> like this. 
Spooky Abby, this is Cannoli. You dress them up like a hot dog. He's a wiener dressed like a wiener for Halloween. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, oh that's so adorable. Thank you for donating the food fund, Spooky Abby. But yeah, this the stream eventually turned into people just sharing their pets through Super Chats. As I have a program that lets me grab Super Chats. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. And thank you for the raid, Kunai. I hope you're having a lovely day. Not actually old. I'm just bad with tech. <laughs> okay. I think I'm decent with tech considering how old I am. But thank you so much for joining us. It was lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for the manual raid. I hope you do have a lovely day. Weird. So many of the chats are getting deleted now. Oh no. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. Um, Please do add me into the list of people that can raid you. Like I said, I tried to the other day. And then we had to raid no one. You were the only other one streaming. <laughs> but it's lovely to have you guys here. Like I said, it's just a Zatsudan. We're just chatting. We're just going through super chats. Chaos V! TY for the stream. For some reason, I can't get any pets here. So seeing you guys sharing these dog stories makes me so happy. I'm a cat person, but now I think I love dogs more. Dogs are my Oshi for real. Oh, look, I'll add now. Thank you so much. No worries if you can't. It's just, yeah. Uh, I, I like to raid whenever I can at the end of streams. And yeah, I'm glad that you you pick like good time slots. <laughs> a lot of people avoid these time zones, so it's nice that we have somebody who's streaming through them all the time now. And I've been loving your game choices as well. Let's freaking go. Have a lovely day, Kunai. Please do rest well. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. Thank you for donating the food funds, Chaos V. Ba -ba. Greetings from Courage, the cowardly walking sushi. You dressed him up too. You named it. He does look like Courage the Cowardly Dog, and my god, that costume. He looks so angry. <laughs> He's like, why have you dressed me like raw fish? What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that's so cute, though. Thank you for donating the food funds, Popo, and have a lovely evening. Oh, I can grab Kunai's comment. <laughs> Kunai is such an awesome design. I love the eyes. <laughs> Um, ba -ba -bum. Chie? It's either Chie or Sai. Chie! One, one, Fuchan Daishiki. Thank you for donating the food funds. Oh my god. That's not a German Shepherd. Is that a Shiba Inu? That could be anything. It looks like almost a mix between a German Shepherd and a Corgi. Unless it's just like a Shiba Inu that's like really collapsed on the ground. Either way, that's adorable. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. That's Sai. Oh my god. <laughs> well, now I feel like an idiot. I knew it was either Sa or Chi. Uh, those two are so similar to me. Thank you, Sai. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Bernie's Mountain Dog? It could be a Bernie's Mountain Dog. Those are beautiful as well. Um, it looked like one of the three that I said. Husky and Corgi? Ooh, that would work. Zana Lucas. This is my other cat, Spider. She's called that because she likes to leave half-eaten bugs in my bed. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I had the half-eaten mouse dropped in my bed the other day. Oof. Those are huge, right? Yeah, Bernie's mountain dogs are pretty big as well. Um, she also refused to leave her photo taken. Uh-oh. <laughs> she looks like she's screaming as she walks away. Holy crap. Thank you for turning the food fun, Zana. And have a lovely evening. Yeah, she she did not want to be photographed. She was like, no, none of this. Um, ba -ba -bum. There were a few that didn't get grabbed. Kude! Just remember my dog Inu is supposed to be six years old this year. He was the goofiest dog I ever had. I hope Doggo always is healthy and happy with you. Ah, oh, thank you. I hope he is. I take good care of him the best that I can. But hopefully he has a good time. Hong! Do, do, do. On Chang. When I was a kid, I wanted a big dog, but now I have two black cats. I love furry animals. By the way, bathing them is difficult. Yeah. Cats, even though they have tiny little claws, they can't do too much damage, but that shit still hurts. What is that face? That is a demonic face. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have seen some angry cats in my life. This one looks like it came out of a fucking horror game. <laughs> How? Wow. The angle on the eyes. Holy crap. Thank you for donating the food fun song. Did you just try to wash your cat before you took that picture? Because it looks like it's planning murder. Looks like toothless. It, yeah, it looks like angry toothless. 
<laughs> Usaki, good night. See you again in the collab. Oh, yeah, collab tomorrow. Thank you for donating the food. Oh, wait, is it Raymond's birthday today? Oh, it might be that collab, they mean. I, I might show up in Raymond's birthday. I'm not sure whether it's today or tomorrow evening. <laughs> I know it's her birthday today, but I just, I'm just i not sure whether she's doing like the game she wants to do tonight or tomorrow. But we'll find out. We'll find out the hard way. Tomorrow's definitely have any bodies, though. So if it was tonight, that'd be easy. What am I doing? Let me check my goddamn calendar. Let me use my brain for once. Hafu-chan. Um, um, no, she's actually doing them tomorrow evening. Okay, yeah, pain. <laughs> she's doing it the day before. Oh, thingy thing. Um, dramatical murder. Tomorrow I get to sleep in. Tonight would have been the perfect time. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's not doing her proper birthday until tomorrow evening. Thank you for donating the food funds, Usaki. So yeah, I'm guessing that means the cyborg collab tomorrow. Oh, it's a cute burb. Adorable bright green plumage. Did the countdown today? Yeah. What? Sabrina, say bye again. Since everyone is showing their babies, here's Christian Ariel, stealer of broccoli and corn. He passed away at 18, but we were both happy together. Yo, 18 is a long time. You guys really take care of your cats. Holy crap. There's been so many cats hitting like 16, 17, 18 years around here. That's a long time for a cat to live. Thank you for donating the food funds, Sabrina Seba Hagen. Have a lovely evening. It's tomorrow she did the countdown today. Yeah, but it's... It's even more weird. She did the countdown today. But I mean, she isn't doing the tomorrow... Like tomorrow in the evening, my time. She did the countdown today morning. <laughs> Basically, it's like... <laughs> All the time zones are fucky wucky. But yeah, the streams that she's doing that I'll be a part of are tomorrow really, really late in the evening. Like, I think it's 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. till midnight. She, she's doing group games. So yeah, it's like super late tomorrow. <laughs> she's kind of cheating and using multiple time, loan, time zones to be all over the place. <laughs> Levi A. This is my cat, Sego. He's a good boy. I miss him so much. Aww. See this cat. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that kind of color. I don't, is that tortoise shell color? Tortoise something? It's cute anyway. Thank you for donating the few funds. Blizzard Jade. Sharing my potatoes. Small capy. Wait, you actually have capybaras? They're currently running around squeaking. Oh my god, you actually have capybaras. That's freaking amazing. Do you feed them little oranges? What do you feed a capybara that's a pet? I know they eat oranges in the wild. Well, the cat had a bat. <laughs> that would be funny. Thank you for donating the food funds, Blizzard Jade. I I never knew anybody to have a pet capybara. It's a guinea pig. Wait. I've been lied to. Okay, in my defense, it's, it's super zoomed out. It's super pixelated. A capybara just basically is a giant guinea pig with a bigger head. Um... Fair enough. Captain Ford. I, I rolled with it. I was fine with it. I accepted that it was a guinea... Uh, it was a capybara. Apparently, it was just a guinea pig and I've been lied to. Oh, wait. I can actually put this on properly this time. <sighs> Thanks, chat. You know what? At least I've got a clown fedant down here with me. You guys are part of this, too. It's not only me. This is my 600 kilograms dog. Now, you see, I know that that's a lie. She bites, but she protect me. <laughs> okay, Sneku. Why is everything a dog now? <laughs> That's a beautiful horse dog you've got there. Horses are amazing. Thank you for donating the food fund, Sneku, and have a lovely evening. Brock Kali. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but a little dancing corgo super sticker. Thank you so much. Shaco from League of Legends. Wow, I left class earlier and you're still going. Is my Roddy at 12 weeks when she was still in the biting phase? Have more food fun since you're a good dog and Doggo is so sweet. Yeah, he's whining a lot from the other room now. I'm guessing some dog's walking by. He hasn't started barking yet, but he's just continuously whining by the window. Oh, cute. You put him in clothing? Oh no, poor Roddy. <laughs> Hope they're having a good time. Thank you for donating the few fun, Shako. 
Have a lovely rest of your evening. Ihara. This is my hamster. Yo, you traded images. <laughs> Her name is Panda, but he left last week. She would find more friends in heaven. Aw. Aw, so cute. <laughs> they, they don't really look panicked. It's just like you grabbing them in a, in a way with their heads looking forward and they're just like, do what you will to me. Do whatever you will, human. I feel I have already won. You cannot hurt me any more than I already hurt myself. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fun, Zihara. And yeah, I'm sure they're having a lovely time wherever they went. Um, she feels confident in clothes. It's not my idea. That's honestly amazing, Shaco. I know too many dogs where if you try to put anything on them, they just like dance their way out of it. And they do not like it. Especially shoes. Anything on the feet? Yeah, dogs tend to really freak out. <laughs> Sophia. Do you mind for sharing all the pets? They're so adorable. This is my husky. He turned two this year. Oh, he's still a baby. Oh my God. Aw. They definitely have heterochromia, huh? One blue eye, one brown eye. That's beautiful. I like the little bits of detail you can get from the very pixelated and blurred images. That's so cute. Thank you for donating the food fun, Sophie. And yeah, they still a puppy. They only two. Have a lovely evening. Hello, the wizard. I just want to show Pocky my five-year-old baby. Is that a squirrel? Question mark. <laughs> That could be like a cat leaning back or just as easily a squirrel standing up on its hind legs. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. And I hope you have a lovely evening. <laughs> they look adorable. Green light GPSU. My birthday just ended. I suffered so many unhappy things today. But your stream made me feel happy and nice again. Bye, you. Oh, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Beautiful avatar, too. I hope your next birthday is way better, but hopefully this year will be way better. A happy birthday. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you so much for joining us. Take it easy for the rest of your evening and year. Just get comfy. Whatever bad happened during the day, it's done and gone. Sakura. Hi, Fuchan. I'm not sure if my super chat has sent out just now. I'm going to share my dog's name is Max and they have passed away three years ago, but they're still very happy. Oh, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Wait, bye bye. Not happy birthday. Sorry, I got confused with the last chat. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, if too many super chats get sent like too close to each other, YouTube just kind of eats them. So I'm very sorry for that. That's a beautiful little pug. Oh my god, dear. I love pugs. They're so cute. They're so easy to draw as well. Like I feel bad every time an artist tries to draw a dog because it's like there's so many different shades all over the place. It's like good luck. This is why I still love when Lab Mama drew a dog as well. That was so sweet, but yeah. Mm, beautiful pug. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope they feel better. Amurai, allow me to share my tabby cat. She likes to sit on her own dedicated chair with her front legs on the arm of the chair. She acts the way she looks. Okay, let's judge this cat. I'm getting a cat that's very literature coded. This is a cat who's very intelligent. They can't be pleased by the simple things in life. No, no chasing mice around for them. They need to ponder the thoughts of the universe. They need to think about the big questions. They constantly guide you to think about nihilism while you sleep. They climb into your bed right when you're about to fall asleep and just say like, human, did you ever think about the fact that before you were born, there was absolutely nothing and after you die, it's going to be the same? What will eternity in darkness feel like for you? Anyway, good night, human. And then just like jumps away, leaves you with that thought. That's what I think that cat does. I'm glad people agree with me. Cat looks like they sound British. How oh, dare. <laughs> cat thinks they're the thinker. Where does the kibble come from? When we don't look at it, is the human in the room at all? That sounds like you. I don't know what you mean. I'd never be like that. Amurai! Allow me to introduce my tabby cat who likes to sit on her own dedicated chair with her front leg. Oh, wait. I just read that one. <laughs> Kirim... Kirimit... Kirimitilk? Kirimitik. Kirimitik. Okay, sorry. This is my cat, Carleen. She's a bit odd because she doesn't like anything but sleeping and rolling on sandals. Specifically. Specifically sandals? Not even just all shoes? Also, is that not a lynx? 
Those ears are crazy. They're very lynx-like. Main reason I would want a lynx is because of the wild ears, but no. They almost look like they have demon horns made of fur next to their ears. <laughs> this looks like one of those classic portraits. Like This is like a Renaissance age portrait of a person who like, I don't know, was a drunken philosopher. Some cats do have those ears. I've never seen that before. It's really nice looking though. Are cats like rolling on sandals too? Oh my god. <laughs> but she is a British long hair. Oh, okay. I've never actually seen a cat like that. That's cool. Okay, you Uncle Comfy Geezer. My French bulldog Crystal. I had to rehome her for reasons years ago and I still miss her very much. She was very playful and protective. Aww. That's such a puppy. Look how big the eyes are. Oh, this is now so small. They look like they're kind of scared. They're looking at you like... Do you love me, woman? Aww. That's really cute. Thank you for sharing, Kay. I'm sure they're having a wonderful life in whatever home they're in now. Ankan Simon Throng. Just finished studying and it was a thrill hearing Doggo chomping and whining. He's so cute. This is Miss Rice Nudes. <laughs> She's from hell, but I love her. <laughs> Rice Nudes! Oh my god. That almost looks edited. Is Are they inside a bunch of torn up paper? That looks like Stuart Little right there. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food fund, Simon Throng. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Please rest well and take it easy. Looks petrified. Yeah, I do look a bit terrified as well. <laughs> the face. Yes. There are thoughts going through that poor mice's head. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Right, I'm going to try a new Streamlabs before I go. How many Streamlabs have we got today? Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. And here, hi Futan. Allow me to introduce Happy. I named her such in hope that she'll be happy doggo for her whole life with us. Aw, that's cute. What doggos ever want to do is bring happiness to their humans as well. That's so adorable. I cannot tell what breed that is. I'm not sure if that is a mutt or if it's just like a really cool looking one, but that's adorable. Thank you for donating the food funds, yay. And I hope they do continue to bring you happiness. Oh, and Hazuki Lilium. My cats help me and also teach me a lot in some ways. I miss them and I wish everybody has a nice day. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. The one in the shade and the one in the sun. It's a really nice looking picture. Thank you for donating the few funds. That's a hyena. I've seen no hyenas. <laughs> Don't lie. To Wait. Have I been fucked with again? I swear to God. You telling me this is a hyena? God damn it, it's so blurry. I, that could just as easily be a, a mutt. It could be a mutt. That could just as easily, like that. That could be a mix of like a German Shepherd and something small. Looks like a hyena. Um, you know what? I trust EA. EA wouldn't do that to me. EA wouldn't lie to me. It's a doc. It's a doc. You guys are just mutt shaming EA. Just because it's a very unique looking canine doesn't mean it's not a dog. Cecilia, hope you have a nice night. Good night. Good night, Cecilia. Thank you for donating the food funds. That cat looks like it has a goatee. <laughs> I fucking love it. The cat just sitting there looking like a literature professor. It looks like there's a pen in the notebook on the table next to it. The goatee hanging low down. Let's go. It's a duck. Oh, it's definitely not a duck. We said it's a duck. I don't know. But it's 100% not a duck. <laughs> Ryu. I don't have a dog. So here are three of my six cats. So many cats. They're all strays. The, right ones, the white ones were found at an abandoned shack at around three weeks old. The black one came with her sister. They were six, so I took them into care. Hmm. It's a plane. No, it's a bird. Superman. Aw, I love how you can't even see the black one. <laughs> you can see the two white cats and I, it was like the black one. It's like, I can tell there's supposed to be a third cat in the image. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Ryu. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely evening. Good job taking care of so many cats. Damn, that's nice. So many cats taken off the stream. Uh, the street, not stream. <laughs> Joyce Lear. Oh, too. Glad to hear Doggo again. He's so adorable. Yeah, he is. He's just a bit too spoiled. I can't believe you won't stay with me. He's more interested in staring out the window. 
That's fine. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you for donating a few funds. And Tay, good afternoon, foo. This is my sweet girl, Starling. I adopted her in January at 10 years old. She's almost 11 now. She's only four pounds, but she has the personality of a much bigger cat. <laughs> the markings on her are great. She Does she wear a little tuxedo tie? I think the... the like the bottom bit is actually her fur, right? But she that's an actual tie tied around her neck. That's adorable. Oh my god. Thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening. Yes, she is. Aw, cute. Took a tuxedo cat and made them an actual little tuxedo. Aw. Court is in session. Judge cat is presiding. Oh god. You'll never win that case. Oh my god, there's so many stream labs. Okay. Sim Tempora, thank you so much for donating the Fufanza. Hi, Futan. Trick or treating isn't a thing in my country, so me and my friends went out to a touristy place to distribute Halloween candy. Like a creep, lol. Wait, why is that like a creep? That's freaking awesome. <laughs> I pet a golden retriever in a maid costume. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Were you in a maid costume? Or was the golden reaver in a maid or was the golden retriever in a maid costume? <laughs> Hope you and dog enjoy the stream later. We had a blast. He was well fed. Let me move him over to the left so he isn't so in the way. Bloop. Yeah, he over here now. Now we can see more of chat. The cat is looking... is fine looking Yes. Oh. Um, let me grab these as well. Still have these rain down on top of dog's head. And hopefully into his mouth occasionally. <laughs> what if both? What if not? They could both be in a maid costume. That's totally true. <laughs> but thank you for donating the Foo Fun Sim Tempora. <laughs> hope you had a lovely day and I hope you rest well from here on out. Man, that sounds like a lot you did today. Shit. Hi, Foo. Here's my cat. Ice. Pronounced like eyes and ice. Oh, eyes. Just wanted to say thank you for the fun and show streams as well. I enjoy them a lot. Aw, thank you so much. My god, their eyes are so big. No wonder they're named Ice. It took me a minute. I was like, whoa, their eyes are so big. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that's their name. That makes sense. <laughs> Beautiful cat. Thank you. Dog doesn't need more food. Let us live. Let us live. Jay Hoof. This is Babu. She's nine years old and the biggest drama queen I know. But I wouldn't change her for the world. Thank you for the stream, Fu Chang. What? Aw, they're so cute. They just got the tennis ball beside them. They're so done. <laughs> so out of energy. <laughs> Sako from Legion of Legends. Nope, not reading that one. Thanks for the money though, Shako. But no, that was not a cat and I refuse. Okay, next up. <laughs> um, Ryu. Hi, Fu, don't read out loud. Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit, that's cool. Oh, I'll probably play that when I come back then. Ooh. Yeah, I'll drop in for that. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Thank you for donating the food funds to you. Hell yeah. Hope you have a lovely evening and thank you for letting me know. He's never going to trust us again with pets? Nah. I'm going to have to make my moderators go through when we actually do like a pet review stream. Yeah, you guys will have to do it. Um, Annie, thank you for donating the food funds. Happy Halloween, Fuchan. Bah. Bah. Boo? Question mark. <laughs> Thanks for your hard work during the whole month. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did as well. I did. I was definitely getting tired by the end of the month. But yeah, no, I had so much fun. I love horror. I love horror games. But yeah, 31 days of horror games is a bit much. I should. I mean, I said this at the beginning. At the beginning, I was like, we're going to have like one day a week where we chill and do something silly. And then I had so many games I wanted to finish. We're still probably... We're only three-fifths of the way through spirit hunter ng so i failed that one in a big freaking way Ugh, so we have to come back to that after my holiday but still i had so much fun there were so many good games halloween games are normally good and we should have like a lot more spooky games to play next year um i've already started trying to get permission for that new rpg maker horror one it's like connected to pocket mirror so pretty two shoes i think it's called um, I want to play that. I want to play Pocket Mirror. I want to play Aoni. Um, I think that's it for RPG Maker Horror ones. There were no Miss Miss Missal, Missal. 
but yeah planning for spooky month next year i was more just like i i delivered like a pile of things where i was like permissions for all of these please so yeah that was just one that was thrown in that we won't get to play till next year but yeah we'll do some more rpg maker ones next year because i quite enjoyed like i loved mad father really liked witch's house so yeah we'll try a few more um but yeah thank you so much for donating a few funds it was a lot of fun and thank you so much for joining us annie and ocean cheap thank you so much for donating through funds thank you so much for spoopy month hope you have a nice and relaxing break afterwards bah oh i definitely will i'm not gonna do like anything for three days <laughs> and then i'm gonna get back to like proper schedule sleep actually getting sleep would be nice <laughs> rather than getting like four hours at night and a nap during the day I'm also going to have some work that I have to do, unfortunately, that I can't avoid, but it's fine. It's fine. Thank you for downing the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Um, Despair Core. As a horse owner, I probably could drag the fluff guy around. Fair enough. God damn. Yeah, if you can tame a horse, you can definitely tame a dog. <laughs> Happy to see the dog today. Ah, thank you. I hope you have a lovely evening. No need to read, and there was no message. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Um, Sophia. I woke up sick today, but listening to my Oshi Foo and just being here lifted my spirits a little. Take care from the cold, every bar. No problem. Hope you have a lovely evening and yeah. It's very cold right now, so make sure you're taking care of yourself. Remember, let your limbs get told for too long. They'll mess with you. The way Foo said that was if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Pretty much. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. If you can tame a horse because i didn't really know any other way to put it because it's not like you do if horses try to gallop i don't care how strong you are you're being dragged along so it wasn't so much like if you could like pull a horse you could handle dog it was just more like yeah i guess you've tamed a horse really well to the point where it won't try to gallop on you <laughs> that was one of my favorite movies i haven't seen dodgeball in so long i wonder if it holds up i kind of want to watch it again now yeah, maybe I'll watch that on my break as well. Horses are overgrown puppies. They do seem to understand humans very well. I'll give them that much. Um, Mihawk. Thank you for donating the food funds. Ah, oh, the image got cut off, but I can see it on YouTube. He's a lab shepherd mix. I thought he was a lab from his picture, but yeah, all I can see is like giant nose and tiny eyes. <laughs> he loves to sleep. Thank you so much for the stream. No problem. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, Mihawk. And thank you for sharing your pet. Sorry, I can't zoom into it on stream. Damn it, all with Mr. Peanut. Thank you for a really nice chill stream. Thank you so much. Oh, you didn't even have a dog image. That's okay. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. And Suji. Okay, no way. I'm restarting my comment grabber. It should be able to grab at least Suji's. Some of the other ones may be too old, but let's see. Um, is it Dorba? Big snoot. Yeah, giant snoot. Cows are also overgrown farm dogs. Cows you can push over, though. Also, you could flatten out their poop. It's very solid. You can use it as a frisbee. Um, random. Random things that I know about cows. Kovan Kuyen. Mr. Peanut! Okay, grab Mr. Peanut, so it must have grabbed Suji! Okay, we can actually see the image now. This is Ruby, but we also call her Chubby because she looks like Chewbacca. She does. <laughs> I was thinking that when I saw her hair. When her hair grows out, she's a Lhasa Apsor. Aww. That's so cute. Oh my god, you've even put a little hair clip in her hair. Oh my god. Adorable. Kind of scary. <laughs> Ferrum. I don't have pets, so I live vicariously through you and fellow comfies. Thank you for the fun stream and have a great day. And more turkey headbutts for dog. Oh shit, yeah. Thank you for reminding me to find where the hell that little piece of fried turkey went I'm guessing somewhere over near my console but that's the problem for future food chan thank you for donating the food funds what did you share an image of oh it's like a mascot character it's like a penguin with hat and glasses it's like a shoe chan cool penguin <laughs> at least see the art hi food chan here's my smarty pants of the group she knows how to open doors and cupboards she even let me hold her when she was crying badly one time. She doesn't let you hold her most of the time? Oh my god, it's one of those cats. The smushed face cats. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you for telling me the foo funds. Those ones I actually really don't like the look of. <laughs> I know some people love them, but to me they always look evil. 
Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening, Alicia the Heart. Oh, man. If you don't have a pet, you can at least get a pape. Puppets are cute. A floofer? A Persian cat. Ooh. I never know what their names are. I just call them smooshed face cats. Hey, they look cute. I know some people think they look cute, and I will not tell you they don't look cute. I will just tell you. I think they look silly. <laughs> Mine's the same. Arresting tired of you face. Yeah. <laughs> Zig Zigetti. Sending my love to all the comfy pets. Sharing my 12 year old totally reasonable floof who totally doesn't ignore the cat bed and instead sleeps in a plastic basin. Oh shit. That's actually a cat. I, I thought this was going to be another troll one. Before I zoomed in, I was like, that's like a bowl of noodles or something. Maybe there's going to be a turtle in there. And then I like slowly expand it and it's like, oh shit. It's actually just a cat in a bowl. I genuinely thought that was like a bowl of soup or something. <laughs> that is adorable, Zig Zigetti. Honestly, if it fits, I sit. That's like a natural cat move. So I'm proud of them. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. <laughs> Kelly Winters, thank you for donating the food funds. It says, look at this. It's turkey. Oh, you're bullying me about feeding my dog, huh? <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Kelly Winters. Food funds for more turkeys. Honestly, yeah, I'm probably going to order... Nah, not turkey. I'll probably go with ham for Thanksgiving. I decided this year I'll be less of a bar humbug for Thanksgiving, at least. I'm going to order myself uh, a ready-made ham, like a small ham. Like a single serving size ham and have some, like, mashed potatoes with it. I don't like turkey, but that much I can do. Um, Kiara and Hi Futsun. Hope you're having a great stream. I'm going in and out because of work, but hope all is well. Have a good day. Yeah, we've just been chatting all day. It's been nice and chill. Thank you for joining us. Really nice at the end of spoopy month when everything has just been pain. The Irish, you're allowed to do bar humbug turkey day. True, honestly. True. I don't have any reason to celebrate it. I mean, nobody really does anyway. <laughs> Bailey boy, last fun. Love my baby girl. It's you, Fufu, and Doggo. Wait, that's not me. I know me. <laughs> or oh, you mean baby girl is me? Because I refuse that too. Thank you for donating the food funds, Bailey boy. Have a lovely evening. I celebrate Thanksgiving. That's fair. That's fair. You can celebrate Thanksgiving. It's just yeah. It was like every year people get more and more angry about it rather than just letting people enjoy their family time. Like, we get it. We all know the message comes from a pretty fucked up place, but it is just family time. It's just like Christmas was appropriated and turned into Christmas and used to just be Yuletide. We all get it. Just let people enjoy their holidays. It's something they've done since they're a child. Let them enjoy it. To celebrate it for being with my family? Exactly. That's what you have to do. Leanne, thank you so much for donating the few funds. Doggo is so cute, and you are so cute too, sir. Do I have to get out the bonk stick? Because I will. I will. <laughs> Going in. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Thank you for the lovely stream and have a wonderful night. You have a wonderful night too, Leanne. Back to reverse Uno. Have a lovely night. And thank you for joining us. Uh, let me have my days off work at least. True. Have a day off work. Enjoy it with your family if you want. Enjoy it by yourself if you want. Have a good day. Sorry, I only have cats. How dare you? Mr. Peanut, you dare to join this stream and you only have cats? Uh-uh. Disrespect. Absolute disrespect. That's a very cute cat. You're lucky. Could have been worse. That could have been a, a bannable offense right there, but if it was a cute enough cat, I'll allow you to stay in the sheep pile. That's fine by me. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely day. Not the cat hatred. I mean, I think the point was it was obviously a joke about them saying they only have cats. It's like it's fine. We've had people sharing cats. We've had people sharing birds. I told you, I'm not a cat hater anymore. Ever since Alien Isolation, I've realized that cats have their uses. They distract aliens and get eaten by them. That's the use of a cat. That's why I now have two cats in my house, just in case a xenomorph ever comes to visit. I'll hide under the bed. And they'll be silly running around the house and the xenomorph will be like, ooh, juicy cat meat. And I'll be free. 1M100, <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. Speaking of dog strange hobbies, I remember once while I was sleeping over at my friend's house, 
And when I was leaving, we found out her dog stole one of my socks. Oh, a lot of dogs do that too. A lot of cats do that. Um, I know that there are some cats, like especially, they they treat socks like they're kittens, essentially. They'll like they grab them by as if they're grabbing a kitten by the scuff of their neck. I like take them and like just lay down with them and lick them. <laughs> so yeah, there are some cats that pretend socks are kittens, which is cute. My friend found that sock half a year later. I still remember the feeling of walking with wearing it. Wait. You mean like walking? Did you put the sock on while it was still like wet from the cat's saliva? Or do you mean you remember the feeling of walking? Did it have like holes in it? Did you get it back? Yeah, it sounds like they got it back a half a year ago later. <laughs> I'm just very... It cuts off at the end. It literally says, I still remember the feeling of walking with wearing. So I don't know if it's like with wearing the sock right after or if it's walking while wearing one sock. The message got cut off because Streamlabs be like that sometimes. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds. <laughs> M. Thank you for donating the food funds. No mess. Oh, no, there is a message. Uh, chicken fund. Oh, thank you so much. And that was a huge donation. Thank you so much. That's a lot of chicken. I just paid for my Thanksgiving deal. Minute, their dinner. Thank you very much. I think it's without wearing the sock. I, I guess that makes more sense than like finding it a half year later and being like ooh allow me to now put this sock on half a year later even though i'm probably already wearing two socks <laughs> only one sock yeah it makes the most sense <laughs> anyway zishu thank you for donating the food funds oh that's a pretty cat yo the bright blue eyes the multicolor god damn it looks like it's staring into your soul thank you for donating the food funds this year Bum, bum, bum. Wet socks. I got bad chills from that. Yeah, that's a. Ooh. Hopper. Hopper. <laughs> but yeah, no. Having like wet socks sucks. Especially if they like start to soak in the shoe. And then you get like the weird squelty noise every time you take a step as well. Not a fan. Not a fan. The cat is judging you. That's okay. I've been good this year. Mari, this is Naya. She's silly. <laughs> she looks silly. Oh, that's a proper German Shepherd. Oh, he's so adorable. It's a nice day picture as well. Like that just brings me back to my childhood. Just laying with a dog on a field. Nice sky. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. Serial sock burglars. Yeah. End up having to brain blame the elves when really it's the cats. You may hire. Thank you for donating the food funds. Testing to see if this works. Lol. Very happy to hear Doggo today. Have a great rest of your day, Fuchan. My day has been weird. So many police at campus today. We had an incident in the next building over. Hope yours is better. Yeah, my day has been good so far. Just that little snow getting in the way. But yeah, be careful if there's been some incidents on campus. Take care of yourself. Don't be typing out super chats. Go home safe. Then type things. <laughs> Alicia the Heart, thank you for donating the food funds. Hi, Fuchan, this is my question. If you're the type of person who doesn't wear shoes inside the house, how do you deal with the quick cleanliness of your dog's feet? Essentially, they're wearing their shoes inside and outside the house. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Well, my house has hardwood floors, so I don't need to wear shoes in the house. But at the same time, I can. <laughs> like, it's very easy to clean hardwood floors just with a mop, so... I sometimes wear my shoes around the house. It's fine. So yeah, the idea of him trudging in mud and dirt doesn't really matter too much. He's fine. Thank God I'm jealous. Yeah, the hardwood floors make it nice and easy. You just have to do a quick once over with the mop and then any mud that was there is just gone. So yeah, I'm a heathen. I walk in on my shoes. Normally I just take them off in the kitchen, but sometimes I just keep them on, especially if it's cold. If it's cold, I don't always bother to wear socks. So sometimes I'll just keep my shoes on for most of the day. Just take them off when I jump into bed. Slippers or socks in house always. <laughs> See, I'm fine with shoes in the house. As long as it's not on furniture. If anybody... Like, I'm fine with people wearing their shoes into my house. I think most people ask nowadays. But yeah, if anybody ever tries to put their feet up on my furniture in any kind of capacity... Oh, God. That would be a that would be a murder time. Um, Def Kuzusara, thank you for donating the few funds. This one is dedicated to one of my besties, Mi-chan. A sweet but scary confidant. 
Don't tell her I... Ooh. I mean, I'm guessing that's a joke, so I'm going to read it anyway. Don't tell her I sent this to say happy birthday to her, though. It's the second time we celebrated the birthday together, and time really flies. But here's for many more. I'm guessing that was a joke. You didn't literally say not to read it at the beginning, so... Happy birthday, Michan! I'm putting you on blast because Def Kuzu sent a super chat. Blame them. <laughs> Blame them. <laughs> My inner Asian is screaming for the indoor shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I had a carpet, it would be a different story. With hardwood floors, like, there's only certain parts of my house that are carpeted, and it's all, like, on the second floor, so... Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. I just wear them into the house like a heathen. Pick them off when I feel like it. <laughs> um, ba -ba -bum. Okay, there's a lot that say no need to read out loud, but thank you guys so much. Aww. Oh, wow. I didn't know that about rabbits. That's crazy. Jeez. Okay. Paradox Mint, thank you for donating the few funds. YouTube was a meanie and ate my super, but I'm glad I got a doggo stream on my anniversary. Oh, I've been at my law firm for a year now and I can work from home on Wednesdays. Okay, that's the WFH. That was before. Got food on one monitor and my medical records on the other. Which is for dog and comfy puppers slash pets. Ah. Thank you for donating the food funds. Sorry, this YouTube's just, yeah, I've been eating a lot of super chats. But I'm glad you were here. I hope you have a wonderful day. And yeah, thank you for joining us. Eva Ever After. Ak? Wait, what's the AKK? <laughs> Why is this name getting longer and longer? I remember it being Eva. I remember it being Eva Ever. I, it's become Eva Ever After today. And now it's Eva Ever After Ak. Hello, Folger. <laughs> Wanted to thank you and Dog for keeping me company over my lunch break. I hope your day is well and your health has improved. Yeah, no, nah, it's been good today. My back hasn't been hurting today. So yeah, hopefully we're good to go. I'm just going to make sure I don't stream too long today or tomorrow. Make sure we get through Dramatical Murder, which may be a very long stream. It has literally always been Eva ever after all. I swear to God. Okay, for one thing. Okay, that's the act. <laughs> you wrote it wrong on stream. <laughs> It's ever after all, but it's the L's of K's. Um, I, really? Are we sure this isn't a Baron Stain Bears kind of situation? Are we sure we haven't Mandela effect over to a different universe? I swear to God. <laughs> Maybe I'm just old. <laughs> Secret life of Anna. I wish the doggo. But hi, Fuchan. Here's an Amazon puppy. An Amazon puppy. I cannot for the life of me tell what that is. That looks like it's a dog riding on top of a crocodile. Is it just a crocodile? There's something wrapped around that crocodile. What the? Oh, Amazon puppy. Like it comes from the Amazon river. Ah. Oh. Is that a crocodile or is that a big lizard? I... Oh, I have so many questions. YouTube size avatars do not do it. Dutch this. <laughs> and now I get the Amazon puppy thing. That's a big puppy. <laughs> Very bitey puppy. Thank you for donating the food fun secret life of Adad. I hope you have a lovely evening. <laughs> swamp puppy? Yeah, swamp puppy. Maybe even a sewer puppy. Hi, Futan. Here's the chaotic bugger. She has too many zoomies. She touched snow for the first time yesterday. For two secs and went back in right away. Ah, thank you for donating the food funds, Alicia. Hope you have a lovely evening. And Fenny, thank you for donating the food funds. No message. Was there a super sticker? No, no super sticker either. Thank you so much for do uh, donating the food funds and in general for always supporting the community. Thank you so much, Lenny. It's a log, y'all. Are you sure? It looked like a real crocodile, alligator, whatever. I don't know the difference to me. <laughs> Could be either one. I trust it 100. It's a dog to dial? Nah. See, if you want to pet that dog, you can pet that dog. I ain't touching that dog. <laughs> anyway. Annie, thank you so much for the huge donation to the food funds. Doggo funds? Question mark. Pat, pat, doggo. Aw. Thank you for the huge donation as well, Annie. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for always supporting the channel, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Mirin, I've been watching the stream with my mochi resting on my lap. And at one point, she was just staring at me judgingly when you were talking to dog. <laughs> She's a judgmental demon with heterochromia, but I love her lots. Yeah, she was probably looking at you like, why would you watch a human with a dog? 
cat's a better human. What are you doing? You've got a cat right here. How dare you? <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. It was just a harmless baby. I was holding it. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you were holding it. My God. The difference between crocodile and alligator is that one says see you later and one says catch you in a while. Okay, HH. Eight out of ten. Catch you in a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. I know the actual thing is something to do with like salt water. And, like open fresh water. Either way. Meh. Anatora, thank you for donating food for oh my god. I wish that image had been grabbed. That dog is so smiling. Fufu, thank you for a wonderful spooky month. Let me see if I can grab that properly. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed spooky month. And now we can fade back into the calm. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to whatever the hell we're going to do when December rolls around. Oh, good. I could. Because, yeah, I don't even know what our direction is going to be properly. I will know after we've had a break and after I've thought about it. Look how smiley he is. I know in reality he's probably about to bite your face or something. He's probably very angry having a camera jammed in his face and he's warning you stay away by flashing his teeth. But it looks adorable. My shiny teeth and me. My shiny teeth and me. If a chimpanzee ever smiles at you, run the fucking other way. If you see a chimpanzee's teeth, it's because he's warning you I will use these on you. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> That's true for most animals in the animal kingdom. And then we, being dumb humans, were like, oh no, I want to smile to show my happiness and how nice I am. Meanwhile, every other person in the animal kingdom, it's like, these are my weapons. I will bite you. Let's see. Hi, Fuchang. My dog Lance keeps barking every time I put my laptop volume up today. I think he heard you and chose to be dramatic today. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, another one of those tiny puppies. Holy crap. Thank you for donating the food funds. Maybe he heard me say the whole, like, giant rat thing, and he wasn't happy about that. <laughs> um, Evolia. I never had a dog, but I had a guinea pig named Oliver who acted like one. Oliver's a nice name for a guinea pig. I don't know why. Guinea pigs definitely feel like refined gentlemen. Everyone's dogs are adorable, and I love them so. Even the poodle. Even the poodle, really. Nice avatar, too. Um, Miss Munchkins. Hi, this is my son, Diamond. Damn it. <laughs> of course that's the one that didn't get grabbed. Let me try that again. Um, but it's a cute, bright white cat. Fluff puppy wants attention. Yeah, 3D puppy is like, stay away from that 2D puppy. It's not real. It can't love you like I love you. There we go. Hi, this is my son, Diamond. He's shitty. <laughs> that face. There is not a single brain cell in there. I'm sorry. That's not an insult. It's just, look at that face. <laughs> not one single thought press going through there. It's just like, I see something. Blem. <laughs> they look happy. I'm sure they're very happy. <laughs> I'm sure they look much more like serious at other times, but that is just full on. I don't know what's going on anymore. I... What am I? Am I cat? Am I human? Oh, God. Um, Mirin, thank you for donating the food funds. And watching the stream with my... Oh, right, I did read that one. Thank you. A cuckoo, thank you for donating the food funds. And thank you for the beautiful artwork. But Jan, I'm so happy to see you use my thumbnail art again. It's been 10 to 11 months since I drew that first one, and that stream holds a special place in my heart. And I know this one will also be as well. Hope you and Douge have a great day. Ah, oh, thank you. Your artwork is always beautiful, Hakuku. I'm always happy to see it on the thumbnail. Thank you so much. And yeah, you always draw doggos so cute as well. There's always so many colors on them. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining us today. And Camille, final Streamlabs. Dog food funds for best boy. Thanks to your stream, I got introduced to so many great games such as Slay the Princess. Your insightful commentary made them even more interesting. And this gave me more things to chat with my best friend, Otata, who's a game dev. He just turned 30 recently. Wonder if you have any words of wisdom slash advice for a new member of the OG Sound Club. Thank you so much for the chill stream with Doggo. One word of advice for anybody even nearing the age of 30. Stretch. <laughs> Stretch. <laughs> Learn how to do um, calisthenics. Learn how to stretch. Learn how to take care of your core muscles and your joints. And that will help you so much. 
if you're like stronger than I am, you can do yoga. Yoga is a bit too intensive for me. Um, for like my bending ability and how fucked up my spine and nerves are. Um, but yeah, if you can, take it to like the extreme. Get as flexible as you possibly can and keep that as long as you can. Because the longer you put it off and the longer you're just like, oh, I'm just old now. I'm just stiff now. The stiffer you'll get and the more painful things will become. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. <sighs> My labs didn't get caught. Oh, what? Labs always go through. As far as I know. But if I haven't read it, unless it was one that literally said don't read. There were like six that said don't read, so I didn't read them. If it wasn't one of those, then I'm very sorry. We've never had to stream labs go missing before. Um, TY for the advice, sir. I mean, yeah, that's the only advice I can give, because other than that, it's just like, you know, your body will tell you as you get older. 30 isn't old, but yeah, it's certainly at the point where you need to start <laughs> taking care of yourself, eat better. You're going to start getting like indigestion just from like eating pizza sauce. You don't even like get to... <sighs> like, I remember when I could finish a full pizza by myself. Nowadays, I have two slices and I'm like, that's good. If I force myself to have like three or four slices, yeah, I'm definitely going to have heartburn by the end of the day. <laughs> and it's like, no, I just want to eat what I enjoy. <laughs> I punish it punish me for it tomorrow don't make me miss my damn sleep why are you calling out my life I'm calling out all of our lives unfortunately at least I'm not non-dairy that would make it even worse Amy Townsend love watching you stream you have a fantastic day I hope you have a fantastic day thank you so much for joining me we're actually going to wrap up now as well yeah we've been here for a while four and a half hours Damn it. I really thought today was going to be a two-hour stream. I feel bad. I had poor dog locked on the third floor with me all day. Let me give him one final piece of turkey before we get out of here. Oh, God. I have, like, no turkey left on my sandwich now. <laughs> That's fine. I'll have a vegetable sandwich to finish my day. <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> I don't think he wants to come this time. Hey, dog. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're moving. Hey, buddy. You want some turkey? Oh, he do want some turkey. Can you speak? Come on. That's not even a hard thing to do. Speak. Close. Speak. <laughs> Speak. 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 There we go. Good boy. You ready? Oh. Ah, he's a good boy. Okay, we got one for one final dog sound on the way out. He did not seem bothered to get up at that point i had to really convince him okay thank you guys for joining me for today i hope you enjoyed the dog zatsu tomorrow at midday edt i'm gonna play on uki's channel playing heavily bodies and in the evening i might be on remu's channel playing i don't think i can say what we're playing because i don't think she's announced what her birthday schedule is but we'll be playing some group games on remu's channel and then the day after it's dramatical murder in the morning at normal 10 a.m edt and in the evening, it is Albin's channel for Valheim. And the day after that, again, no streams on my channel. All the way through to 9 p.m. EDT on Sunny's channel. We're going to be playing River City Girls 2 finally. Which we've been trying to find time for for months now. But we finally got a good chance to do it. And then I'll release my new schedule as well and show you what we're doing for the final three days of the month. Well, I say, yeah. The final three days, really. <laughs> Yeah, until I disappear. Oh, yeah, and the Noctix program is coming out. Thank you for reminding me. The Noctix program will be out at, I believe, 8 p.m. EDT, which is five hours and 20 minutes from now. Almost exactly. Um, so, yeah, enjoy that. Like I said, it will just be a warm-up session, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I mean, I gave up my... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot during the earlier Zatsudan, I gave up my entire schedule for the next week. <laughs> so you guys know what's coming next week anyway, but we will be ending on a Zatsudan. 
just to finish everything off and say goodbye to everybody so we'll have a proper zatsu next week as well i'll possibly be taking like more suggestions for games and other things and yeah i'll probably read the marshmallows just before it i'll talk about some of the changes maybe about the rules and stuff so yeah there'll be lots for that zatsu done thank you guys so much for joining me for today i got one more stream oh i got two super chats right at the end Farah Anya, thank you so much for donating through funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Oh, and the other one didn't get comfy grabbed. Let me try that again real quick. See if I can grab it. Oh, it's from Annie again. Thank you so much. Watsu Fuchan and Doggo and rest well. Thank you so much, Annie. Hope you rest well too. Have a lovely evening. Thank you for joining here. There we go. And thank you so much for always being so supportive. Donate so much, like pretty much every stream. Ah, cute little pupper. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. As always, I will be back soon. I just kind of already did my list of places I'll be, so yeah. <laughs> As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. I'm going to blow my nose real quick. And then we're going to do the normal thing <laughs> of thanking member sheets. But yeah, one second. There we go. As usual, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. Oh my God. And there were so many. I knew there were so many gifted, but Jesus Christ, you guys gave me like 350 new members today. And that's new people. That's not even like recurring members. That's only people that are brand new to the membership. But thank you so much for all the gifted membership as well. You guys are so sweet and supportive. Um, I did re-upload the new membership wallpaper, the Halloween one. Um, so if you didn't get that before, please do check. I pinned a comment in the discussion area where I put a new link to it so you can grab it if you have time. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And as usual, I'd like to say a special thank you to the new members who have joined, including Shu Yu 1202, Keigi Sai, Tan, Kure. Oh God. Iris, Saranji, Zuleya, Flora, Xiao Mei Yang, Flora Blossomful, Levi A, Carolyn, Fu, Chewing, Adamaris, Fifi, Quack, Happy Cat, Livy Soros, Nara, Sombra, Mini Terasu, Chocolat Milieu, Akari, My Cat's Not Cat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Judy, <laughs> 1624 Wink, Yukina. Blaze, Ray Styles, Jinked, Lala, oh my god, I'm gonna have to count these up as we go, Blanc, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership, I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening, Ray Smith, also Lala, thank you so much for the huge rainbow super, that right at the beginning of the stream and I didn't get to see it, Tutu Jie Angeline Lee, Cecilia, Behind Zero, Seriflora, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, Livio, Ash, Skylin, there we go, was that, I can't, that's either 150 or 200, thank you for so many gifted membership, Lala, hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here. And then it cut off, unfortunately. I can't see if anybody else gave any super chat, uh, any other gifted membership, but I'm sure that people did. But YouTube cut it off. God, 
dang the YouTube system. But that's as far as I can get. Oh, that's aggravating. I hope everybody has a lovely evening. Let's see if I can raid anybody on the way out. Is anybody streaming today? It always says upcoming. <laughs> really? Yeah, no one's streaming yet. That's okay. Don't people normally start streaming around 3 p.m.? I guess not. <laughs> okay, everybody have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining me. We keep missing everybody. As always, do not be led astray in my confidence, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for the two more gifted membership. And Tan, welcome back to the membership. Bye-bye.